Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Gay. I'm Jay. <laughs> Me Yay. too. It's I'm time Jay. to kick gum and chew ass, and I'm all out of ass. <laughs> That's friends. not the way. It, fucking dupe kick them. <laughs> That's okay. It's time to lick ass and squeeze butt. Mm. Uh, hey, tonight. Thank you all so much for joining us. Already 100 people in here. Uh, usually it takes uh, even a couple minutes just to get up to that point. So that's awesome. Thank you guys for being here tonight. This is a very special, special night for us. Very special. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Special. special. Uh, at I'm sure most of you guys know this, but at midnight tonight, we will have been on YouTube for 10 fucking years. For a decade. We're old as shit. You could see it in our faces and our fat. Every time I look at the mirror, I'm like, hi, we could have been something special. <laughs> it's, it's like, what and what did it cost? Everything. It really was like, the, uh, I see Thanos in the mirror. Uh, it's funny, too, because I, I feel weird saying that because uh, it's like, yeah, man, I like, you know, like it, I, I was looking at, it, you know, our channel lasted on YouTube for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, we've like, been. Yeah, dude, we've been ducking and diving every cancellation like we're dodging the Vietnam draft. Like, I don't know how in the fuck we got away from that foxhole because I thought we were going to get eliminated with everybody else when that nuke came down a few years ago on YouTube. Yeah, yeah I had a couple had a couple close calls, man. I'd say, I don't know, like, I don't, how many times do you think we actually got close to not having a channel? I don't think it's been that many. Like, we each had a couple bombs go off in our life at different times that it was like, fuck, I don't know what's going to happen in my entire life after this. But I don't think we ever had, like, a serious... I don't know if the channel's going to make it moment. Mm, I don't think so. I know no, we fought I don't, with I don't, each other I don't, and threatened. Yeah, f uh, yeah, we did that like every other day. <laughs> like, we'll fucking quit. You know, we were like those assholes in Can't Hardly Wait when they break up. It's like, guys, I've been giving it a lot of thought like 10 minutes later, and I think I want to get the band back together. <laughs> like, <laughs> it would be a 10-minute yeah. fucking fight, and then five minutes later, after we've had some beers, like, I've really been giving this a lot of thought. I think we should get back together on YouTube. It's just not going to be the same if we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the truth, man. Yeah, no, we, we had a fight probably... one time. We had a fight one time. Uh, it, it was, I don't know, it was like a year ago. But it was, it was a major fight, and it was after a live stream, and we did it live. Like We did it talk each other on camera. Like It was like we were like, I don't know, it was fucking stupid. And then after that, we were supposed to meet up somewhere the next day. <laughs> it was like Mike thought I wasn't going to come because he said, don't fucking come then. And then I was like, all right, then I won't. <laughs> fuck you. And then we just clicked off, and then I didn't, we didn't say a goddamn word. And then it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I had to be up there at like 11. <laughs> Mike was texting. He's like, are, dude, I just want to say I'm sorry, man. Uh, but I... <laughs> I like, I think we both are assholes. And like, I, I was like, are you on your way? I was like, dude, I wasn't going to not come. <laughs> like, just because you said that, I was already halfway there. Like, I didn't even fucking like, I was like, going to show up like nothing happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. I remember that too. You know, when you have a channel that like, when, uh, when, you know, sometimes, not often, but sometimes there's alcohol involved. Mm. Um, you know, normally we just drink water, but that's usually, you, all you know. Is. And your best friends, and you got twenty plus years of friendship behind you. Sometimes you get under each other's fucking skin. Look at how that <laughs> happens. Hmm. <laughs> and then you yell at each other, and then you say really mean things. Yeah. And dude. then you're like, "Sorry." Listen, some of the shit that's come out of our mouths, like literally, would make Satan go, "God damn!" <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like that's mean as fuck. And I've yeah. betrayed Father God. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth, man. Yeah, we, you know, and I, we never almost got canceled either. Like, I don't think we've ever been through that. Thankfully, we've had we've had a couple of fucking assholes try to cancel us, but like they didn't yeah. even have a good case. So nobody listened. And that's also, like, we weren't big enough to cancel. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. They're like, who? That's like that. They're like, oh, we watched movie. I was like, that's like trying to get a hobo a job. Like, who cares? <laughs> they're never going to get anywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly, it's like YouTube just looked down. And it's like, oh, that's like going to the Vegas strip and seeing all those poor homeless people and be like, I need to clear them all out. Out. it's like i don't have time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. jokes on you asshole we're pieces of shit <laughs> and yeah, nobody you know likes how, us you know how barstool sports says that they're too big to cancel it's like yeah jokes on you we're too small <laughs> that's right i like how that we flip that tater <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much for all the congratulations in the chat we are reading every single one of them even if we're not stopping for them scare house tim zombie with i believe is the very first super chat of this glorious occasion Thank you, Scary House 10 Zombie. He says, and he said, uh, he says, happy anniversary, you guys. Love you to pieces. Can we hear Loomis's thoughts on 10 years of Wham? Wham. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Well, what I have to say is uh, 10 years is a long goddamn time. 
Uh, I don't appreciate being a consultant on this show at all. Uh, these two pieces of shit are nasty. They smell like butt flies. And I don't like it. I have other things to attend to. Ten years is a long goddamn time, and I wish that Michael would stay dead for at least ten years, but he seems to pop up like a hemorrhoid every two. So thank you very much. Now go back into the shadows and junk your meat. Thank you. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Kevin Williams, I, thank you. Dude. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it the whole time. Kevin Williams, thanks, dude. He says, beer money to celebrate this milestone. Hey, all we right, will thanks, use man. it. I, yeah, whenever yeah. someone says hey, that, I feel like well, Bane. I'm like, we will need it. Yes, uh, yeah, and definitely we're going to need that extra cash when we hire Kinky Kelly and the sexy stud that's going to be coming in later on tonight. If you guys have never seen a donkey show, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be pissed if a donkey doesn't show up at some point. Yeah. Um, Mercurio 80, thank you so much. Dude. He says, congratulations. I, I think I speak for everyone when I say you guys have made our lives a lot better. Thanks, Michael. Hey, you, got, you, guys, you guys have done the same for us, man. Damn straight you have. <laughs> Damn fucking straight you have. That's the beautiful thing about this, man, uh, is that, trust me, whatever we've done for you guys, you guys have done for us twofold. Anthony Stamps, thank you so much. He says, this is a huge milestone. You guys should be immensely proud of this moment. Congratulations, and here's to many more years of Wham. Hey, man, for sure. We hope so. And by the way, it is a milestone. This is a, I mean, I haven't had marriages last this long. <laughs> like, no <laughs> shit, Sherlock. <laughs> That's true. Is that true? It didn't. No, I no, we were only married yeah, for five. Short. Oh, damn, it seemed like 20. You know no, what we I mean? Were, oh, we were, you know, I know, especially <laughs> her fucking alcohol and fucking wine ridden breath every time she breathed on me. It felt like an eternity in hell, but no, it was actually, it was, yeah, it was five years, yeah, but five well, years too much, huh? If she didn't kick rocks, I don't know if we would have made it to 10 years. You know, a lot of stuff has threatened, like maybe not came close to like nuclear option, but a lot of stuff has threatened us in 10 years. You know what I mean? Whether it's um not growing, which took a really long time to grow. We're showers, not growers. You know what I mean? Yep. I know I am. But, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, it was always like slow playing stuff like, okay, is this going to work? I don't know. It took forever to fucking gain any traction. And then always something seems to swoop in and save our fucking hide. Patreon being one of those things. The yep. people on Patreon, the you guys that are in here. And, and if you're not, don't, I'm not, you know, every single person in here is, is important because if we didn't have an audience, we wouldn't have Patreon. But Patreon uh one of the big reasons you know why we've been able to 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 sustain this i'd say like uh, one of the top fucking reasons we've been able to sustain this because you know there was a time where jay and i were both you know working lots of hours and i was it, this is just a couple of years ago I, I was moving up at the, the job i was at and i'll never forget my boss came up to me one day and the guy was nice but he was kind of a goo uh he came up to me and he's like he was trying to put me into management you know i had like two promotions to that point and he's like trying to push me to that next level and he's like you know i once read a book by the guy who owns virgin mobile or one of those fucking dudes and he's like and it says to write down the top 25 things in your life and he says and then to cut out 20 of them and only focus on the five and he was like trying to get me to quit youtube and like focus on work <laughs> and i was thinking dude i would I like this is one of the things i would fucking cut out is this fucking job yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean i was thankful for that job that job did a lot of amazing things for my family but you know i don't know where the fuck i was going with that but i know that there was a point in time where doing both at the same time was really fucking rough dude like yeah. really rough like i mean I, I had i had youtube on the top of my list to cut out fuck it <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah i never had i never made any of that list but i, I like I mean, it was when we started out, like a lot of people were just like, it's a joke. God, you guys are so fucking stupid. It sucks ass. Oh my God, you guys are so lazy and you're ugly as fuck. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You're like, you're like ugly weird Al Yankovic trying to be funny. It's disgusting. You're I'd like not to funny. think my good looks. You're so ugly. Yeah. Or, or just you suck. And then, you know, he's like, oh, fuck you then. I mean, you could suck our little wieners and we kept going. We kept grinding. But yeah, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a rough ride for show, for show. Number one complaint about the channel was probably that, by the way. The number one complaint we ever got, we ever get is always stop trying so hard to be funny. <laughs> like, I'm not, I, I mean, I, I'm naturally unfunny. It's not like I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This shit come natural, dude. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, dog. I shit, I got street cred to back it up. I'm unfunny <laughs> everywhere I go. <laughs> Ask my mom. <laughs> oh, uh, love you, Anthony. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, that was another uh, thing. Mark mom always, mom always said that too. She's like, honey, it's, it was, 
it's it's fine. I'm not gonna watch your show because I know you say some inappropriate things on there. Because I always tell her like you're never watching it. Like I never, <laughs> mom never, I never let her watch anything ever ever. And she was like, well, let me let me turn on your little program. Let me watch it. It's like mom, no, stop. Because <laughs> she like was trying to get the phone one day and like look it up, and she's like, what's the name? And I was like, Mo movies that we watched. <laughs> I was just trying to make up, and then, uh, and then, uh, but she was like, "It's fine as long as it's a hobby, and don't let don't let it take over your life. But if you turn that into something that you really enjoy doing, and it makes you a little money, and you can survive off that, then by golly, you go for it." <laughs> that was her advice. <laughs> That's not bad advice, you know what I mean? Well, that was a great. I, I mean, Mom would have said the same thing to fucking Van Halen. Like if if we were in a band of Van Halen, she's like, "No, nah, it's a, it, that's a hobby." But you need to get a job, and you need to keep that job. You know what? You'd be a great little bank teller. All you got to do is there is just take their money. <laughs> she was yeah, always trying yeah. to give me – I was like, why are you always trying to make me go work at a bank, Mom? <laughs> Every at, least, at least she gave you that. She gave me the trucker speech. She's like, now you and Cody need to go get a job at the trucker school. They're looking for truckers. You need to get your fucking lives together. Okay? She didn't say fucking, obviously. Yeah. She was a good Christian woman. But she said, you need to get your lives together, and you and Cody need to go sign up today. I was like – Thank, thank you, my mom. Dude, the Can worst thing was is like sometimes she would she would like wake me up on it like a Saturday or something. It would like have the paper out with the wanted ads and had circled them, like done the job for me. <laughs> and said, now look here, they're hiring right here. You need to go down there right now and put in that application at the bank. I'm like, mom, it doesn't work like that. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And I can't get a job at the bank because I don't know anybody that works in a bank. And she's like, now your aunt Peanut knows somebody that works in that bank and they can get you an interview i was like i'm not going in there because my mom arranged an interview when i sat Dude. down they're like what's your qualifications i'm like my mom told me to come down here and do the interview that's my qualification it's embarrassing because everyone's going to talk about me when i walk in it's like there's the guy that got his mommy got him this job because that's what it would have been like yeah fucking yeah. steve over there number one bank teller three months in a row fucking talking about me if there's mama's boy he only got the employee this month employee of the this <laughs> month because he's mom. Uh, it's funny dude because like i've had so many jobs whenever i think about my life before doing youtube and well before doing youtube full-time but before then I, I it's like that scene in wayne's world he's like let's just say i have an extensive collection of name tags and hairnets <laughs> you know oh, what i mean yeah. like i quit so many fucking jobs and something that and i won't get deep into this because you guys know how i get but i'll say one thing i learned about myself after i had kids and i was like oh shit you can't fucking just because i can't tell you, i you realized the, the condoms don't work <laughs> <laughs> I, I always got the yips when i was growing up like when i was in working age girl like post high school girl. i'd get the yip. I, I knew what it was this feeling would take over in me i would go to this shitty job that like my mom's like you got a job yeah i'm like yeah you got a job. and then like fucking three days in two weeks in six months in i don't know i'd be just sitting yeah. there and i'd go to work and i go i could go home i could just walk out of here right i'm a free yeah. man that was a good I stuff. could walk out of this place right now and go play fucking Madden all day long. I could do it. And then it would take over my soul. And eventually, no matter how hard I would fight it, I would just go get in my car and, and light up a joint and drive the fuck home. And I, would, I quit so many jobs. And, like, I thought I was lazy for so long. Like, I just – I had no direction. You know, nobody I was ever called fucking – I was called that so many times. I thought that was my middle name. <laughs> like, every goddamn day. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, lazy, son. And lazy. Because I'd quit a job. It, and I was like, it sucked. I didn't want to work there. Yeah, it, it took it took having kids and like having stuff like, OK, I actually got to figure out something. And then 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 it was like it, it, in my mind, the way I look at it now is it was like uh, that scene in Indiana Jones when the walls are coming in together and, and they're stuck and the walls keep moving in together. I had this version of my life like, oh, I'm actually doing something good now and I'm doing it, but I fucking hate it. But I've also got this. And like it was like this weird thing where I was like, oh. I'm not lazy. I'm a really hard worker. I just, I can't work for other people and I need to figure that the fuck out. Yeah. And then that was like, and then the channel was just by grace of God happened. And then that was the thing. And it was like, Oh my God, this is the fuck. Oh, Oh my, Oh my, I found it. Hey, Flo. Hey, I found it. Macarena. Yeah. That's how <laughs> Let's it, fucking go. You know? Um, well, I mean, I could have probably gone and stayed in CVS and gone up to that fucking ladder, which was a goddamn terrible. Ladder. I was, I was like, I could have been, a, because they were like, oh, you could be a store man. I was like, I don't, and then I was like, ah, oh. then I had a fucking flash of my life being a fucking store manager at CVS. And I saw how miserable and fucking goddamn, we, we had this one manager. He was a nice guy, but this guy looked like he carried around a load of poop in his pants when he walked. And I was like, how long have you been a store manager for? He's like, 20 years. I was like, that's what's going to, I'm going to look like in 20 years. I was like, fuck that. Because I, I mean, it was a <laughs> and, decent and job. Fair, some people love it. And that's no, I, no, yeah, yeah. But I couldn't do that. And then, uh, 
and then I was being, you know, like, why don't you go to school and do the pharmacology stuff? And I'm like, first off, that's like fucking 25 years and like a million dollars in student loans. <laughs> so no. And then, uh, but yeah, I, I did the same thing. I, I quit jobs left and fucking right to, but there was something liberating though. When you fucking, when you make up your mind, when you go on bathroom break or lunch break and you just make up your mind in that moment, you're sitting in your car, you're smoking your cigarettes or whatever you're doing, drinking your fireball whiskey on the job. And you're looking at yourself and you're like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking quit. And you make up your mind in that instant. There's it's like opening up a gift on Christmas. You're like, I do. I've done that. I didn't even clock out. Sometimes I just fucking drove home. I, I was like, I'm not even coming back. One time big dad got me a job at a uh, Walmart and they were like, there was a big deal. I was like, oh, you're going to be in the electronic center because I wanted to sell video games and shit like that and talk about movies. <clears throat> I don't know because I figured that was what the job was going to be like. But when I got to the motherfucker, they were doing extensive uh, like they were like doing construction on like that part of Walmart. So they were like redoing it. And I went to a warehouse instead of Walmart and I was spray painting shit and doing like hard goddamn you know, construction labor. And I, it was smelling. No one gave me a mask. I was lit, like getting high off the paint fumes. And so on lunch, and this is the first day on lunch, I was walking next to this dude and I was like, hey, uh, would you just tell him I'm not coming back? And he's like, uh, you're not going to put your two weeks in? It's like, no, nah, I'm just, I'm going to go home. And he's like, oh, okay, minutes. what was your name again? I was like, I I'm JT. And he's like, oh, gotcha. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> and it was just a regular employee. I didn't even go to management. I just fucking quit. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. I'm out. And then dad, yeah. I told dad about that. He was like, don't you ever ask me to put my neck out again to get you a job? Because I talked to Don Howe and Don Howe is the district manager of Walmart, or the regional manager. And he set that up for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I, dad, they had me in a warehouse smelling paint fumes. <laughs> I, I do want to say something here all these stories and i do there we could we could do this all fucking night like all these stories like at least for you know my from my point of perspective came before children like i i quit i quit more jobs than like everyone in this room probably had to, has had their lifetimes together before kids once once you have kids and it's like no you're fucking you quit more jobs than the octop uh, octuplet mother yeah dude <laughs> but, but after i had kids you know once you have responsibilities then it's like okay you you know you know what i mean but like before then it was like fuck you <laughs> i am done uh mark hunt whose name i love because it's so close to my cunt mm. hey guys i've been watching for three years happy anniversary sexy beasts wham is what hey, i look thanks, forward to man. every week what is dr loomis's favorite star wars movie Thanks, Mark. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie is called um, The Credits, The End Credits. I don't like it. What are you talking about? It's about a boy who doesn't want to be the Jedi that his father was, and then he meets his father, and then his father said, I am your father. Let me chop your goddamn hand off. Go cry in the corner. And then you go cry in the corner, and you make out with your sister, you stupid, nasty little blonde boy, farm boy. <laughs> it's a stupid, stupid fantasy. Flying around in the starships. Ooh, yes. The Force is going to save the day. You know what's not going to save your ass? Nothing's going to save your ass from Michael Myers. Yeah, do the Force. You'll take the Force, shove it up your crack, and then you'll die. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't like Star Wars. <laughs> I wouldn't Thanks, imagine, Mark. you know, you would imagine Dr. Loomis or anybody like older watching it and probably be like, I don't know, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I I, I think that every day, dude. Joe, Joe Medeiros, thank you, sir, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Mitch, appreciate it. Mitch, appreciate it. Oh, he's like Missy Bishi. <laughs> I have a Missy Bishi. <laughs> <laughs> he says hey michael j congratulations on 10 years here's to another 10 great job love you guys love you joe hey, thanks man fucking love you joe what's up garrett hey d mitch 14 thanks you for the super chat sir he says only been in the wham fam since 2020 but i feel like i've been here since the beginning thanks boys for all the laughs and good times you're truly appreciated here's to another 10 years god damn hey, thank you a lot man that's awesome y'all getting me fucking hyped you're getting me fucking psyched up and later we're gonna drink champagne and we're gonna Touch your butthole. Snort some cocaine off a stripper's crack hole. Can it be mine first? I mean, not really. What? Hmm? Who? I don't know. Jay Ramey, thank you so much, dude. Very much appreciate that. He says, here's to 20 years. Cheers, lads. Hey, what do we be in 20? What do we be? What do we What do we be in 10 years? Uh, 46, 47. 46, 47. We can do that. Fuck, we can dude. probably do that. We better own a fucking a record company like Motown. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's like going on 50s. Like, yeah, we got Motown records. The goal is to make keep making the channel more and more successful, and then and then we'll open up a video store, and then we'll take the chain nationwide, 
We can do that. We're just going to be fat old men with like gold chains on and let other better, younger, good looking people take over the channel. And we collect the checks. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking deal. I like it. I like it. Oh, we'll was that it fat out. guy that did back, uh, Backstreet Boys? Ron, was it Ron Perlman? Is that his name? The one that like got them together an and not Ron Perlman. Ron, uh, what was his name? No, what are you thinking Ronald? of? I asked her, I asked her, I was like, what was the name of the guy that she's like, Ron Jeremy? It's like, you're thinking of Big Cox. <laughs> <laughs> That's not mine. She's What's got she big Googling? Dicks on her mind. What? You gotta put the fucking... no, Ron Perlman's the actor. Hey, April, try not to suck any dicks on the way to the park. <laughs> God, she's 37. 37 <laughs> dicks in a row. Yes. Lou Perlman. Oh, Lou. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. We'll be like Lou Pearlman, just collecting the checks. It's ours, Lou. God, that went on a way longer fucking roller coaster ride than I wanted to do because I could. I just wanted to say Lou Pearlman. <laughs> Anthony Davis, A. Davis, thank you, sir. Says congrats, ten years, Dane Cook and Donnie Wahlberg. Hey, I guess, I guess I'm. I've always been the Dane Cook guy because the hair. So I guess you're Donnie Wahlberg. Okay, I never well, heard I'll that one it. before. I mean, I, I, that's fine with me. I'll take that shit. I mean, one time he did a great job in a movie called Six Cents within his underwear. And that's yeah. called acting. And he was Saw doing it three. in front of Bruce Willis. It's all two. You imagine that, dude, your first role ever. You have to stand in your underwear and act crazy in front of fucking diehard John McClane himself. Well, I mean, today that wouldn't be much of a feat. That's the, No, I'm talking about even but back then. Bruce he still looks like John McClane. Job. I know, but Bruce Willis, <laughs> yeah, like, no, he was still hot then. back then. Not like hot. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, he is sexy, but I'm talking about like his career was still hot. He's supposed to be on vacation. Yeah, yeah that's true. Not that your fucking business shit. about Holly. God. <laughs> <laughs> Got any talent all? Christopher Nowden. Thank you, sir. He says, I didn't start watching this major channel until like 2017 or 2018, but I know for a fact that I'm blessed to have discovered you guys. We're blessed hey. to have you discover us Thanks, naked man. in the shower. Thank that's you, Christopher. Right. Not that we've been looking. Appreciate it, brother. James Smith. Thank you, sir. Y'all are being super sweet up name, tonight. James Smith. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that sounds made up. This is James just, Smith, the one that fucking dated Pocahontas. You fucking liar. You started Mormonism in Utah. You sick son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I just became a Patreon member a few minutes ago. Hey, James, fuck yeah. You're going to fucking well, like what well, you see. He, I guarantee well, it. Well, then I I retract what I just said about your name because I was going to say you just became a Patreon member a few minutes ago, and then I just deleted my Patreon a few minutes after. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've deleted it. Thank you. Uh, to celebrate your 10 years, wouldn't do it for anyone else, but you guys are the absolute best. Really appreciate that, brother. Hey, Thank man, you. I appreciate we, you. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy all the sick fucking shit that's on there. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Appreciate that. Jerry Ramey. Thank you, my friend. My friend Jerry's a cool fucking guy, by the way. We met Jerry. Jerry is uh, he says, and Michael still hasn't said a goddamn word. Reminds me of your skit where Michael's in the bathroom from 10 years and knowing Jigsaw. <laughs> love that. Love that Loomis uh, was sane, healthy. Michael gets out and Loomis snaps. <laughs> yeah, dude. That, I forgot all about that fucking Saul video that we did. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was well, very, I mean, yeah. We're filming a new one, by the way, Jerry, uh, this Wednesday. By the way, less videos of us together this week than planned because we had a COVID scare in my house don't worry nobody had it but we thought someone might have someone was exposed so we didn't film together at all uh we just yeah, did turns out streams. it was just a case of the chlamydia so it's I fine stuck the guy's dick yeah that that's, had a, that's all it was or maybe the cloud not, not a big deal it's gonna happen from time to time you're young it'll happen but uh but we're all in the clear now so we're shooting wednesday and we're filming an uber eats michael and uh loomis skit so that's yeah, gonna be i fun. did i, think that's I, gonna I just watched uh you know to kind of uh refresh my crack on on the, the Uber Eats commercials. I I didn't know that Robert Patrick, uh, and uh, or Patrick Stewart. I'm sorry, not Robert Pat. Patrick Stewart and Mark Hamill did an Uber. That Eats. was that was funny that, as shit, dude. That's where the idea came to me because I love the way Patrick Stewart says he's like with no tomatoes. Yeah, it was <laughs> funny. I was reading the comments like this is the closest you're ever going to get to a Star Trek Star Wars crossover. I'm like it fucking is true. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's fucking yeah. true. Holy Captain shit. Picard meeting Luke Skywalker. <laughs> that's Holy gonna be shit. fun. That that's gonna feel like the it's gonna feel like the Diet Coke commercial we did. I can't wait to do that. It's been a while mm -hmm. since we're not fucking skit, dude. I'm excited. Yeah, Courtney Reed, that motherfucking fantasy Patreon fantasy football winning son of a bitch, Courtney Reed. I remember when I found you guys in 2016 with your Batman vs Superman review. Never looked back. Congrats. Hey. Uh, yeah, hey. Thanks, Courtney, man. Dude, Courtney's a fucking major Courtney's member a, of this yeah. community. Yeah, dude, he is. He's like he's like the fucking soldier that you need. <laughs> like i love that guy like that dude that dude's like 18 <laughs> like, you call in the 18 and the court he shows up and skids to a halt in his motorcycle it's like you need me like, i love that dude fucking love courtney man uh and uh 
uh it's funny that batman versus superman review was a big time for us too that was there's just like all these little milestones in our channel that i can remember going back on and batman versus superman was a big thing for us because so many people hated it we were one of the few people that were like i love this shit dude well (laughs) yeah a lot of you guys connected with us through that channel you know what i mean i know that vanessa found us through that or it was either bvs or if it was uh, man of steel or one of because we always defended those movies Yeah. yeah Yeah, uh, that was that was the that was the thing for we didn't get like a shit ton of views or anything out of it. But I by the way, just so we coined it first it. back then, go. I mean, it was it was like what that was like uh, five years, six years ago. Go back. We were talking shit on Marvel back then when it was not cool <laughs> to true. do so. When it was at That's the height, we weren't talking shit, but we were like being very realistic about Marvel's approach and how they yeah. handle their characters. Is all we're saying. I don't like Mickey Mouse's butthole, but I'm just saying at like some point. I'm just saying. I'm just saying at some point when the pendulum swings and if they start going after Marvel for being the same old cookie cutter formula that's not working anymore, I don't want people to be like, "Oh, you guys are just piling on the bandwagon to attack Marvel." <laughs> We've been attacking Marvel yeah. since day one. <laughs> we'll be Rick Dalton in that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that that would be. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I know. Uh, Troy grew up. Thank you, buddy. Fucking love you, Troy. Love you, Troy. He says, congratulations, Mike and Jay. Love you guys. Can Jay say in his Dr. Loomis voice, talk about ice cream cake to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Wham. Cheers. Here's to many more years. You see what he did there? He fucking rhymed. I like that. I like that. You're a grub, but you're a poet and you didn't know it. Good job. What will you say? Ice cream cake? Ice cream cake. That's nice. Yeah, ice cream cakes. Let's celebrate at Dairy Queen. Let's go get an ice cream cake and celebrate someone's birthday. You know what? I don't celebrate shit except maybe one day standing over Michael's grave and taking the biggest diarrhea dump of all time. <laughs> That's what I celebrate in my mind, and it's not happened yet. So take your ice cream cake and go into the corner. I'll join you when Michael's dead. <laughs> You know, that's the only time I ever heard of ice cream. Did you remember those ice cream cakes in Dairy Queen? Is the fucking bomb, dude. They were like only dude, 10 I love bucks. those things. Are they I fucking are they, love those. They might be up. They I think they're, they're like now. $26 now because everything's no. inflated. But uh, Kevin Williams, thanks, buddy. Says, any chance we see an updated contraband review? LOL. That was our first <laughs> yeah, video of all time that, was yeah. contraband. Uh, that, dude, God. I don't want to watch not- it again. Oh, no, no. We did a reaction to do that, that. Yeah. some years ago. Somebody on Patreon requested it. So we did that as their video. And going back, I looked at our like Scream 4 review. By the way, dude, I want to tell you, I want to let you know something. I don't know. What? I don't think you know this. I went back today and for some reason someone linked it or someone commented on it. So I went and looked at the video because they were like, God damn, that was a long fucking time ago. And I was like, no, and there was a Scream 4 video. And I and I clicked on it. And the first thing I thought was, holy shit, this is yeah. awful. Yeah, This is just. Well, I mean, I, I clicked on our last video that we just did and say the same thing. <laughs> that's true too but it, it like it's, it's, it's still not as bad yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like it's just it's like slightly less embarrassing every time yeah. but oh dude we both were fucking ugly as sin we were, we're when you were when you were younger you look better i was fucking fat as shit i my neck was just like i look like Mr. was that was that was that uh pre-beard i didn't have a beard then you didn't have a beard then yeah, yeah so we just i look like just, i look like peter weller's son and, <laughs> the review was fucking awful too. Like all those old screen reviews we did were just so fucking terrible. But I want to tell you something. At the, I, I only watched thirty seconds of it because it's like watching someone sing badly on American Idol. Like you get secondhand embarrassment. You have to look away. Uh, yeah. Only in this case, it was firsthand embarrassment because I was embarrassed of myself. But you said in the beginning of that screen four review, you said I like this movie a lot. Did I, say I really that? enjoy it? You did. Okay, well, what happened was is I didn't have a beard, so that was what happened. And then as I progressed <laughs> older and got wiser and watched it again, I realized I didn't like that movie. I think I was just saying it because Mike liked it a lot, and I didn't want to make him feel bad. I, I think, think I that I, I like, more than you did. Think that's like legit. I think I didn't like it, and then I didn't want to be like, "Oh God, it fucking sucks," because we were still newish, and I didn't want to like have an argument about the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Who knows? dude? There's so many movies. If you went back, oh my god, it'd be so. Well, I mean, I'll just be I- honest with you. Like a hundred percent. Like that's true, and that's for anybody though. If you're doing, like, if you're doing a review of a movie with somebody else that's a friend of yours, and the last thing you want to do is fucking fight or argue about it, because they might feel real strongly about how great they love this movie. So you don't mm-hmm. want to be that one like little asshole in the corner, be like they're praising it, and then you're like, I just thought it fucking sucked. I think you're stupid. <laughs> I just was like, yeah, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I'll go to be with fair. Fuck. And also, I mean, we've seen a lot of like our movie tastes as, as adults have changed. It's been 10 mm-hmm. fucking years. So I bet if we went back and like looked at our reviews that and the scores we gave old movies, we would have completely different opinions about now because I've watched. Thankfully to you guys. And that's that's another thing, too, dude. 
one of the reasons that I was so excited to do this is because I used to listen to this podcast and it was like the first podcast I ever listened. It was like film junk or something. These Canadian dudes. And I, I remember like it was around the time of Nicholas Cage's knowing came out and they're talking about these movies. And I was like, this is cool. I've always been such a movie nerd. And like me and you and Cody have always talked movies, but this is somebody else talking movies and they're giving me all these movie recommendations. And I'm like, I have all these movies. I'm excited to watch now to see what I think about them. And it was a really cool relationship I had in my mind with these people when I was working at, in the fucking mailroom listening to podcasts, you know, on like yeah. the little MP3 player. So being able to do that for other people, it's just it's really fucking nice, man. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but it's just well, really I mean, nice. I, well, you know, the, the fact is, yeah, people's, uh, you know, your taste in movies might change. I mean, it, oh, yeah. it just happens. So, I mean, I, there's. Like back in the day, I used to fucking despise Halloween three. I thought it was a garbage movie. I thought it was a terrible movie. I thought it was yeah. like completely, like it, it made no sense why they would promise you a sequel to Mike uh, to a Michael Myers movie in Halloween two and then try to do a one eighty and make it a fucking season of the witch. I, I hated it. But you know, as time progressed, I watched a little bit more and watched it through different lenses that weren't rose colored. Only with Michael, I realized that it was a good it was a good movie. Yeah. I mean, that happens and, all the time. I just feel like going back and redoing it. It opens the, the the door up to people be like, see, you you, you guys flip flop all the fucking time. You flip flop and motherfuckers yeah, flip flop. We do because we're just movie fans. Well, you're human. <laughs> That's you flip flop just... on shit all the time. I say, hey, yeah. guess what? I, I changed my mind. I changed yeah. my mind. I'm allowed <laughs> to do that. And by the way, I, w- I wouldn't try to I wouldn't try to throw you under the bus there and say ah. But I, I was saying like no, that's I what know, I meant. I like know, it's I it's I, I wanted to tell you that somewhere in your little heart you like scream. No, so I think do. what happens it's is but you can say it based on one video, but I, I will say that my burning hatred for that movie I think has sustained me throughout most of the because I've always been consistent on the fact off camera that I didn't like it. I maybe mean, I didn't say it on camera because maybe I was a little bit a little bit more sensitive back then when I didn't have a beard because I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings that liked the movie. Beards do grow manliness in your nuts. Yeah, I just hide behind water. it. I just hide behind it. Uh, Ethan, dude. Oh, shit. Ethan, thank you so fucking much. That's a very fucking sweet super chat, man. I really do appreciate that, dude. Uh, That's very nice of you. Uh, He says, congrats on 10 years, guys. Thank you for always bringing a smile to my face when I have some bad days. Love you guys. Love you, Ethan. Hey, love you, man. Thank you. You guys do the same for us. Believe me, man. uh, This channel is there for us, and you guys are there for us, and have been there for us in the worst and the best times of our life over the past 10 years. So I promise the feeling is mutual. That was very sweet. Thank you, dude. By the way, yeah, thank you so much. And I don't mean to go back to this, but now I just thought of it. Donnie Wahlberg and Mark. Did he say Donnie Wahlberg? Donnie? uh, Yeah. Oh, because they're brothers. Maybe that's what he meant. Yeah. Oh, Mm. what? I forgot. He, I was Dane Cook and you were Donnie. Wahlberg. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought he said. Mark By the way, Wahlberg. I don't think fuck? you look like Donnie Wahlberg. No, I don't care. No, I I thought nothing wrong second, with looking second. like Donnie Wahlberg. No, I don't, dude, he was a new kids on the block. I don't give a fuck. I wish I could get that check guy. cashed. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I thought he meant Donnie. Never mind. Stupid. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> that would be a good movie. I'd watch the Donnie Wahlberg Dane Cook movie. Uh, hey, we're almost so at four. That would be a weird. Fight. That's like a buddy cop movie from from Satan's asshole. No. Uh, Almost at oh, I, I was gonna say almost that we just broke 400 people. In here, hey, you guys, like welcome! Thank you guys. Watch this crash and burn into midnight. I like hey, that. You guys, we got a long fucking ride. We got two and a half hours till we pop that fucking uh, bubbly. We'll leave soon after that because I know you guys have stuff to do. But that's that's when the anniversary hits. That's where we're gonna yeah, bitch, get pop crazy. champagne to this. It's your moment, <laughs> big as you're gonna get. So enjoy. So it. enjoy it. I had to give you a career to destroy it. <laughs> six feet deep go to sleep <laughs> that's exactly what i was gonna say six feet deep <laughs> uh gary thank you so much said how would you feel if they ever used the devil face mask and scream maybe for matthew if he came back is it too cheesy i think yes i think we have learned not to fuck with the ghost face mask i'm okay with chrome face but i'm not okay with changing it i'm not okay just keep it the way that it was that the way Wes craven made it it's a great fucking mask I mean, I could go. I could use the same argument in my, in Halloween. If they, I mean, I'm not saying that the I, the 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 new versions of it, except for five, weren't whatever. But I'm just saying, like, if they just kept the the original mask, the OG mask that Michael Myers had was perfect. Yeah. But I know that there was like you know legal problems with that. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know what's wrong with keeping the Ghostface mask, Ghostface. Yeah, and it's an easy mask to keep that way. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's not as hard. Like, and it's not as latex and rubbery as the, uh, the other mask. It's a very simple fucking formula. It's a very simple mask to remake. So just keep it. You know. But I, get yeah, I mean, if though. he if he wore a chrome mask, dude, I was like, is that Master P behind it? The mystery's over. <laughs> <laughs> Death Row Records, bitch. <laughs> Jade Spade, I like your name. He says, I-, "I love your vid. Me and my mother a lot. Can we get a hello, Denise and?" 
Hello, Denise. I guess at least hello, Denise and Charlie in the Dr. Loomis voice. Please love your vids. Keep up the great work. Hello, Denise and Charlie. Hello, from the Denise and Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what thank more do you want you, Jade. <laughs> ajk thank you says been watching for a while became a patreon this week congrats guys here's 10 more years cheers to god hey, cheers thanks, fuck man. you dude welcome to the patreon welcome to the fuck salad what do you have in that sippy cup oh this this is just water i'm trying to keep myself hydrated it's gonna be a long night it's all right just let it out let those puffy nipples fly it's okay they are puffy. No, I mean, I'm just, you know. No, they're not. Weird. I have small nipples, actually. I have very small and pointy nipples. I was, I was always puffy. saying that because I, I was watching somebody and they were like, somebody asked, it was like a, a podcast or something. And somebody asked, it's like, have you ever had puffy nipples before? Mm. It, it's, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a question. I never have, but that would probably give me a panic attack. Somebody said, uh, well, that, oh, the person we that was asking on the podcast, they said that they had puffy nipples so bad they had to tape them down. I was like, are you meaning like you had man tits? Like, I don't know. Like, are you meaning like your oh, man I've had titties? puffy titties? But puffy titties, but that's not puffy nipples. I thought Check you meant the old like videos. Were puffy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've I've had I've definitely had puffy titties. Um, I remember I remember one time, and it was probably right about the time we started the channel. Uh, I was I was a little bit overweight, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, my boss literally came up to me and I was wearing like a, a polo shirt because they made you dress up, which I fucking mm -hmm. hate doing. It's one of my favorite things about doing YouTube. I don't have to dress up. And he poked me in the titty and he went titties <laughs> and i was like titties Stop. some ass, t t t t ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit fuck jonathan you do not have to do that man hey my jonathan name's jonathan Brunder. too not you you fuck jonathan oh. brunder with the, just dropped a fucking bag on the super chat holy shit man uh you you didn't have to fucking do that man thank, thank you, you though thank you so fucking much by man. the way he says, Congrats. jonathan's need to stick together you know in in hebrew it means gift of god oh, and you are gift this basically was he says congratulations mike and jay on 10 years of awesomeness and amazing content thank you both so much for 10 years of fun and laughter i want you guys to go out on me oh no sorry i got that ah, confused yeah. section I, I want you guys to go out on me and have a great time here's looking forward to the next 10 years of wham thank you so much man don't threaten me with a good fucking time jonathan okay don't let's go it. to the fucking karaoke dude by the way off subject well hang on hang on though what? we owe it to him we owe it to this man for this huge fucking super chat to go back to the karaoke. I want you to look at me. What are you talking about right now? You... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> are we going to get a GoPro and just Let's take go everybody right... with us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but we should go. We should go soon in, in the name of Jonathan and that, and that wonderful donation. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate yeah, good. it. Good. I've got, I've been working up some good material because I want to do, uh, you remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do? Remind me of the, remind me of the, I saw my the baby crying <laughs> hard as babe could cry. No, it's a uh, dance magic. <laughs> From I have no fucking idea what you David just did, but I liked it. Oh, it was good. Oh, song. David Bowie was great. Yeah, it was good. But all I was, gonna say was you know what? It was. It reminded me today of Otto Octavius. I read this thing. China just broke the world record on uh, nuclear fusion. They literally made nuclear fusion for 17 minutes. It held. It burned hotter than the sun. It was an artificial sun. They built yeah. an artificial sun. The power of the sun. In the I don't trust of my hands. Otto Octavius said that, and it's becoming a reality right now. Spider Man is going to shut that shit down, but before he does, that's incredible, folks. I'm just going to say how cool that is because, you know, we're all relying on coal and natural gas. At some point in the future, it's possible that we're going to harness the power of the sun. You think the they're just going to give it to us? You no, think they're just going to give it to us? It, no, it'll, they're no, going to kill us with it. No, dude, it's going to be okay. But imagine a renewable resource like the energy of the sun that's going to power homes. And the world, God damn, it's so cool. And the James yeah. Webb telescope is completely unfurled, and that bitch is ready to shine its dick in the universe. Dude, yeah. we're gonna see some crazy shit soon. But it's in the hands of people who hate us. Well, not just China. No, China in 2025, they're actually gonna use this same what they just did today or yesterday. They're gonna it's the world's largest magnet, and it's made the the, the people that are a part of this project are all the countries in the world, including the U.S. I don't and, hate them. I just want to make that clear. Well, either way, but I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It's good, but you know, just cool. It's cool for humanity. I, I, it's talking just about the Chinese. I'm talking about it's cool for humanity that we're that far along in technology advancement. That's cool as shit. I don't care. I, I love China. Ooh. Okay. 
be I careful got... with what you say because you don't I'm want someone just... to take that shit out of, like and put that looped up somewhere and put it next to a video that you don't America. want to be a part. I don't oh, love it yeah. more than America, Jay. No, but I love, I love, you know I love what, all I, people. I'm That's a Christian I and I love Jesus. And yeah. uh, I love people. So, so it doesn't matter. just don't burn me with your hot fire, son. That's fine. Please. That's fine. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Don't do it. Artificial. I sun. said, don't do it. Sunfire. Don't do it. That's a comic book hero. X Men. Don't you fucking dare. Sunfire. Jay Abhor Jay says, 10 years is an amazing compliment. Congrats. Congrats to you, you fuck. Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you so much, dude. Edward Santiago says, happy 10, gentlemen. Woo! Thanks, Edward Edward's Santiago. A girl. Eduardo's a, wor a woo girl. Eduardo Woo! Santiago. I love that guy. That guy's got a great name, too. Eduardo Santiago. He sounds like the kind of guy that was in the Old West. And they're like, who are you looking for? It's like, Eduardo Santiago. It's like, you don't look for Eduardo Santiago. He looks for you. Mr. Santiago. <laughs> you don't look for Eduardo Santiago. <laughs> you did not touch Mr. Eduardo Santiago. He looks for you. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for a man named Butcher. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes, Butcher. Tyler Green. One day when you're yeah. older, you will wear stretchy pants. <laughs> Tyler Green, thanks, buddy. He says, Congrats on your 10 year biscuit, boys. I celebrated my son's second birthday today. Hey, now enjoying right. a brew with you, dudes. Can Luma send my boy Ash a happy birthday? Congrats and happy birthday. Hey, to happy your birthday, son, birthday man. man. Thank you. Um, I'm going to get a drink while you do that. His okay. name's Ash. Cool name. Yeah, it's a cool name if you're a cigarette smoker. What the hell were you doing when he was born? Ah, uh, I'm flipping an ash. Call him ash. Whatever. Happy birthday, boy. I hope it's going well. I hope you're doing well. And I hope that you realize that in this world, no one's for you. you got to go out and get it yourself. I don't want to hear any excuses. Don't say, oh, they were mean to me and this or that happened and I can't do it in life. That's a bullshit excuse. That's what weenies say. And you're not a weenie. So, Ash... Have a good birthday and start looking for a job tomorrow. Okay? Because at two years old, I had a full-time job, 40 hours a week. That's right. I was doing hard labor in Quantico. Part of the FBI training. But anyway, have a good one. <clears throat> My voice is fine. Linda Chalice, are you serious? I hope that's not true. Mods, mods, can, oh my god, you're spamming the fuck out of this! Holy shit! I believe that she needs to be removed, Thurth and Madams of the mods. They've been doing that. Oh, what an asshole! <laughs> I didn't even know. I believe its name is uh, not Linda. It's it's. Well, I, I believe in the new vernacular. It's called a Karen. Bumblebee tuna. Bumblebee tuna. That's right. Tomo got to say she doesn't even go here. Hey, by the way, we got some fucker keeps changing their names. Apparently, spoiling screen. Uh, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Don't listen to them. A I mean, it's not. That's lying. not even true. Neff Campbell dies. You dumb shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've duh. never seen it. I'm kidding. Fucking duh. It. First uh, off, I, I'm not that. I would never do that because uh, I've never. I don't really have that big of a desire to go see it. But the second thing is, the last thing I would do is spoil anything. But yeah. uh, and this is the last time they will be mentioned because I'm not going to give them any more credit they deserve. But you guys, don't worry. These people, what they do just to be fucking little little bitches is they come in and they they try to spoil upcoming movies so that the crowd will leave to fuck us over. Um, uh, but so they haven't actually seen. Yeah, they've only screened the movie for critics. These little mm. fucking ball sacks haven't seen the movie. Don't know what they're talking about. So I think that's worry. Lee McCoy over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all Lee. That fuck. <laughs> don't worry. Do not threat, my friends. It's not real. I promise. Um, it's Tyler Grief says, "Congrats on your." Oh, I just read that. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ash. Sean Davis. Long. I think Sean was. One, he was at least in the one of the first five patrons we ever had. So hey, congrats to fuck hey, Sean. Sean too. And Sean has to this Sean. day, he is the Conan the Barbarian of the pantsless person. Oh yeah, I respect his power and his majesty. And you fucking, you better respect it, everybody. He doesn't wear pants, and he's proud as fuck of that. He is. He likes I to like. Break, he likes his dick to just swing just around. Say, hey, he's like, I got a dingling, and I'm proud of it. He Suck puts it in the air conditioning and sees that the air conditioning is powered enough to like blow it back a little bit. And then it does. He goes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Yeah. He says, congrats, Micah J. Sorry. All the time I said you blow and smell like feet. You don't smell like feet. It's more like armpits. You deserve all your success. Viva la Hey man, I like that. That's a good, that's a good, 
that's a good gesture and good quote that you just said. And yeah, you're exactly right. We, I feel like we've graduated to armpits. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like, it's like Sean is yes, like, uh, he's like major pain. And he's like, he's like, you're no longer maggots. You're turds. <laughs> <laughs> You've graduated to turds. <laughs> Fucking love you, Sean. Uh, Rebecca Mayberry says, thank you, Rebecca. She says, I've been binge watching your videos to make this COVID experience less miserable. Still waiting on a review of all the Sleepaway Camp movies. That's a big fucking oh, Uber Eats order. You just I thought we did, the, right we did the first one. We did the first one when she was like, hey, <laughs> you've got your dick out, sir. <laughs> got I mean, a miss? Dick. I mean, whatever. <laughs> like, There's a spoiler alert. Your dick? I've got a dick. Dude, if I had been um, a counselor and I'd run down to see what was happening after she killed that kid, I'd be like, is that your dick? <laughs> I thought that was Sally. And it turns out their name was Frankie with the freaking beans. <laughs> uh, hey, dude, I'm going to uh, give me one second. I'm going to see if I can switch something up in here live. I hope I don't fuck with anything. Uh, I am going to have to fix something real fast because the trolls are very easy to fucking swat like the little bitch ass flies. That's that they weird are. that they're all of a sudden, you know, I mean, I guess it's somewhat flattering, but it's not really because you guys are you trying to fuck us over? Or you just really needed that hug that you never got from your mom from like strangers on the internet. Like I understand it's sad. Like, small it's dicks are like hard to look at when you're in the mirror, when you get out of the shower and these people yeah. probably have that small wieners yeah so yeah and this will take care of them very easily good night bye so if you guys if, if you guys the mods the awesome amazing fucking mods that really rock the shit for us we'll just keep doing what you're doing i just did something that will uh uh make these little uh fucking piss ants who are going to continue being miserable tomorrow morning when they wake up after <laughs> look what we did we got them yeah these are the people that have like they have a permanent smell of guacamole and tuna fish <laughs> off their dick that's what they are yeah, and they're fat so, Cheeto fucking spreading assholes. Anyway, I'm not, you know, yeah. everybody likes that's Cheetos, not but the, they're disgusting I people. I do. Cheetos are fucking great, but that's that's taken care of. Don't worry about it. Bye. Uh, See ya. By the way, um, when you were gone, I was I saw that and I didn't even notice that that was going on. And then uh, uh, I felt like I was in war. I was like, you know, instead of screaming, medic, I was going, mod. <laughs> <laughs> I got mod. Can someone come revive me, please? uh shit fuck thank you rebecca mike baglioni says happy 10 years congrats congrats to you mike Thanks. thank you so fucking much man thank you so much uh all of you guys for hanging out with us tonight uh this is special man it's cool to see all you guys show up to hang out really with cool. us because special day for us too domingo rivera thanks buddy patreon fucking awesome dude been watching for so many years i lost count congrats boys you are youtube's billy and stew which one are you and billy and which one's stew get it up get it up I'll be whichever. As long as there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll be whatever you say. Jay's funnier than I am, so he can be Stu. I'll hey, be by boring. the way, I was going to tell what? you something. Arby, you Arby's is coming out. Yeah. Uh, the, their Diablo Dare. Did you see this? I saw it. It's Dude, it, that shit is going to be about as spicy as Frank's well, I'm gonna Red try it. I'm going to try it tomorrow. It. We should do a review on it on Wednesday. I will do that. Let's do well, it. I'm, but not like, but I'm not like talking a lot, but I'm going to have it tomorrow and we'll do a, a review. Well, don't have it tomorrow. No, I'm going to have it tomorrow. No, no don't fucking to... have it tomorrow. Save have it, it tonight. Save... Don't have it tonight. Save mm -hmm. it for Wednesday and then pick it up on your way here and then no! we'll do it in a video. I don't like doing that. We'll do it in a video together, you fuck. I want you to do... Oh, you know what? I'll eat it first and then I'll have your initial thoughts when you first eat it and we'll do it like that. Why don't you just wait for Wednesday, dude? Because I don't want to wait. Just I wanna wait. Have the, I want to have the Diablo now in my mouth. I want Diablo to come in my mouth with <laughs> I can I can set that up for you. Hey, uh, did you know Taco Bell's uh, for one week only? I think it's almost it's probably over already. Had chicken wings. I did see that, but did you hear that Taco Bell was actually going to be bringing back their Mexican pizza? That's fantastic news. That's yep, awesome news. I'm happy about that. I, well. I think it's going to be, but it's so weird. Like, why wouldn't they be able to do it right now? But apparently, it's not going to be until August. But they are bringing it back. Oh, that's okay i you know what they they took it away so that we can appreciate it when they brought it back did you also and hear I, that kfc stick... has plant-based chicken now that is that is something that i'm very interested in not giving i a do fuck about. i do want to i want to give it a shot just to see if there's a difference on it but i mean i was like i really don't give a fuck i mean it's kfc the fact is you guys literally slaughter chickens by like the millions anyway so can i just have that fresh original recipe Colonel, I'm very, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for vegetarians and vegans that they'll get to enjoy KFC. You have that again. option, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't enjoy KFC anyway. I think it's fucking nasty, but I don't really. The only thing the KFC had a chance when they did that KFC chicken sandwich, yeah. but it, but you know what? You know the problem with the KFC chicken sandwich because you would imagine KFC would rule the roost as far as the chicken sandwiches because you got Wendy's 
not Wendy's. Well, you got the spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. Wendy's has a good, really, chicken. really good. By the way, mm -hmm. uh, most people don't talk about that, but you got the Popeye's chicken sandwich and you got the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. Very but the good. thing about it is, you would imagine KFC would have the ultimate chicken sandwich, and it's not good. It's not like it's bad, but the thing about it is that pickle they put on it takes away the whole fucking flavor of the chicken sandwich. Now I love a pickle in my chicken in my mm. butt uh, but i really yeah, love I, pickle I in my say, chicken yeah. sandwich. <laughs> birdie buttholes uh i i like it but now uh, dude can't kfc to me hasn't had a good food item since nashville hot grilled chicken because you could eat chicken and it wasn't actually nashville hot it was you know but it was like it had the it was yeah, it was oil on. based yeah so many people say they have nashville hot and they just put hot sauce on cup and something and call it nashville hot was if it like been frank's red hot i think it was frank's red hot it was yeah something like that well yeah. not on theirs but on most people's mm -hmm. it's like some bullshit sauce but if you've ever actually been to nashville or ate at joella's hot chicken they have certain chicken stacks sh i love joella she gets great <laughs> helmet <laughs> that, <laughs> actual nashville hot chicken sauce will fuck your mouth it, well, it, it is so hot and so good. i want my mouth fucked because what alive. arby's is making the claim that this is spicy sandwiches this is the spicy they sandwich always on do. yeah yeah but they have but they're put they're, they're putting it out they, they said they got ghost pepper jack yeah. cheese yeah. They got they got uh, a chipotle bun. They yeah. got um, a, a specific hot sauce they're using. They got fried jalapenos. Which, by the way, when you when you fry the jalapenos, they lose all they lose all the heat anyway. Because it's not going to say is if you get a fresh sure. jalapeno. First off, yeah, jalapenos are hot, at. but the fresh ones. A jalapeno can wild. surprise you if you get it in the right bite. Well, you if know? you get it from Papa John's and they give you those little jalapenos, all that you know. I love yeah. I love when the juice runs down my my throat I when know. I eat in when I those bite are banana in, so. peppers. No, they're not. Yeah, the yellow ones, those are banana peppers, dude. That's they're what I said. Jalapenos. I said banana peppers. Uh, oh, but, you said yeah, jalapenos. No, I did not. I did say jalapenos. <laughs> <But, no. laughs> you lost the scholarship. Well, way, well, okay, but but I've had fresh jalapenos, and jalapenos, when they're fresh, are fucking, they're pretty spicy. Oh, yeah. But once you, once you fry them up, they're not, they lose that little, uh, they lose that little hotness. They still. can. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like pickled ones either. That's what made the Hardy's uh, jalapeno burger, the oh, God, greatest dude, that, fast food burger of all it. time. Yeah. The jalapeno fresh. thick burger from Hardy's is the greatest sandwich that's ever been put out on the fucking market. Period. hundred percent, dude. hundred percent. Uh, I had, I had mango habanero wings the other night. Hey, I've been taking magnesium for my anxiety, by the mm. way. Uh, and it, dude, it fucking helps by the way. It helps a lot. Uh, but milk of magnesia or just magnesium no just magnesium just just oh. magnesium pills and like it has helped a lot i feel a lot better I, i've been because i was i was i had a, I had a rough run there for a couple weeks around new year's i was having them really bad again yeah. uh but i'm feeling a lot better now but aside from that the point is is that it 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 fucking cleans you out though like oh, dude i've cool been fire pooping like all over the goddamn play i've been em emptying my brain and soul into the toilet and then um where was i gonna go with that Oh, yeah. that's where I was going to go. But I found something weird. After after a week or two of just shitting my fucking soul out, mm -hmm. I had mango habanero wings at B-dubs yesterday. And you know what? I didn't no have a painful leak. shit. That's yeah, good. yeah. It was like it went like it cleaned me out like all my uh, like it took all my scars and like all my scars. Normally, I have the mango habanero wings and I have a slow, hot poop and it just yeah. is so painful well, and this is one of those conversations where i go how the fuck did we survive 10 years but you know what that's a great thing because i was like just turning to crack cocaine to smoke to help with my anxiety levels but now i've heard of magnesia i think i yeah. should go there magnesium magnesium don't get it twisted well listen i don't care about guns so i'm not thinking about the magnums <laughs> um. <laughs> no i don't uh, yeah but yeah i don't know yeah um that's good i mean i don't you know, every anything to stop that anal, anal leakage when you have something spicy, especially from yeah. B dubs, is always no, a good thing. Yeah, it's it's fucking wonderful, dude. Thank you, Patricia. You're a super sweetheart. I got a box at the PO box from you, by the way. I did pick that up, so we will unbox that soon. Chuck Carter, thanks, buddy. Says Mike, it seems like you play music. If so, who are your favorites and what instruments do you play? I play the cockpipe. Uh mainly. He's so good at it. <laughs> Jay's cockpipe is, is uh, so good. Uh, God, he can sponsored. play so many tunes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uses my balls as the harp chords i play i play the butt whistle that's a good one too i mean uh, this boy's got a phd in that uh, the <laughs> only instruments i can play dude are guitar and bass guitar and and not well uh not not very well i can i can i can i can learn songs and play you know on guitar but i'm not i'm definitely not a good guitar player i sang in a band for for a couple of years uh and like a little screamo kind of band uh sort of papa roach slash screamo and then my favorite music is a uh, favorite band of all times blink Ray too i like cedar i like the used i like uh uh one of my favorite new people that i've been listening to a lot is a country guy called tired tyler childers if you like country music i know that's weird i'm not a country guy but he's fucking amazing 
and you know shit like that i like pop punk is my favorite music genre and i like long walks on the beach and sucking dudes dicks mm -hmm. i mean that's like i mean what doesn't like what american could argue with that i i could right <laughs> and john denver i think to me is an american classic man that's never been taught john denver mm -hmm. i do right? him yeah, yeah. John denver with his glasses too i mean yeah he yeah. might look like Dahmer's dad but we'll get over oh. that Hey, Jamie fucking right. I ain't seen your face in a while, man. What's oh, up? Oh, Jamie right. Face, but He's always right. Name. He's always right. I now picture your face and also coincidentally am hard. Uh, Jamie, miss you, buddy. Good to see you, man. He says, congratulations on 10 years, fellas. Here's to many more. Here's to you, you fuck. Hey, thanks. thanks, Jamie. A nice, cold, alcohol-free Mountain Dew. Yeah. Justin Martin. Thanks, buddy. He says, happy 10 years, guys. Been watching you since I was 13. Damn. You're 23 now? Mean? Jesus Christ. <laughs> dude, what the fuck just happened? When the fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> I feel like the whole thing is dreamed up. This isn't real. We're in a fucking matrix. Like you're 23 years old now. Holy shit. He says, time flies when you're having fun. Can I get a toast to 10 years from Wahlberg and Loomis? Um, did he start watching us when he was 13? Like, I don't know. He years just says, ago? He, I, I could be wrong. Since we don't know how old he is now, he's probably still 13. <laughs> I started oh, he just started watching. Yeah, like yesterday, was two I was weeks 13. ago. <laughs> yeah, like, like he was like 13 in December 31st. Yeah, but I, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for your super chat. Thanks for coming in here. Thanks for celebrating 10 years with us. You know, it's been a long time. I, I my brother was in New Kids on the Block, and I was really upset about that. I was feeling low on myself. I was feeling down. I was feeling fucking like, Mark, you got to fucking do something with your career. You got to do something with your fucking life. And I found YouTube, and I found this motherfucker right here. And it's just nice. It's nice to fucking be appreciated. I'm going to say that. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, thank you, 13-year-old boy, for watching it. Um, You know what? You know what? Um. Go do something more productive, you little asshole. <laughs> Keep your ass away from there. You sound like Lonnie. Shut up, <laughs> piece of shit. Going on a YouTube channel and watching it. That's it's a thoughts only. Okay? I bet your parents let you watch Jersey Shore and you want to be Mike the sh shit awation. Or situation. <laughs> I call him shit awation. Did you just say shitty waste? He is a shitty waste of station. Get out of here. Little thirteen year old, get your ass away from there! By the way, we have happy we have we have happy meals at Wahlburgers now. Get your get your happy meal at Wahlburgers. <laughs> the biggest, <laughs> the biggest <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> The Jaeger Bomb says, when I first found you guys two years ago, I thought WWE wrestler Sheamus and Daniel Bryan had a channel. I love you guys. Um, I just Thanks. need to dye my hair red and become handsome. Sheamus and uh, Daniel Bryan. That Daniel guy, Bryan's yeah. the I know Sheamus. Sheamus is white as me. I get that one. He's super white. He's yeah. super white, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I'm not Davis. Irish, though. I ain't Irish. <laughs> ain't no Irish to me. I Thank think you, I, you know, honest to God, I was looking this up, dude. I think... I've got, and it's surprising, I understand, because of the pale skin, the possibility of liver damage that is the green part coming over my face. Mm -hmm. I think I've got a little Native American in me. I think my, my, well, my mom's side had a lot of Native American. She in did them. love Indians, dude. No, but her great, but her grandmother, no, her grandmother was full on fucking Native American. Full on. Well, then you definitely have it in you. It's not well, even a no, question. but I think it was. I think her husband like captured her in the night or something. I don't know. Like she, the, the, I don't like her great grandfather. <laughs> I don't know how the fucking story went. Maybe do one of those. Called her Mammy Young. Well, dude, have and you ever said done no one? one even when she died, she my mom said that when her grandmother died, and she said she was mean as fuck, but she said when she died, no one knew her age. Hmm. Like she wouldn't say anything to, about her age. Anyway, so. I don't know. I feel like there's, I think that there is like a uh, Cherokee. Like your mom always talk about Cherokee. Well, listen, send me a stool sample and I'll sign us up for one of those ancestry sites.com. And we'll yeah, find that's out. A good idea. How about we do that? So when they, when, you know, when a date rape victim happens, they can put your fucking fingerprint on them after the ancestry.com. They can use yeah. that technology. That was yeah. from a Bill Burr joke. You guys should look that up. <laughs> just, just, just shit in a bag for me and I'll figure it out. Okay? Hey Mike, you want to hear something More really interesting? What? If you watch Jaws backward, it's actually a really inspiring story about a shark that gives arms and legs to the disabled. <laughs> I've heard this before. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to do it now, though. Yeah, can you really do that? Idea. Is there a technology that where you can watch a movie backwards? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a. Davis, Robert Pattinson's Batman or Michael Myers? Who wins? Michael Myers loses to Batman. 
<laughs> yeah. First off, if Robert Pattinson's batarangs can't stop Michael, then he'll just open up his shirt and sparkle his ass to death. <laughs> he'll be blind and then he'll drop kick him. I love Michael Myers, but if babysitters can survive him, superheroes will fuck his face. You know what I mean? It's just facts. You know, you know, if you really think about it, Michael Myers would be would be a really good rogues gallery villain for for uh, Batman, even though he like he doesn't really think for himself. He just kind of exists. Yeah, but he would be like, I feel like Michael, you could see Michael Myers as a psycho serial killer being in the rogues gallery of Batman. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go pee though. It makes sense go in pee. my head. All right, go tinkle. Okay, I'll be back. Go tinkle and toll it. Take a picture of it for me. Scratch and stiff. Bat Seal says, love y'all, Michael J. Wayne for life. Love you, Bat Seal. You're fucking awesome, dude. Uh, Ray's P says, Diet Coke commercials goaded. I fucking love that. That's one of my favorite videos we've ever done. No doubt about it. No fucking doubt about it, man. Um, oh, yeah. That guy's a twat burger from fucking Texas. Um no doubt about it. Pop culture with Pat's not, though. He's a cool fucking guy. Hey, I see Dave in there, too. What's up, Dave McRae, you fuck? He says, have a drink on me, run naked through the streets, slap each other's asses, and yell, fuck yes, I'm so glad I wear jeans. In people's faces at the store. <laughs> I'll just picture that fucking whole scenario. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that, Dave, and I swear to fuck, I will do that because <laughs> I want to see it in my mind's eye. I mean, I already see it in my mind's eye. You know what I mean? Sometimes I, I talk with my butt cheeks like Ace Ventura. Um, was that out loud? Did I did I say that out loud? Love you, Dave. Pop culture, Pat. Thanks, buddy. He says, happy 10 years, guys. Have we been here since? The, have, have. <laughs> have. Happy 10 years, guys. Have been here since the early days and so happy for all your success. Thank you for all the laughs, good times, and being an inspiration. My channel hit 900 subs today. Pop Culture Pat, that is a fucking milestone right there, dude. Give it up, fuck Pop Culture Pat. And you guys do me a fucking favor. Go subscribe to that motherfucker right there, right now. Let's see if we can get that. There's 400 people in here right now. If there's at least 100 of you that are not subscribed to Pop Culture with Pat, don't go watch his fucking videos yet or anything, all right? Stay here with us. I'm not that fucking nice, Pat. But if just 100 of you, if you if you haven't seen Pop Culture with Pat before, he has an interview with James Jude Courtney on there. It would make this so much fucking sweeter, this 10-year anniversary tonight, if we can get Pat from 900 subs to 1,000 subs, and he can hit that milestone at the same time as us. So will you guys do that, do that favor for me? That would be super fucking sweet. Just, just all you have to do is, don't, hey, I'm serious. Don't you fucking leave the stream, all right? Don't you fucking do it. I swear to God. Right click, open link in new tab, subscribe to Pop Culture with Pat. Let's get him to 1,000 subs tonight, and he can hit that milestone the same night we hit our 10 years. That would be a fucking gift for us, too. He's a nice fucking guy. And again, he's got an interview with James Drew Courtney on his channel, so you know you want to watch that shit. I think we did a video on it a long time ago. But do that. Pat, keep us updated throughout the night, man. Let us know if you get to 1,000. I know at least a hundred of you fuckers will do that for you for me. Please do that for me. That would be fucking awesome. That would make me happy. Let's get it fucking done. Let's get it fucking done. Um, is it weird for you guys to know that I know right now that Jay in this same universe that we're all living in, right? Right now, as you and I look to each other and talk, Jay's holding his wiener. Right now. He is peeing in a toilet and he's holding his, his wiener right now. All right. So if you're planning on playing the lottery, now's a good time to do it because there's magic in the air. Huh? No, it's not pee. It's magic. It's Jay's magic pee. Sometimes I watch JP. Just to get a whiff of greatness. Sometimes we play swords. And I'm not even ashamed of it. <sighs> That's just big facts. It's what we do. It's what you do when you're best friends, guys. You pee together. Huh? That's true. Hey, who's fucking going to see Scream this week? Are you guys fucking pumped for that shit? I'm really goddamn excited. Ten years and a new Scream movie at the same fucking time. That's going to be fucking amazing. 
I'm holding off. I know I, I, it sounds like I'm killing time. I am a little bit right now because I, I don't want to get to the other super chats. I want to wait for J for him. I don't want to feel like we're, you know, uh, I don't want, I don't want, they're for both of us. So I want J to embrace the ambiance too, like a, like a fart, but a lovely smelling fart that you like smelling. Who smells their own farts? Be honest. Just be honest about it. This is not a place for laugh for lies or laughter. Uh, not a place for laughing or or lies. Uh, that's for sure. That's for absolute sure. Chinatown says, I found these guys last year around Halloween. Glad I did because Michael J always made me laugh. You know, one of the special times in my entire life was that 2018 Halloween movie. And it's not just that the movie came out. It's that Jay and I were doing fucking Halloween videos for years before that movie came out. Just because we like to talk about it. It wasn't popular. Nothing going on. Maybe a little Halloween Returns came out. But then that movie came out and it was just like YouTube was like, hey, I hear people are fucking interested in this and you fucking twats are talking about it. So let's let them in the fucking building. And then you came and here we fucking are. And then we came. I got them city. A city of oh, justice. Yeah. City of love. City of love. Huh. A city of peace for oh. every one of us. Oh, oh. Hey, we all need it. Oh, I can't yeah. live without it. Woo -hoo. Bring hey, back Michael Keaton. Spencer, oh, yeah. Spencer Bacchus. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying your name right, dude. Spencer Batch us or back us. Just back us with a big hundred dollar fucking super chat. Hey, Spencer. Holy 100. shit. I loved you on, on the hills with Lauren. <laughs> Goddamn dollars uh, from Spencer. He says, you guys are hysterical, loyal followers since pre-Halloween 2018. That's funny. I was hey. talking about that. Thank you cool so fucking stuff, much, man. dude. Hey, cheers. Jonathan and Spencer dropping the fucking bags in the goddamn chat tonight. Cheers to all you guys super chatting. Cheers to all you guys even watching. Thank you so fucking much, Spencer. That's really sweet of you, dude. This is really cool. By the way, it's also showing the fact that we literally can talk about nothing <laughs> for over an hour. <laughs> Like, I just talked about your wiener the whole time you were gone. Well, that Don't worry, I was complimentary. 15 seconds to talk about. <laughs> it's average. Hey. Uh, it's uh, short, shriveled, and always to the left. <laughs> uh, Dave McCray popped in here, too, while you were gone. Uh, and by the way, we're Pop Culture with Pat hit 900 subs tonight, so we're trying to get him up to 1,000. Oh, uh, okay. Go uh, subscribe just... to him. <laughs> hey, I said, don't you leave this fucking video, though. I said, you better not. You better not. And then right before he said that, just to get you caught up, uh, Dave McRae popped in. He said, happy 10 years, fellas. Have a drink on me. Run naked through the street. Slap each other's asses and yell, fuck yes. I'm so glad I wear jeans in hey, people's Dave, faces at Starbucks. We're going to definitely do that. And don't worry. We'll film it and put plenty of shadows in it for you. <laughs> we'll get that blue light going, Dave. We're going to get that blue light and those shadows, those shadow <laughs> effects. <laughs> Little inside joke. Oh, if you guys shit. don't know, Dave McRae always talks about the shadows and stuff and the blue lighting yeah. on the Halloween right. movies. I'm gonna PP. I'll be right back, man. All right, all right, then. All right. Look, it's your uh, fucking face. I don't want to look at it anymore. God, I've seen it for fucking 37 years. It looks like shit. Can you turn it away? I guess we can't. I don't have control of it. Ah. Pop culture with Pat, 950. Hey, get him to a 1,000, guys. Come on. Have a little heart in you. Get it up there. <laughs> Mike White says, I'm honestly too high to type everyone's hello. Just know I've seen them. <laughs> that man's a champion. God damn. If there were a champion of getting high and being able to function as an adult, that guy right there is Rocky Balboa, and I love it. Michael White, man. D Mitch 14 says, what games you be playing? Uh, well, honestly, the only game I'm playing right now, and I know, I know, I know, I know what you guys are going to say. <laughs> oh my God, this goddamn geek. It's, uh, I've been playing Star Trek online. That's the only game I actually held my attention. I really enjoy it. I really do like that shit a lot. I don't know why. It's just, it's got me going. Uh, Vander Hoof says he Dutch ovens himself. Well, you know what? We all have to have hobbies. And if you like to smell your own farts, then by God, you go and smell your own farts, sir. You like it. Uh, green flame production say, Jay, what do I drink if I can't drink coffee? Well, I mean, I don't like coffee. I think coffee tastes like donkey ass, but that's just only me. I would say have yourself a diet soda. Um, uh, I love diet soda. Or, you know, if you want to feel adventurous, go ahead and get yourself a little Coke, Coca-Cola, not Coke cane, Coca-Cola. Austin says, play some Halo Infinite. Oh, you give me Deadpool. Okay. On Xbox. I have to get that. I'll play some. 
Uh, Ethan C. J. Have you played Skyrim, sir? That's like asking an astronaut that's been to the moon if he's ever been to space. Of course, I played Skyrim. I was obsessed with that fucker for like, oh my god, I lost countless nights and turned down sex for it. I regretted that later, but I did. Yes, I love Skyrim. Um, played the shit out of it. I and then all the mods when they finally came to Xbox, I was all over that shit. Holy fuck. Um. T. Allen Films says, what you drinking, Jay? Well, this would be a fine superior beer uh, that would be called Michelob Ultra. It is wonderful. And it hits the 9,000 taste bud, buds, buds that it's designed to on your tongue. Action says he still has an N64. Action, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's got some great games on there. I mean, immediately when you say N64, I think of Ocarina of Time and GoldenEye. Some great goddamn games Define the childhood that I had once a long time ago in a galaxy far away. It was, dude, N64 is, you know, I'm not going to say it's the best. It's not the best. Super Nintendo is probably my favorite system that Nintendo ever put out. But the N64 is phenomenal in what it was able to accomplish. And by the way, how the fuck did they fit Resident Evil 2 on the cartridge, on the one cartridge that they were able to do? Holy shit. Um... <clears throat> Atari 2600, Jason Dyer. Holy shit, that's some good shit too. I don't really remember many games on that though. Was it? Mm, I can't remember. I, yeah, I couldn't. Ebor Thawne, dude, th GoldenEye, No Mercy, Mario 64, classic shit. Oh my God. And uh, let's not forget WCW, NWO, Revenge. Maybe, maybe, and I I'm going to go ahead and say it's true. It's true without a doubt. Bring in the defendant. He's guilty. It's it's absolutely true. Greatest wrestling game ever. I'm sorry. I know that later on the graphics improved when you get into the PlayStation era, SmackDown, things like that. But WCW, NWO Revenge, I had such a blasty blast playing that game so many times. Plus, you know, it, it was just so good, man. It was so cool. Um, sorry guys, hold on. Sean Cooper says, congrats, man. 10 more to win. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, Green Flame says, I've been around since the video Michael Myers exists. Oh man, you, you old school. I like that a lot. Holy shit. I remember that video. That video was fun as fuck. Mike. Bagalone says he still has his Game Boy Advance. The thing about, I never played Game Boy Advance. I only, I, the the uh the handheld stuff i i stopped playing i had a game boy and that was it i always really wanted a psp just because it looked cool but i never got one but what Dude, hold on a second spencer says oblivion are you saying oblivion better than sky I, you know i i did like oblivion oblivion was really fun but I feel like what really launched for me, what Skyrim, what made it so different was the, the obviously the the massiveness of the game was incredible. And when they added the mods to it on consoles, it just added an extra layer to the game that you could keep playing even after the initial. Because let's face it, I mean, the Elder Scrolls games never really had a deep, thought provoking storyline anyway. But I don't know. I thought it was. I felt like Skyrim was just. I mean, that's why people are still playing it today. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, God damn, yes. Metal Gear Solid. I never could beat that game. That game fucking gave me nightmares. I never, I, I couldn't beat it. You guys remember Siphon Filter? Holy shit. Now, that was a fun-ass game. I did beat the first one. I never played Siphon Filter 2 or 3, but. Siphon Filter fucking ruled, dude. That game was mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. I missed, I, I might have missed some super chats. I was just, I was getting so caught up in the geekdom of, uh, we were talking about Skyrim and video games oh, and yeah. things like that. I might I, have some... That's a place I cannot go with you is Skyrim. Can't do those ones, but I know you love them, and I love that about you. Yeah, thanks, yeah. man. Thanks. I worked <laughs> hard on it. <laughs> Ryder says, 10 more years, see you in 2032. Hey, you know what? We'll be even fucking bolder. <laughs> we'll be, you know, yeah, my we'll shit's be, going we'll away. Be, really, I mean, I, I'm enjoying this as much. Like, I did this today. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, dude. Those dudes that, that those dudes were uh those dudes were spamming the uh the, the fucking assholes were doing the the Jays, you know, thing spamming. Look at this, guys. Get me in there. Don't just talk about Jay. What are they saying about my, my forehead? Yeah, yeah. Get that in there. Oh. Look at that. Take 
Take a picture of it, send it to your grandma, and tell her that uh, even though we're balding, we're not spending our time on other people's you know, channels spamming not, it because we're yeah, fucking I can't losers. say anything about my okay? hairline. I mean, it's, it do is that. what it'd be. It is what it'd be. But, dude, you're, the back of your head looks like like if they tried to land a plane a few times <laughs> and they kept scroll. running off more, of the, more and more of the uh, of the runway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude. it's a fucking. I don't. Hey, look. Dude. You know why people get fucking bald, man? That's what happens in life. Yeah. It's called age. Fuck you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> like, what are you? What are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, you you know, gonna I, I know do? what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get a goddamn hair transplant, and look like Donald Trump. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll comb it over for the rest of my life. You sons of bitch. Mine's worse just because I always pull my hair to the front when I like style it or whatever. So I don't know. I got some keeps. I'm gonna start I, using. It I don't. Point. You know what, Look, works. hey man. You know what? Some <laughs> say people like bald guys too. People, you know, yeah. bald guys can lay some. I mean, Vin Diesel fucking they rocked do. ass, dude. Uh, the Rock. He was bald, yeah. and he he can. I mean, we don't look like yeah. that. Th those are physical yeah. specimens of God. But nonetheless, bald guys can fucking rock it. So yeah, John McClain we'll is the John McClain dude. Yeah. Bruce Willis is the everyday guy. And he rocked the fucking he shaved it off and said, fuck it. And he looked good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's what? A, it's, 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 a, it's a part of life, man. It's a part and by of the way, life. And the one that said that about my hair, I'll talk to your mom tomorrow. OK, I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't call her back. James Batiker, knock titty. <laughs> That's his name, dude. His name is James yeah, Batiker like Knock Titty. That's an awesome fucking name, dude. Thank you very much. He says, Happy 10 years. Love you guys to death. I want to give more, but payday is until Friday. Hey, we appreciate it's all good, man. Just you being here, man. And I do want to say something else. Some people have been dropping some major super chats in here tonight, and you guys are being really fucking sweet to us, and you always are, and you guys have always taken care of us. And this community has been so fucking good to us over 10 years. Uh, it goes without saying we wouldn't be do we, we still wouldn't be here without your all's kindness and doing that. And you know, like I hesitate to say it because it sounds so like, please keep doing it. I, I'm not asking for it, but I want you guys to know that your Patreons and your Super Chats are the reasons we're able to do this. You guys are keeping this channel going, doing that. You know, we sell t-shirts and shit, but we we don't have a product. This is a, a, a I guess, a entertainment thing, but you guys, we uh, endlessly, I don't have words for how much we appreciate this, and every single one matters a lot to us, and it has changed and will continue to change our lives. So thank you all so fucking yeah. much for all of it. It really, yeah, really want you guys to know that you guys are amazing, man. You guys really, uh, you guys really know how to keep the lights on in a brother's house. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hey, man. We need it, but at the same time, uh, <laughs> we don't want anybody to feel bad. If, you know, if you can't donate, you can't donate. So, I mean, the fact is, we're just here to celebrate and have a good goddamn time with you guys, and that's all it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, so, man. Yeah. The and, Mitch, 14... and, you know, before the end of the night, let's watch Contraband. Fuck it. <laughs> not, <laughs> but, well, I was lying. I'm not gonna. Pro I'm, I'm not promising that or <laughs> delivering on it. <laughs> it's Mark Wahlberg in a fucking truck, dude. In I, a truck, to, or no, in a silo. Well, that was or Denzel. Were. It was Denzel, right? And and Mark Wahlberg. No, that's two guns. Uh, contraband was just Mark Wahlberg. Russell Crowe was in that. I, I thought no Booger Sugar was. Was that Contraband Booger Sugar? It was Booger Sugar was Contraband, but that was uh, Mark uh, Rabisi. Rabisi, yeah, yeah. Rabisi yeah I remember watching that movie. It's like, hey, this is gonna be our first fucking review on YouTube, and this movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it did like we did broken city with mark Wahlberg in it too no that was the one with uh russell crowe and it was broken city equally a shitty movie but yeah d mitch 14 thanks man he says mike and jay uh what are each one of your favorite skits through the 10 years that you all have done also none of them i thought they were all shit <laughs> movie? uh that's a good question man like favorite skit ever uh they all I, run together i can't even <laughs> uh I'm going to I'm going to go back like one long nightmare that never we we didn't wake up from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back. It may not be my favorite off the top of my head. My uh, The one that that I think means the most to me is the first one that I actually did big. The one that really gave us a chance to oh, yeah. continue the channel. And in in it was the one that that grew us a whole lot and still does well today. And that was the uh, Michael Myers on Sunday's video. Sundays uh, with where, Michael. Yeah, Sundays with Michael. Uh, that was that was a collaborative effort. It was us and a bunch of our friends, and we just hung out and drank a, a bunch of Oktoberfest and Coors Light, filmed some shots, did some stuff, and it ended up blowing up in a sense on YouTube. And sh pretty much that video, I think, changed our lives a whole bunch. So I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, I I don't remember the the actual. I don't remember what year it was. Um, but I remember we were um. We were doing it for Halloween Horror Month, and it was fun, but it was fucking scary too. And I know I don't know how we didn't get like the cops called on us because we were doing this running gun shit. We were doing Loomis was introducing every <laughs> horror movie funny. that we were reviewing, and we went to this yeah. skanky fucking hotel, dude. Like, like oh, when yeah. we were doing, uh, we were reviewing Vacancy, yeah. And we went to this skanky ass hotel, and it was in the daytime, but dude, this motherfucker looked like Detroit in in a snow globe, like just in the hotel. Like it was like it was like the worst part of Detroit 
like put into a fucking hotel and we or a motel and we pulled up and I had to jump out and do the thing real quick. And these people had their doors open and shit. And I could see the reflect. I do. I was motherfuckers probably had shotguns. They had guns. They were probably doing a drug deal somewhere. And Mike's like, just jump out and do it real quick. And he was filming it. It was running gun style. That was fun as fuck. And then we got in the car. We're like, oh my god, I can't believe we got it. oh, because it was fucking scary, dude. It, like, but we got it. Some dude walked out with his laundry basket. He's like, what are you boys doing? I was like, Jay, get in the car. Yeah, because I I looked over and dude, I, the first you you remember that scene in Bloodsport when Van Dam is walking to the Kumite and he's walking under this like really shitty area and all these apartment buildings are open and there's like some guy going <laughs> <laughs> on the wall. That yeah. was like that the scene and I looked over and I saw a fucking door wide open and someone staring at us. It's like dude, we gotta go because we're gonna get killed. <laughs> yeah, we hit up like ten locations that same day. Yeah, we just that, drove yeah that whole year was fun. Yeah, that was a good. That was because we went to the sure. beach too. We did that. Uh, we did the psycho opening, and yeah. that actually turned out really cool. I mean, because that actually, I mean, it, I, obviously, it's not the psycho house, but it looked good as fuck. Yeah, those those that, that was a fun day, man, for sure. Uh, and as far as guilty pleasure horror movie, I, I could probably think of a better one, but off the top of my head, I'm just gonna say Halloween Six because everybody thinks that thing's a giant turd, and I could watch it every day. I love Halloween. I'll Halloween go Halloween. Six. I mean, that's not a guilty pleasure. I mean, that's one of your favorite ones though that we have. Yeah, but I do feel a little weird about it because I know yeah. it's a piece of shit, but I like that piece of shit. Okay. I'm going to tell you a dark, deep secret, okay? And I'm not talking about that I like to put jelly on my wiener or anything like that. I'm talking about <laughs> Troll 2. Mm -hmm. Troll 2 fucking... Dude, it's something about that movie, and I watch it, and I know it's considered the best, worst horror movie they've ever made, but it freaks me the fuck out. For some reason, I don't know. Like, I know like I know it's... Oh, it actually so, scares you? It's just... It's freaky. I don't know. It's just freaky, dude. Like they eat their parents and shit. They turn them into like little green like vegetables and and they eat them. I don't know. It's fucking weird. <laughs> that, that's but no, I, but that I, I I will watch that movie and think like I'm like this is kind of fucking like it's like a fever dream, dude. Like if you had COVID and you're like like trying to recover from it, and you have those sweats at night, <laughs> night like sweat. and you probably see shit. Night winds. Or like you know, I'm gonna yeah, give me the flu. I'm not, you know, but COVID's like what I'm saying because it's in the news. But hopefully, it's not the flu vid or whatever the fuck it's called. Andres Martinez, thank you. Says Buster Rhymes is Blade needs to happen. Oh God, Buster Rhymes is Blade. Do oh want, God, do you want Blade to be just like dead? <laughs> I will never rather... root for that mother. I will root for every goddamn vampire against him if it was Buster Rhymes. I punched myself with a dick just to stop that movie from happening. Phil Walsh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Says Mike and Jay, congrats on 10 years. Here's to many more years of Loomis and goddamn Michael. Glad to support your awesome channel. Cheers. It is supportive to Thanks, us, man. man. It does help. Cheers to you as well, Phil. Appreciate thank it. you, dude. Um, and, and don't worry, the Loomis Michael things are, you know, it's really weird. We do those things because we actually think it, it makes us laugh, but that you guys are in on the joke and, and find it funny is even better. The reason the, the Loomis Myers thing is literally is, is Mike and me trying to make each other laugh most of it yeah and then you guys like hey i like these assholes <laughs> like they're pretty funny i don't know why but i think they're pretty funny and i like when jay slaps mike <laughs> but by the way <laughs> I, think I did see someone ask he's like seriously mike i got a good question it's uh, like i've watched you guys for a long time and it is funny when jay slaps you but does it really hurt how hard does jay hit you i'm like <laughs> i'm not putting him into a fucking coma i don't have mike tyson power <laughs> It's like you know, no. It's like a pimp slapping a hoe for his fucking money. It's as hard as that. Like the little smack. Like it's I, not, but it, but I, but I, when I smack or whatever, and usually that's all like, it's not planned or anything. But if it happens, I, if it, if it's too hard, I'll be like, dude, are you all right? <laughs> I was like, I, I, was like, I don't I, mean to do it that hard. And we, to be fair, we've done it to each other. Michael's Michael's given Loomis a couple shots too. I don't mind a little smack to the face. Maybe it gets me a little hard sometimes. Maybe, well, maybe dude, I, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I that's like true. It. When we first started those videos out, I never touched him. And then Mike fucking starts slapping me and acting crazy as shit. He looked like he act, he acted like Stuart from Mad TV. Look what I can do. And he started doing that shit. So I was like, you're not going to smack me. And like, yeah. I'm not going to get one in. <laughs> I, I pride myself on taking some shots from time to time. Mm. That, you don't know yeah, but there's right? no like permanent yeah. damage or anything that occurs but you know no. that, but no. by, 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 by the way credit where credit's due uh that loomis dr loomis would never have happened if mike hadn't suggested it because i remember when we were doing that workout with michael mike was like but you got to play dr loomis dude because we don't have anybody to play dr demos i was like dude i'm not gonna play dr loomis i'm not doing it i'll just film you and he was like dude but the whole skit relies on you doing it though you gotta do it <laughs> and i'm like yeah but if i do it then it's gonna be stupid and no one's gonna like it, it was like just do it this one i was like i'm gonna do it one time and that's fucking it 
That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and ten years later, and it's, yeah, it's ten years later, it's birth- still going. You're like uh, the Ghostbusters giving birthday shoutouts <laughs> to a birthday yeah. party. Yeah, yeah. But what a ride! <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun day too. We went to Goodwill and just bought that jacket on the spot the day that we filmed that skit. That was a fun time. Yeah, dude, that, that was, was the that was that was a stroke of luck. Yeah, video. we bought the 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 yeah that we I had the tie and the and the uh, the shirt and then the jacket was literally Goodwill and it fit like a charm and it was like yeah. holy shit. We need to do a giveaway for that jacket, by the way. We have, we have a new jacket now, so we have the old jacket. So yeah, we're going to eventually yeah. give that away if you guys want to take part in that. Uh, Spooky Mom, thank you so much for the Super Chat. It's very sweet. I like your name. Spooky Mom just sounds like fun. It sounds like you make like really good baked goods at Halloween. She probably makes like really good mixed Chex Mix. Yeah, you know, like those and, like hands about little like Ziploc baggies. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Congratulations, Wham. Here's to many more. Let's get a comprehensive story on how you two met. We love your fucking faces. Ah, a comprehensive this story. story. That's a long fucking story. That's that's deep though. We don't. I don't know if we have enough time to do that. This is. We can do that. We've 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 said it so many times that we could probably do it pretty quickly. Uh, so I moved Motley Crue concert, summer of seventy <laughs> four. Yeah. We were I was sex with the yeah. same guy, and then <laughs> yeah, we like, like, hey, yeah. you like this asshole too. I, I do. <laughs> uh, funny, I moved here from uh, I, I grew up around horses and stuff. Uh, I was born in West Virginia, moved to Virginia Beach for a long time, moved to Kentucky, and then when I came here, I was wearing Wranglers and shit kickers and a cowboy hat. And then me and Jay's brother didn't get along in fifth grade, so we got in a couple fist fights in, in, in elementary school. Long story short, I had a birthday party like two weeks after I moved here, and I didn't know anybody. I gave everybody an invitation, and nobody came except for guess who fucking Cody, the guy I'd been fighting with in school. We became good friends. I came over Jay's house. Me and Jay got in a couple fights, started arguing with each other. I'm like, Hey, leave him alone. He's like, he's my brother, Dick. Fuck you. But then one day this kid named Josh back came out of the woods and he's like, Hey, I want to play. And Cody was like, I want to play with Josh. And I was like, I guess I'll just fucking see with my thumb up my butt. And then Jay was like, it's okay, dude, you want to play star Wars? And I was like, I look up to you. Let's play star Wars. And then that's what happened. Yeah, I like your your descriptions way better than what I was going to say. And I liked it a lot because I was just going to say that <laughs> I hated him and he hated me. And then we became friends. <laughs> uh, but yeah, your description, your description is like what I would read on if I were like interested in an Amazon Prime original. And it was the description <laughs> that they they, they listed. <laughs> but no, and I'm like, hey, I might check this one out. I kind of like that heartwarming. Uh, I found brotherhood. That's not my family kind of story. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, it was pretty much like that. Um, uh, and then, yeah, it was weird because we also we went through. Yeah, you know, that's how we met. Um, is through Cody, and then we didn't like each other, and then we played Star Wars together. Because I remember we were on my mom's, we were on the kitchen floor at my house, and my mom was like cooking like roast probably with like goddamn peas, and I hate peas. <laughs> and we were playing like I, I had a Millennium Falcon, and I had an X Wing, and a Tie Fighter, and I had all my figures out. You had and Mike, the goods, dude. Yeah, and then Mike was sitting there, and you know we made a scene. It was it was a cool thing. And then after that, we was like we were friends, but uh, and then we didn't see each other like before the channel started. We didn't see each other for fucking years. Yeah, like uh years and then uh after halo reach came out we started playing that and halo 3 and stuff like that and reconnected and we eventually did the youtube channel together but that's that's pretty much the the long and short of it and we would see each other from time to time because like you know me me and cody or have always remained good friends and obviously you guys around each other all the time because you're brothers so we would always see each other and pick up right back where we left off but there was a couple years there the most vivid memories i have of you like is this dude is we weren't hanging out that much at all when you were in the band with cody and you would come over sometime and i was and and so um <laughs> cody was like he always borrowed movies from my room he would come in and borrow movies or whatever i think he fucking stole them and then later i was like you could just ask me if you want to borrow them and then i'll let you borrow them and he was like well and then but anyway so I, I was in there with uh the vulture queen that will not be named my ex <laughs> and uh we were hanging out in in the room and mike I hadn't seen Mike in like a year and a half. Cody brought Mike through the door. Like he didn't even fucking knock. Cody just walked in the room. Like he was goddamn King Philip. And he walked in the room (laughs) and Mike was like loitering, like loitering behind him. And I'm like, and I was talking to Cody, but not to Mike, but Cody was standing in front. I was like, what do you want? And then Mike was like, well, fuck you too. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to Cody because he just walked in my goddamn room. Well, here knocking. we are again. Yeah. I was like, well, fucking Circle A. We're back again. 
<laughs> one of my favorite memories, dude, uh, seriously, of my entire life was, uh, you, you know, so you were, you were Cody's older brother. So like, you, and you were always like, just leave me the fuck alone. I don't want anything to do with you little shits. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> but we don't, yeah. Cody be like, dude, let's try to get Jay to play like justice league or yeah, something. Like, like, let's try to get Jay. I'm like, dude, he's not going to do it. He's like, come on, let's just go ask. <laughs> we go there and sit there for like 10 minutes. Like, all right, you ask. I was like, all right. And then like, I remember you had this badass comic collection, but I remember once we started hanging out, I went over your house and I, I, my, my stack of comics was like this big and you had like 17 fucking boxes. I was like, Hey man, these are my comics. I, I, like, I was, I was fucking uh, Brody from all rats. He's like, Hey, yeah. I tried to show you how to handle comic books in the middle school days. And you, Oh no, you wanted to hang out with girls. <laughs> well, my favorite memories. You're like, Hey, I know how to fix broken down comic books. I'm like, really? I was like, I got oh, this yeah. issue of super pro number one. It's kind of ratty. We can try it. And you're like, I got an idea. You're like, let's put it in the bathtub. So we're hanging out in the bathroom. In the bathtub, well, not together in the bathtub, but like we were dipping after, magazines. Yeah. I felt like uh, I felt like that scene in uh, in like seven or something where he's like <laughs> developing the photos. I know what I was trying to do, by the way, but I'll let you tell the story. But I'll tell you what I was uh, trying to do. You like dip, dip the comic in the in the in the water, and then yeah. like you try to like smooth it out and try to like fix the creases yeah. or whatever. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. I don't know. It was just a great night. I had a great time. But I I remember that's because we went. It, it was in my mom's <clears throat> uh, bathroom, and and she had this one specific tub, and you had. It was super pro, or it was something like that that you had, or an X. I, you know, it was an X Men comic book or something. It was all fucked up, and the whole idea was like, if you get soapy ass water and you dip it in there, you can literally smooth. It. Like I read this in a Wizard, Wizard <laughs> magazine. I used to get it a didn't work by the way. Wizard. Spoiler alert! No, it, it looked like work. shit. But I was like, but in the Wizard magazine is, like, but you know why? Because we didn't do it correct. I think you meant. I think it meant that you have to do each page, or some uh, shit like that, or we didn't have the right chemicals to make it. I don't know. But well, it know, was a shitty comic anyway. <laughs> But we also had the same thing. It was like, hey, if you put toothpaste on the back of a scratch CD, you can buff out the fucking scratch. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I did that. So long. you know, by the by the way, our our CD collection smelt minty good. <laughs> we took them out. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I probably did that like five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave Meager, awesome fucking dude. Long time fucking hanging around with us, man. Uh, Dave Meager, thanks, buddy. Uh, it says, holy hell. Congrats on the 10 years. Thanks for all the fun times. Been a minute, but could not send some love. Help me more than you know. Love you, fuckers. Love you too, Dave. Hey, love you, Glad man. Glad to Thank see you. you back around, man. Stay. Why you keep leaving, dude? Yeah, be like Mike White. Mike White just said he too high to say hello to everybody, but he's still here. <laughs> be like <laughs> Thanks, Mike Dave. White. I told him, I said Mike White would be like if they made a movie about like the most champion guy that gets high but can still function as an adult, he'd be the Rocky Balboa. <laughs> like he yeah. would be i mean that's what mike white is he's rocky balboa yeah uh, he does a good fucking all tour singer impression too by the yeah, way uh melissa petrina thank you so much cheers to 10 years here's to another 100 love your content looking forward to the future 100 hey, years you oh, guys shit if we're alive in 100 years i promise we will make a fucking video together i'm gonna be like Bill today i'll celebrate my 111th birthday <laughs> we'll be like jizz <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna look like fucking jizz. orville redenbacher on the crack <laughs> <laughs> thanks melissa thanks, uh you're melissa. fucking awesome um uh scare house tim zombie says one of my favorite skits is when michael and loomis review kills uh when michael got hit in the junk was that scripted that video makes me laugh every time i can promise you that zero nut shots were scripted you know what we but never yeah, planned to be hit in the nuts. it's not no we've never been like hey you're gonna take one in the in the ball sacky today yeah you know because i'd be like we're not doing that the reason why i did that it's because I had been hitting the nuts multiple times, though, particularly when it was not. Well, it's never been scripted. Sometimes I'll get a little fucking friendly tap in the old sack, and I don't <laughs> a like crazy that. With and, the stick. Yeah, so I, you know, yeah, so I did it. But yeah, looking well, back on it, maybe I shouldn't have done that because it's well, no, the worst I, ever. I'm sure it was fair because we have this running tally. It's like Jericho's list. It's like when you hit your friend in the nuts, you're like, okay, you got me. But I'm going to hold on to that. And like, I don't care if it's six months it's or true. two weeks, yeah. if we're doing a skit, one of these days, I'm going to see that your crotch that beautiful, in front of me. And I'm just going to perfectly gonna... shine ball sack and I'm going to punch it. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you remember six weeks ago at fucking Texas Roadhouse when I bent over to pick up the peanuts, you hit me in the nuts. No, I don't. And... I wasn't with you. No, I'm just. I... Oh, you I was <laughs> like, we didn't go yeah. to Texas Roadhouse <laughs> together, you <laughs> asshole. I fucking owed you. <laughs> Who did you take? You, uh, you yeah, I don't forget you when somebody hits you in the we're nuts. We're like Liam Neeson. We have a, a particular set of skills to make sure that <laughs> yeah. we, you don't see it when it's coming. <laughs> 88 Irish Eyes, thank you so much for that. It says, just a little thank you for all the laughs over the years. Love you guys. Love you too. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Are you Cheers really Irish? You. That's badass. Uh, that's fucking awesome. Mark, Martin Cortez is, is trying to get people to leave. They're like, the Merkins are streaming. <laughs> like, Oh, shit, are they? I got to go. 
Don't tell people when more talented people than us are streaming. God, jeez. Merkins are streaming. I got to watch them. Breaking up is hard enough. <laughs> by the way, just do you, by the way, before you get into the next super chat, and I, yeah. you know, for you guys watching as well, do you remember back in the early 2000s, they did a show called Together that was a, a parody of boy bands? And Kevin Farley was, yeah, you do. I swear to God, you remember it, dude. And they had like songs that they would be like, breaking up is hot they would do like the whole thing and it was like a trl thing it was a joke and then the the the, the boy band they were competing against was called uh whoa and they had a song called rub one out <laughs> and dude, this is on mtv dude and kevin farley was in the uh group together and it was like two together and he was like the older brother and you know but it, it was like they made a movie of it and then they made like a tv show of it who's kevin farley chris farley's brother Oh, no shit. Yeah. He was supposed to be the older brother type. Like they made, they literally did a parody of Backstreet Boys and Insync. I'm mm. all I'm, all I am is glad that that, that time period's over with, man. No, but dude, it was so funny. I, I, I read a comment when I actually rediscovered it and then somebody said exactly what I was thinking in the comments. They were like, I thought I imagined this whole point in my life, <laughs> but this show really existed. <laughs> you ever got that before? Like when you go yeah, back and you like think, and you're like, I think I imagined the whole fucking thing. It's like we uh, uh we were hanging out with the neighbors the other day and we were watching Bozo the Clown videos. You remember Bozo the Clown and he would throw the ping pong ball into the bucket. The kids would throw the ping pong ball into the bucket and then you got whatever prize was in the bucket. That sounds kind of familiar. It's kind of scary. I think it's I might scary. have buried it. Well, oh, yeah, but I used to fucking love that shit, dude. That was the shit. Um, but let me see where I lost my place. Shit, fuck, fart, fart, fuck, fart, knocker tits uh mm -hmm. justin blackmer thanks buddy he says what's up mike and jay love your beautiful faces congrats on 10 years boys love your videos and thank you for always putting a smile on my face when i'm having a rough day keep up the good work thank you justin thanks bro thank you dude you uh, guys do the, the way, same thing i always do us. this and i you know i don't mean to be like because i know it comes off a of very captain america-ish like i'm not trying to be chris evans because nobody can be chris evans he looks like he's like carved out of marble but i always do this and i always think of um uh al from home improvement tool time. oh yeah 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 I, when I, I was in third grade dude i was really super heavy and i had no beer obviously i was in third grade and i, I and then uh, i remember my teacher coming in and she was like were you at home improvement last night i'm just saying she said al shaved his beard and you look just like him and i'm like you mean the fat bastard that fucking nobody likes thanks a lot my confidence <laughs> went through the roof that day <laughs> No. But then I realized that Al was actually really cool. But I mean, I, I did like Al a lot. But I mean, back in those days when home improvement was still new, you don't want to be compared to Al. You want to be compared to Tim. Yeah, that's 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 fair. That is one of those things, you know, like that's that's a, there's a definite when you get older, you're like, gap. I'd rather be Al. Yeah, honestly. Al's a cool guy. Like, yeah. as far like he's as a bachelor. Go, he's but... got his shit together. He actually knows yeah. how to do the shit. Yeah, you know. Uh, so. Hey, Will Arnwine, beer drinker extraordinaire. Thanks, buddy. He says, Mike, will you tell Kaylee happy birthday so she'll get off my junk about it? She just turned thirty. Happy ten years, guys. Happy thirty to Kaylee, and she's aging like fine wine. Will you better watch out? You better watch out, buddy. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Pretty get woman. Junk. Goddamn. Walking down the street, turning thirty, feeling the heat. heat. She just now turning thirty. Mm-hmm. What the hell are yeah. you complaining about? <laughs> what the hell? You just now turned 30? Holy Happy shit. Birthday, Kaylee. Sorry, Will. Uh, Gary, thank you, says they just showed Robin with a new Keaton bat suit for the Batgirl movie. What? Robin? What? Robin? Fuck, what? They're putting Robin in there I, too now? I don't, I don't think that you made sense with what you just said. I don't want to talk about that until we know that they're not going to do what they said they were going to do with the Batgirl thing and replacing Batman. I don't like it. By the way, I did read a comment. They're like, it's funny. You rage against the people that want to change things in the industry, but you're raging just like them in defending it. I'm like, uh, actually, that's not true at all. There's a lot of people that are saying they don't want them to change up, you know, what they're trying to do with replacing Superman and Batman with Supergirl and Batgirl yeah. with Wonder Woman. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. I don't know. I think I think the consensus really does agree with that. Well, no, I mean, uh, like, well, I see this shit all the time on goddamn Logan is it Logan Paul that's trying to be a boxer? Is that who it is? Uh, him and his brother both, yeah. Or Jake Paul? I don't know. It was like ratio. Okay, well, I would say that to you. Ratio. There's more <laughs> people that fucking hate that shit than that actually like that shit. So yeah. ratio, bro. Ratio, ratio bro. 
Horatio. Uh, yeah. L.A. Max. Nice a great nice. character in Romeo and Juliet. Thank you so much for that, Linda. Really appreciate that. L.A. Max. Brandon Ferguson, thank you, says, uh, hey, guys, congrats on 10 years. Been watching since 2017. Damn. That's four fucking years. That's a long time. I like Thanks for keeping me entertained at work over the past few years. Thanks for giving us the option, too, my friend. It's all because hey. you guys. Oh, burp. Oh, show. Oh, show. I burped. I'm sorry oh, for, for, for burping. Uh, Connor Clary, thank you so much. Says, happy 10 years, boys. Hoping for the best for you guys in this new year. Me too, man. Hey. 2022 is off to a rough start. We lost fucking Bob Saget. We lost Betty White right before it happened. Shit. So uh, uh, about Bob Saget, though, I did read um, they just finished the autopsy on Bob Saget. Uh, they're they're not going to release any kind of findings uh, for 10 to 12 weeks. But yeah, from what I did read, it was literally posted like five hours ago. Um, what they reported was is that uh, he checked into his hotel at 2.17 a.m., and then after repeated uh, attempts to wake him up for checkout time, they sent the wellness check and they walked in and the guy that reported the death said that or, or reported that he was unresponsive, said he was in a supine position, which means that he was horizontal on the bed with his torso and face staring up at the ceiling. Uh, and then he was declared dead at four or something in at PM. So the, and, and as far as the police, they said they immediately, they looked for foul play. They didn't see any, uh, sign. Oh, and things like that. But, you know, as far as like they were, and, and then as far as his prescription and his medical history, they're not aware. I feel like Bob Saget had a really good night at his comedy special and then unfortunately maybe just had a, a heart attack and died in his sleep i mean and that that's the really shitty thing i think unfortunately he that's had... something that can happen you know yeah i mean yeah. you know it, you never know and man. it was uh, a shock i i gotta be honest like i mean i i i, I like you know i i never thought bob saget was a really funny stand-up but i did i did love him as danny tanner yeah i mean he everybody a, fucking everybody grew up with full house and then america's funny to videos. a whole generation you know yeah Keep, i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. switch from back. so it was really sad to learn about it i mean but yeah I, I do think that um i don't think that drugs played a part in it I, I just think that you know he gave it his all uh, i think he had a really big night at his comedy show and you know maybe Maybe there was an underlying health condition and then it just caught up with him, but it sucks, man. Because Bob Saget, you know, I, there's something about Bob Saget when I, I, yeah, he was very crude and he said some really nasty things as far as his stand up goes. And like I said, I didn't think he was particularly funny in his stand up. I just think he, he genuinely seemed like a nice guy. I like, wasn't he a genuinely of... seemed like a nice guy. And actually, everybody that was coming out and saying, you know, uh, it's so suck, it's so sucky that he died or whatever, they were all saying that you couldn't have met a nicer guy. And, yeah. and uh, they would even say that he would go as far as like if he thought he went too far in a joke, he would the next day call you and talk to you 15 minutes with his apology. And I believe that, too. And uh, uh, I got to say, honestly, and I got to be honest, dude, like, does he not if they ever had rebooted Ghostbusters, would he not have been a perfect uh, Harold Ramis? He would have been. Actually, that's a really good fucking point. He looked just like a young Egon. Yeah, no, that's that's dude, that's that's weird. I didn't never thought about that. Yeah, he really I, they, did. I always Could've thought Hale Ramis and him were like related because they looked like they had like similarities about them. But yeah, but yeah, it was it, it was a really shitty thing. And then obviously Betty White, but you know Betty White lived. She was almost a hundred years old, man. She had a great fucking life. You know, unfortunately for Bob Saget, he was that was it. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it, dude. And that it sucks to lose them both at the same time. But you're right, dude. Bob Saget was like he was like a movie dad to all a TV dad for all of us. So that was a, that was a weird feeling to, to to lose him, especially this early in the fucking year. That's always how it happens. So it's always right at the end of the year or the beginning of the year. It, it seems mm -hmm. like when we lose people that like mattered to us. I think the yeah. the worst the worst celebrity death for me was definitely Kobe, though, uh, of all of them. But that was that happened last year. But that was rough to take, dude, because yeah. he was my favorite basketball player of all time. Uh, watched him since he was in high school, and to find out that it was with his daughter, like that was fucking rough. And why are we? No. Why are we? Let's not get sad. Let's not. Let's. It's gonna make me sad thinking it's about it. It's trending on Twitter. Let's talk right. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice the Beast vlogs. Thank you. Says, do you like toasted subs from Domino's? I've actually never had one, but I don't trust them to do anything other than pizza. To be honest with you, I mean, I, I would try it, but um, I think they're full of shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, like I, I've had some some of their new ideas, and with pizza, yeah. it's good. But like the the subs and stuff, I've never. I've uh, here's never a pasta. Food. It's made fresh from Domino's. Like, get the fuck out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking go. 
Uh, oh, it's like that Home Alone thing where he's like, you got three seconds to get out of here before I pump like, I got you some lip. spaghetti from fucking Domino's. Like, you fucking asshole. You poisoned this. Don't touch my spaghetti. <laughs> uh, Mark Ponce, thanks, dude. He says, I came across y'all's channel about four months ago and wanted to say y'all the best. My kids love watching. Also, we're hooked. Hey, Thank you, Mark. Right. I like that. Thank you, Mark. And here's to you and to your kids. I hope that we haven't ruined them as human beings. You know? Uh, but we love you, man. Thank or you. Or made them stronger. Exactly. <laughs> hey, because uh, if these two assholes can make it, anybody can make it. Yeah. If you can watch this shitty it, programming, you know I mean? yeah. you'll enjoy anything. We didn't get uh, canceled. Yeah. Exactly. We're still alive. Yeah. By God, we're like the thing that won't fucking die. That's uh, right. Marco V. Toro, thank you so much, dude. Uh, awesome, longtime, uh, you know, uh, friend of the channel. It says, couldn't get miss out on this celebration and not say thank you guys for all the amazing laughs and memories. Some of the best moments by far I'll ever get enough of. Thank you guys for everything. Hey. Thanks, man. Thank you, Marco. Really appreciate that. And I really appreciate all your support, dude. Marco Villatoro, I'm still waiting on your wine to drop onto the market. <laughs> it sounds that's a good wine, man. It, it that's, really that's does. True. It sounds like a great wine. That's fucking true. Uh, I'm gonna Michelle, drink uh, you up. <laughs> I'm gonna suck your t- <laughs> I'm gonna suck your fucking stem. <laughs> uh Michelle Evans, fucking uh, Michelle Evans, long time fucking awesome Michelle. person. Thank good. you. It says happy 10 years of wham. Jordy and I love y'all. And oh my god, look how much this little community has grown over the past few years. It's so cool. Well isn't fucking it? said. I know. Well said. And the thing is, it's like not just these, <laughs> but specifically, you really see it, you guys, in the in the Patreon live streams that we do with the Patreons, because you see it here too, especially with you guys. Uh, but you see it every month in that because like Jay and I will sit around and talk and it actually feels like nobody's even giving a shit or paying attention to what we're saying. I love you that, guys though. have all become so close and you've actually became a community on your own through nothing. No, no doing of ours. Uh, you guys have taken, I guess, the essence of what this channel is supposed to be. Just friends hanging out and having fun and not taking themselves too seriously. And you've created a fucking community. And that is the reason we've stood on your all's backs for 10 fucking years, man. So thank you all for that. We gave you the magic. And then you turned it into gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's not from a movie. I just made it up, but it sounds like some bullshit that would be in like Odysseus. It's, it's <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Garrett Veal. Thank you, brother. Did not have to do that. Thank you so much, man. Garrett Veal is the sexiest looking 80s rock star you've ever seen in your fucking life. You got to see this guy with a wig on. He says, Mike, did you leave me off the new title cards because you knew in your heart my lines would beat your team's bench? LOL. Just messing. No worries. Love you both so much. Congrats on 10 years and here's to many more. Garrett, I love you with all my fucking heart. And we were once stuck in a Taco Bell parking lot together for two hours. I would never, ever leave you off the cards intentionally. And by the way, every single time I go to make new Patreon cards, some names just don't filter or I'm, I'm putting them in and I, I, I fuck up and skip one. Are you saying that uh, Garrett's on a watch list? Yeah, Garrett, basically I did that on purpose FBI. because you owe me $20, dude. <laughs> so, uh, hey, Garrett, but I guess I've, we're even now. <laughs> I remember this one time I stared into your face. We were at a bar and you had a wig on. And in all seriousness, you said you want to make out. And I considered it for half a second. I probably would have if I was drunk enough. He, he looked goddamn good. He's 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 handsome and also beautiful. I, I swear to God. But honestly, like Garrett looked like he like he could have been like a rotating like a character in the in the, the Netflix show Dirt. <laughs> dude, that, that, <laughs> he was pulling it off. Garrett, you have you have like you've missed your calling, dude. That was it just works with you, dude. It works yeah. with your soul. He was an alternate for Machine Gun Kelly in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I will put you on the end cards. My bad on that. I, I it skipped like 10 people this time. I don't know what happened, but I'll get it fixed. I'll fix it. I can make it cool again, Steven. Scramby eggs. Mike's becoming Max Shrek from Batman Returns. He's an asshole that no one realizes. <laughs> <laughs> if she doesn't shut her mouth, I'll drop her from a higher ceiling. <laughs> uh, jimmy gadwell thank you sir says congrats on 10 years can't wait to watch jay sip on some ipas and watch trailers where people slowly walk down dark creepy hallways for another 10 years Me that too, was fucking dude. deep and descriptive i'm not gonna do that at all so hey. you're gonna fucking have a unfulfilled fantasy <laughs> stick around until midnight and you're gonna see jay uh have some champagne which well, i'm not I already gonna, know I'm he not gonna like. watch Dude, how fucking bad and off the rails if I did IPA and watched a fucking move get out of town. <laughs> you would die. God, I can't wait to It'd see. It'd be like watching Ray Charles try to drive down I-95 <laughs> at 75 well, you, miles an hour. You and I have never had champagne together before. Uh, but tonight we will. We each got a bottle of champagne that we're gonna pop at, at, at right sure? on mid, right we, at midnight. I think we did. No, we had wine. Maybe. I don't know. We've had a lot no, of drinks together wine. over the years, my friend. Lots and lots of drinks together. Over. A lot of cocaine too. 
a lot of I mean, cooking, a uh, lot of butt uh, sex Coca -Cola and products, hookers yeah. that are now dead. Uh, hmm. Rest in peace. Pour one out for the dead hookers. Mike Baglioni, cool fucking name, dude, says, I started watching when Halloween 18 was gearing up. Definitely wish I started watching sooner. You guys are amazing. Thank hey, you, dude. all right, man. Thanks so much. We're glad Halloween 18 came into our lives to let so many of you guys find us because that's really Halloween 18. And I mentioned this earlier, but like we talked about Halloween for years and other stuff and nobody cared. And then all of a sudden when Halloween 2018 came out, YouTube was like, Who's been talking about Halloween for four years? Uh, just these two fucking goobers. I guess they're the only persons to push out to the front. And then we hit a big boon, and so many of you guys found us for that. And we're so thankful for that. Wish wish yeah. they would do it again. We were pretty much like the <laughs> Billy Bob Thorntons of YouTube. And like, oh, that guy. You need to stay away from that guy. That guy is no good. He likes fri yeah. he, he likes fried taters with mustard on them. Get away from him. <laughs> yeah, YouTube treated us like shit. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, we're not being bitter about it, but we did uh, the whole Halloween train. Mm -hmm. We were doing it years before there was even a fucking fart rumor about Halloween yeah. uh, 2018. A fucking yeah. fart rumor, by the way. <laughs> we were already talking about potential sequels and what we could do and play with the ideas, the concepts. So anyway, Thank I'm just saying, house. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'm not trying to be Khloe Kardashian over here, but I'm just saying, like, we were there. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> that stoned alien, thank you, sir. Says howdy, Michael J. Happy 10 years, my guys. Keep being sex. You keep being fucking sex. Thank you, dude. Let's have a bit of H2O for that stoned alien. Hmm. Uh, Mike's real nervous about his sobriety right now. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed I'm that you've been you've been, you been trying to sip on that shit. Well, if you I had know. a mixed did you have a mixed drink earlier? I, I've had several, yes. Oh, uh, dude, I'll tell you what. I'm never I can't do vodka. Yeah. Well, no, I realized the... realize something about myself, dude. It unlocks like Bruce Banner anger inside. Vodka does to see whiskey does that for me. Not no, anymore, dude, but you used know, to when well, I used to go out. But you know, I lot. got something anyway. I got a particular big bottle of vodka and I was drinking it, but I don't know how to measure shots correctly. Oh, and yeah, I was drinking the and do it unlocked a demon and it was that called was... aggresso. <laughs> and I was mean as shit, dude. I was mean. I was just fucking mad, and I was I was like watching a show. When like, did this fuck happen? These assholes, like three nights ago. I was like, oh, fuck shit. these assholes. I, I was I was literally watching something on YouTube, and I was got I was getting fucking mad the way they filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> so I think so, vodka like literally unlocks a demon inside the butt. It, it it certain alcohols and certain people react in certain ways. Kevin Williams, thank you, buddy. Says Jay, can you display that cap shield? It looks dope, man. Oh, that does look good in that little corner there. That's a nice looking. That 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 light hits it perfectly, dude. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> it's it's, it's in a perfect spot. Maybe uh maybe one day. That does I, I, I will dude. you know, I think someone at, had asked before to do a room tour. I'll just I'll wait for that. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to pick it up because it's kind of uh for the Jill. Yeah, it's from Italy. it looks good though. I didn't I didn't notice that until you pointed it out. Yeah. Uh Paul Brickman, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Says happy 10 years, boys. Raising glass to you both on this milestone. Raising glass to you, sir, or water. I gotta get a beer here in a second. He says, Jay, speaking of old game consoles, did you ever play Sega CD? Sega CD. Sewer <laughs> Shark is the only game to Sega. Get into it. <laughs> I no, I, I I never um well in my household, it was always Nintendo. My real dad had Sega. He got a Sega Genesis, uh, and then he never got another console. I never got a Sega. Mike had a Dreamcast, but we we skipped that on. The thing about Sega, you know, the reason why Sega, I think, also had a really big downfall was because they couldn't figure out what the fuck came after Genesis. Because you had 32X, and then you had uh, what, what the Sega Saturn, and then there was the Sega CD. Like... I was confused about what's the next goddamn console, so I never played Sega CD. I, I did see Mike's Dreamcast, and it looked good as shit. I think Dreamcast was way ahead of its time, and Sega, unfortunately, just they couldn't capitalize on it. But yeah, I never had Sega CD. I, I had Dreamcast, and I, I rented the football game on it, and I never got through a whole game without the piece of shit fucking breaking. So, fuck but it was, Dreamcast. but it was ahead of its time, dude. Like Sega, uh, the the Dreamcast was like fucking dope. Yeah, yeah, it looked dope, but mine never fucking worked because it's a giant piece of hot garbage. Because yeah, you got juice. that from a second hand me down store. I, what the fuck you want? That's right, there, but nobody's worked. Uh, but yeah, that's true. Get that. Uh, Dakota Buckner <laughs> says, Happy anniversary, Mike and Jay. Are you guys going to get the Halloween kills on 4K tomorrow? Uh, uh, my wife is, she works in the area of the Best Buy, so she's going to stop by there tomorrow and pick me up a copy of the Steel Book. Oh, yeah, I'm book? on my way. <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds like a no. Uh, I, no, I, I, the only 4K oh. I'm going to get is the Ghostbusters box set that's coming. Out. <laughs> that does look sexy, dude. It that looks really looks cool. Really sexy. Yeah, I'm yeah. really glad they also uh, gave uh, Paul Feig the fucking dirty finger and didn't include <laughs> the 2016 Ghostbusters. They gave him a code. They put a code in there. Like, here you go. Yeah, but you know, you know what I want to do is I want to get the oh. box set and then rip the code up and put it on Instagram. <laughs> and like have my dick out and say this is what i think of paul feig's bullshit <laughs> <laughs> i'm catching up to the point of the chat now where everybody saw uh my, my balding head and, and, and they're giving me shit for it you know that, what? Oh, damn we really are far behind <laughs> uh rosemary said uh congrats on 10 years i've been watching you guys for a few years and you always cheer me up when i'm having a bad day thanks for everything love hey. you i love you too rosemary cheer thank us you up. so much and thank that's you. a beautiful name by the way uh absolutely thank you rosemary <laughs> yeah that's a, that's yeah, it a, sounds a, like a it, it, yeah, it sounds like an incense that I really want in my room. I it like does. that. It's nice to hear There's from some you, good rosemary. rosemary going on here. Thank you, Mark Dorman. I know that guy. I know him well. Oh, Mark Dorman, the legend I've, from the the legend from the east, graces his presence from I've the had, smoke. I've had Mark Dorman's bodily fluids on my hands. <laughs> mm. You know what? <clears throat> Mark Dorman is that's like a true. reappearing, disappearing Batman from Michael Keaton days. <laughs> <laughs> he goes up in the fog when things get bad and then he comes down when things are good and he's like i will be here but when things are bad i gotta go away for a minute <laughs> calm down <laughs> he says happy 10th guys i have nothing to offer but my love and 20 dollars, which is appreciated my friend here's 20 dollars. go spend it somewhere useful like marika's or an alley uh you know, yeah, well, the alley is Mark... probably going to be up our, you know, that's going to be up our alley. So, yeah, thank you. Mar Marika's did not charge us, by the way, uh, for that fateful line. <sighs> so, you know, it's all good. Mark <laughs> is like one informative son of a bitch, dude. I remember like having a conversation with you and we were talking about, I think it was Avengers or something like that. That guy is on it. Like, he know, because <clears throat> I was like, I could skirt around some bullshit here and, and say things that aren't true. And Mark was like, no, not with me. You've yeah, never faced no. me before. I know what I'm talking about. That guy, is, <laughs> that guy knows his shit. I'm not kidding. Good guy. Very informative dude. William McSwain, thank you very much. Says, love you guys. Love you, William. William's got a handsome photo, by the way. He's, he's a handsome dude. Kind of like the singer of Jimmy Eat World. Yeah. yeah. It probably is the guy from Jimmy Eat World. <laughs> <laughs> Mikuro80 <laughs> says, Mike, you better make some room in those shelves behind you because pretty soon I'm sending you guys a box of goodies. Ooh, that sounds like VHS. So more sexual. VHSs. Hmm. I lock it. I put it in my crawl and stuff. Hey, on. you know what we need to do? We need to just buy out an old building that used to be a blockbuster and then put all the VHSs and just sit in the corner and just have that set it far away and then just that have all awesome. of them i do it amazing and you get that, that good fucking that good blockbuster dude, carpet smell that you yeah, can dude, never get anywhere it. else but that place you get me all hard and i know butt here uh tizavius pennant what's up tizavius says hey guys sorry i'm like glad to see you guys live again glad to see you too too glad to see you too tizavius i remember my first beer lost my hair my neck you want to crawl dad a. Davis says House of Wax 2005 or Dead Silence 2007. I'll go House Dead Silence Wax. 2007. Really? Yeah, we're not the same man, apparently. Well, I, I think, well, I mean, the fact is, like, you know, I got to be honest, like House of Wax uh, 2005 was surprisingly good. Yeah. But like, I don't like, like Chad I Michael thought it was Murray's be, face. Uh, well, yeah, but she got fucking killed. Yeah. No, Chad Michael Murray, not Paris Hilton. Oh, Paris Murray. Hilton. But, but oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Paris Hilton had a great death in it, though. Yeah, that's true. And she actually wasn't as annoying as I thought she'd be in the movie. I like Ryan Quanton. I'm a Ryan Quanton guy. Anthony Fitzgerald, hmm. thank you, sir. Says, congrats on 10 years, guys. So many great videos and sketches. One that sticks out is the Michael Myers tries basketball. That was that a was fun a day. Fun one. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was really a really fun, fun day. I go back. When I go back and watch that video, I go, fuck, God, that looked like such shit. Like, we could have filmed this better. That part would have looked better. But honest to God, as stupid as Michael Myers looks, that was a really fun day. You know? I just, I'm surprised we didn't get beat up. <laughs> Well, luckily there was nobody else there you know, like, when you yeah. were being Eminem. <laughs> I think I was That's trying to be LeBron cow, James. Dog. I was trying to be LeBron James. I was trying to be LeBron. Oh, You're Bron James. Bron knows. Bron knows. <laughs> Domingo Rivera. Thanks, buddy. He says, who would you most want to interview one day? Uh, number one on my entire list is absolutely Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. That's my number one. That would be a great one. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Um, Just because I know no one's going to say it, and I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, okay? I'm ready. I'm ready to put my dick on the table. Mel Gibson. 
I would, I would, I would really like to interview Mel Gibson, and I wanted, I want it to be a very in-depth whiskey kind of night. We all have whiskey, and we just talk like men around a campfire, and like really get to the bottom of things with Mel Gibson. I would love to do that too. That's a really good answer, dude. Yeah, By the way, guys, good. update on pop culture with Pat. We have him at 959 subscribers. Hey, all right, man. Let's hey. let's go. 40, 41, 41 more. more. 40 fucking one more. Let's get him to 1K before midnight before we pop the bubbly. Let's do something for each other. Call your mom. Call your cousin. Call your aunt that you don't talk to no more. Call them all. <laughs> if you look in your chat, you will see the man. Uh, Pat, say something right now so it pops up. You'll see his YouTube channel pop up. Right click, open link, a new tab. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. We want to get him to 1,000 a a a thousand subscribers before midnight. Uh don't go watch his videos yet, okay? You stay with us. You yeah, watch his videos after the stream's over. Fuck. But he's got Christopher some good for ones. kids, lady. Interview with James, shoot Courtney, all that. I, I want to see Pat get to a thousand. Like, please, hey, dude, Pat, please, please yeah, do that. Oh, dude, yeah, that guy, man, that guy deserves it. He's a fucking good dude. And you he's know how cool it was dude. when we hit a thousand? Holy shit, it felt so goddamn good. Oh, it's a nice. It feels like feeling. warm butter well, from dude, like that's... from like the greatest butter factor ever, <laughs> like just washing over well, your body. That's what that's that's what he said when he popped on. He was like, "Congrats on ten gays." I or ten gays. Congrats uh, on I mean, ten. Nobody gays. not. I mean, you're not gonna not have ten gays around you. Have ten gays. When you're having a celebration. You're not, you can't show up. You gotta to have the volleyball at least ten without gays. ten gays. But <laughs> you're not gonna not get Randy Jackson's autograph on a on a, a samurai sword. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he was like hey, he's a milestone for me today he's like i got 900 i, I hit 900 subscribers on my youtube deal, channel today and that's fucking awesome and i i i, th I think it'd be fucking awesome to get to a thousand tonight I the same night that we hit our 10 now. years uh i'm gonna go <laughs> make biased. fucking 41 fake accounts and fucking subscribe <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gary seems Gary says, "Have you guys seen the interview Daniel Craig said he told Batista to actually punch him, Inspector? He went fucking flying. He went fucking flying, and he didn't want to do it again. I bet not, dude. If Batista hits you in the face, you would not go walk away twice." <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how you first said it. Like he went fucking flying. Like he was he he, he flew in fucking fuck end, and then got hit by. The, I didn't know that. You know. I, the only thing about Daniel Craig that I thought was the coolest thing about Daniel Craig was that he appeared in Star Wars a, as a stormtrooper and nobody knew it because he loved Star Wars so much. Yeah. That, and uh, I, The Force Awakens. That that was fucking cool. I didn't hear about yeah. the Batista thing at all. Yeah. Uh, Jarvis, Jarvis Fitzpatrick, thank you, sir. Appreciate that, man. He says, congratulations on 10 years, guys. It's been a wild ride for sure. So many great videos. So many cool moments. Thank you all for sticking with it. Love you guys. Love you too, man. Thank you hey, very man. fucking Thanks, much. It's been a long road. I, I, what an old soul Jarvis is. Like he's like that guy. He's like that guy that gave you the prophecy a long time ago, and then you return from the desert, and your face is stained with the legends that you've made. And he's standing there, and he's like, "I knew it. I believed in you." Have Jarvis you is a good dude. Chicago? Thank you, man. Uh, Brother Arnold Omega, number 17. Thank you. He said, who's the best Michael Myers now? It's still going to be Nick Castle, but James and Courtney's done an amazing job, my friend. Uh, Sherry Moon Zombie. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, no, Some respect, I, I, finally. You know what? I got to be honest, and I am I know this is, yes, uh, Nick Castle is still, without a doubt, the legend that he is. I got to give it up for, and I can't, I don't know his name. I don't remember his name. But the dude that was in the flashbacks for Halloween Kills. Yeah, he was fucking Brandon Armstrong. Dude, Aaron Armstrong, I, I think. He was yeah, amazing. That dude, that he dude is the killer in the in the in the waters. That guy, yeah. if they ever make a movie with that dude as the main guy, as main Michael, woo yeah. he crushed it, dude. D Mitch 14 says, if you boys had somebody narrate your life, who would it be? I go back to the same answer. Once again, Arnold Schwarzenegger's beautiful fucking voice is who I'd have narrate my life. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. I'm going to go with Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you, you fucking deserve. I, I I just feel like I could hear his voice like coming through <laughs> in a way that is very Wrong calming. Wrong kid died. But, you, but it's very calming, but you don't know when it's going to shift into crazy. Yeah. Actually, yeah. no, that, I think that matters. You one. know what? Nicolas Cage. I'll give it Nicolas oh, Cage. Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. Nicolas Cage like right that. there. I'm semi-jealous. Mm -hmm. Solo pilot dropping another bag on us. Thank you so much for that, man. That's super fucking sweet of you to do a fifty dollar fucking super chat. Hey, that's man, the, that's no, that's no fucking. God that's damn! Don't you yeah, need that that's, for child support though? 
Hey, man, don't <laughs> like, be arrested on our part. Hey, Corjai has been with us since he was fucking I young as Corjai, shit, man. man. Uh, long time. Thank you, dude. He says, 10 years of greatness was 12, now 21. 12 years old? And, when this and, mother he can buy alcohol now. It. Fucking yeah, he did. Uh, favorite skit is Redneck Scream. Next one should be Redneck Saw. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Same guy, some guy stuck in a bathroom or somewhere. <laughs> fucking go to my happy place. Congrats once again. Another 10 years to go. 200K before the end of the year. Love you guys. You're oh, goddamn so, fucking man. right. Let's Cordai do it. Is, is such a sweet guy, man. I love that guy. Uh, and been with us that long. Yeah. I watched you grow up, boy. And I never <laughs> stopped loving you. Not <laughs> one time. For you thought you were bigger than you were. Not one time did I ever stumble in my love for you, Cordia. <laughs> and now uh, you just remember, you remember when you go up there hey. and you make those stars in the sky that you got a place here called home. Hey, hey dude, you, basically, Cordia is basically the kid from the Tinder Bar and we're Ben Affleck. By the way, yes. The male uh, rules. That movie is amazing. If you guys can check that out on Amazon, yeah. so goddamn good. And it's free if you have an Amazon Prime subscription. Completely free. Wow. I told Mike, awesome. and I think this 100%, if you watched Good Will Hunting, Ben Affleck's character grows up and runs a bar, and that's the whole fucking character. Yeah, that's it. and he's fucking awesome in it. I got pissed, dude. I'm going to piss my pants. I'm going to go first this time. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Leave me here. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> uh, JT, I see what you're saying. Uh, you know what? You know, I don't want to read the super chats without Mike. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna hold off on that and and we will talk about things together without having to worry about that. Um Dan McCanary uh, McC says you guys were in grave encounters. We were in grave encounters too. We had a small cameo in the very beginning of that movie, and that's the only reason why you should watch it. No, not really. Yeah, we really were in Gravity Counters Part 2. Garrett says, let's hear Slenderman talk about 10 years. <laughs> uh, so what you want to know about 10 years? Well, 10 years is a decade, basically. Okay, now that is what it is. I mean, my goodness gracious. You should have grown in 10 years. Uh, find new contacts in 10 years and find out who you is as person, right, in 10 years. And if you haven't done that, then what you do if you live? Me don't know. But 10 years, me goodness gracious. Congratulations is what me saying. You made it 10 years more on this earth that was not promised to you, was not promised to you, but you have done it. So congratulations. I think that would be more. <laughs> uh, Colton says, uh, Clay. Uh, Clay. I hope you're doing well. Clay. You better not be named after Clay Aiken. What the fuck? But nonetheless, if you're not, I hope you're doing well. If you are. Maybe later on when you're a little older, question your mother and father. Why you name me Clay? I'm not made out of clay, and I definitely don't like Clay Aiken. He didn't win. Ruben Studdard won American Idol. That man had the voice of an angel. Clay Aiken looked like he was chasing Rick Astley. Anyway, have a good one, Clay. Uh... Ring flame. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm 100% the super chats, and we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, honestly, from the bottom of our heart. I will read them, but I don't want to read them without Mike. Uh, but I see them, and I'll make sure that uh, he knows. Well, I'm sure he'll see it too. Um, hold on one second. Why the fuck is my mouse rebelling against my face? Uh, okay, well, I can't go up. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. I'll right, do this. Okay, ah, I see it. Anthony Stamp says, Jay, if you could make a movie, what genre would you want to make? Um, I don't know, man. That's a good question because uh, what I mean, what does one pick? I mean, sci-fi has got a pretty good, healthy supply of movies coming out. 
horror is doing pretty well now. Mm. I don't know, man. I, I gotta be honest. I, I think I would try I would try my hand at something like sci-fi horror. I think I would combine two of I would try to recreate something like Alien or Event Horizon. Like the, the, the very disturbing nature, the fact that you, or sunshine, the fact that you're out there in space and you're alone, it's fucking scary already. Like the fact that you're so far away from your planet and then like some crazy shit happens while there's no help coming. I think that's fucking scary, man. I, I think the idea of space, you know, the astronauts, what they do is fucking scary. I would do something with that. Like maybe uh sci-fi horror. I don't, I don't know if that's a genre, but I, I would, I would probably do that. D Mitch 14 says, what's your favorite collectible item? Um, My favorite collectible. I, that's a good question. I don't know if I have a favorite one. Um, actually, I you guys can't see it, uh, but I did get the uh, from uh, Legends. Uh, I got the Infinity Gauntlet. It's a it's amazing replica. It's awesome. I love that one. Action says Jimmy Jones. Nobody like Jimmy Jones. Action. Nobody like it. D Land says J equals mystery and suspense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Ray Ray Gunner says, that's the quite the piss Mike's taking, eh? Yeah, and he's probably sucking off a young man named Steven. Uh, he's probably over 18. I just say young man because he's younger than us. Blue Ray Attic says, did you finish Ray Donovan? Sure. Sure. I did. I fucking loved it. By the way... For Ray Donovan fanatics out there, what a great show. What an awesome show. Leah Schreiber, an amazing actor, wonderful, so good. That show is way underrated. I cannot believe it's it's never made people's like, you know, when, when they talk about great TV, they never mention Ray Donovan. Anyway, uh, I think it's this week or next week, the Ray Donovan movie which will clear up the ending to season seven of Ray Donovan is coming out. And I can't fucking wait. John Voight's also amazing in it. Holy shit, man. If you guys do your, first of all, let me, let me explain what Ray Donovan's about because I, I felt the same way. I was like, ah, I don't really care. Uh, Ray Donovan is basically um, a story about an, a fixer that lives in LA uh, that works for Hollywood moguls to make sure that certain things they do, whether they be NBA stars or NFL stars or movie stars or music stars, that certain things they do, certain improprieties that happen, he cleans them up. Uh, and he he is from Massachusetts. His family's from Massachusetts. He's got a really hard-edged kind of uh, personality about him. But that's what he is. He's an L.A. fixer. And there's all this crazy shit that happens in between episodes and seasons. John Voight's awesome in it. He gets out of prison after 20 years. He decides to move from uh, his jail to L.A. to be with his boys. There's three brothers, and chaos en ensues. It's a wonderful show. It's going to be an awesome movie. It comes out in a week or two. I can't wait to fucking uh, see it. Talking about Ray Donovan again? Mm -hmm. You love it. You love sure. it, you son of a sure. bitch. Dude, it, by the <laughs> way, uh, Lee of Schreiber, uh, speaking of which, Lee of Schreiber, gotta be what's guys listen to this you guys already know how great logan was logan was like a masterpiece in storytelling right logan with uh, mm -hmm. hugh jackman and uh patrick stewart's last performance lee of schreiber was gonna be back as Sabretooth in that movie uh and the whole scene was involving uh logan driving to a town that all they did was gamble and then running into Lee of Schreiber's saber tooth and then needing his help. And he was going to help hide Xavier and Wolverine. And they had to cut it because he was, uh, he was, uh, busy with Ray Donovan, but dude, I gotta be honest. I know you didn't like Wolverine, but Lee of Schreiber was a great fucking, like, I think he, Oh yeah. A saber tooth. He was great, man. Yeah. And Lee of Schreiber, by the way, auditioned to be, um, uh, two face over uh, uh the dark knight he was gonna, i would i would have rather had him in that than that honestly the guy, I, aaron eckhart 
He yeah, I'd have rather had like, Leaf yeah. Schreiber. Yeah, Leaf Schreiber was going to be in. I would have rather had him for sure, dude. Uh, hey, Sean Collins says, "Happy ten, been here since the OG Halloween Returns updates." Those were the that was the one that was the biggest first update yeah. ever on the Halloween franchise, even though it got canceled. Thanks for all the last entertainment, cheering me up on sad days. Feels like my friends, Sean. It feels hey, the same way to Sean, us, man. dude. It feels the same fucking way to us, man. This is as much a celebration for you guys as it is for us because. We wouldn't fucking be here, man. Like I don't know, I don't know how to say that and really get it across, but just grab my fucking watching, face, but just stay here. I'm not going to jail for you. Like Billy Madison. Yeah. You gotta do it. Cherish it. You gotta do it. Cherish it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh and, and you know, it's 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 funny, dude, because like every day I wake up and I go, Oh my god, when is this ride gonna fucking end? Like, when are people gonna be like, These guys suck, we don't care, we're moving the fuck on, they're old men now, we don't give a shit. Uh, and when that day comes, I, I promise you it'll suck, but I will appreciate every single second. Uh, you guys have 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 you you you've you've you changed our lives, you you've well, maybe, made our lives yeah, fucking yeah. amazing. Well, maybe if yeah. we keep putting out content, it'll be collaborated and we'll put out like history volume one, like Michael Jackson did. And then we'll have history volume two and we'll go on tour. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. I mean, and, and the truth be told, I don't think we look, I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own butthole here or mics at all because I mean, it smells. But the fact is, I don't think we look bad for our age. We're doing okay. I've seen, I've seen people that are our age that look like fucking Courtney Love's vagina. <laughs> like all like ruffled up and nasty looking. So yeah. I don't think that we're doing that bad of, uh, of a situation tough. here. Listen, you know what you got to do? You got to drink beer, milk, and orange juice. And, and that'll funny. get you through the day. Because milk <laughs> is for babies. I drink beer. Arnold said that. <laughs> he did say that. Anthony but, Stamps but, says, you know, but I will say, we're only you're only as young as you feel. And, and the fact is, right. once you start actually being... You know, once you really start buying into like you have to act your age, you have to be your age, you know, yeah. then it's over. Like then hey, you're just really you're a miserable sack of shit that's fucking gonna pay taxes and die. That's what you yeah. are. We skirted that a long time ago, thanks to you guys. Yeah. A Anthony Stamp says I first discovered the channel because of Ghostbusters 2016, but only started watching because of Halloween 2018. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to stick around. That was another uh <laughs> pinnacle in our lives, like the <laughs> whole Ghostbusters happened. fight thing. Like so many people hated us for our takes on it, but so yeah. many people agreed with us, you know. I was and like, it, it's like yeah, that's like getting caught fucking a fat girl in the Burger King bathroom. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was a rough day. That. It was a rough day, though. It was a rough day. Yeah, that, well, because we were going off on that 2016 Ghostbusters. Yeah. But I yeah. think that, I, yeah, like, again, ratio, ratio. <laughs> yeah. Colton Candler, thanks, buddy. Long time fucking dude. Awesome, dude. Thank you, Colton. Says, first time I watched y'all, it was a collab video with Slash and Cast. Mm. And I've been a fan ever since. Congrats on 10 years. Thanks for all the laughs. Thanks you for everything you've done for us, Colton. Hey, and thanks, Slash Colton. and Cast, because they're awesome fucking dudes. Love hey, those guys. You know what, Colton? I loved your work in Three Ninjas when you were just known as Colt. <laughs> you were my favorite one. I, fuck Rocky loves Emily. Cool. You were my favorite one, Colt, because my you were young and Rocky, fast and brave. I do love you, though. <laughs> Dude, Three Ninjas <laughs> is like American classic. Mm -hmm. What time does school let out? I don't know. I never stay to the end to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Williams, thanks, dude. He says, gotta, gotta head out, guys, but I want to say thanks for being an inspiration. I can only imagine an alternate universe. The roles of Michael Loomis are reversed. Also, pop culture still needs some subs. Yeah, let's get fucking pop culture with Pat up there. Thank you, hey, Kevin. Man, Love Pat you, dude. There, man. On, Have guys. a great night. I know it's getting late, and guys, the countdown's coming. We are about 40 minutes away from really, really fucking celebrating this thing together, popping some goddamn champagne, and ringing in 10 years together. I wouldn't have it any fucking other way. I'm pumped. No. And I know you got to pee. But we're definitely smelling each other's dicks. No doubt about it. I can smell it from here. Yeah. It smells like fucking Miracle Whip and... Cheers. But Julie. Cheers. Philip Michael says, congrats on 10 years. You guys have been one of my favorite channels since 2013. God damn. Have either of you, I, have either of you watched Dexter? The season finale was Dookie. I have uh, yeah, I love Dexter, man. Uh, yeah, and I agree. The the uh, the season finale was fucking garbage juice. Mike, I think, is in the process of watching it. So he well, I know. stopped. I stopped because it, it stopped. Kind of I, I was watching the originals, and we were halfway through season no, I, two, and I just found it to be like I like it. It's good, oh, but I it think also he was talking about the original. Yeah, like it, the uh, but well, the new one just finished, and I it, won't the watch ending, it. Yeah. Well, the ending pissed a lot of people off once again. Apparently, uh, but yeah. are you I done just, with it? 
I, I'm not. I'll return to it someday. It's just like it just something about it. It puts me in a dark Dude, Dexter, space. Kinda, the thing about Dexter, know. Dexter had a strong premise, and they had great storytelling throughout the first few seasons. And mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, this is gonna like, I, cause I never thought I'd get hooked on it at all. Cause I mean, I'm not one of those guys that get hooked on the serial killer bullshit anyway. But when I watched that, I was like, this is actually really well done. And the actor is doing an incredible job. But once they started fucking with like the, the like what his motivation, like, I don't know, like toward the end, you're like, yeah, this is getting fucking dumb. And then when it ended, I'm like, yeah, he has a beard. <laughs> like, it was dumb <laughs> as shit, but I, I'm not going to spoil that because, you know, some people may have never seen Dexter. But, yeah, I, I was uh, I was a fan for a w- long time and then I, I got turned off. Well, it's the same thing, though. If you look at uh, The Walking Dead, I was a fan of The Walking Dead for three seasons. And when they introduced the governor and all that bullshit and the story slowed way down. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I don't care yeah. anymore. Yeah, I, I'll eventually get to it. Yeah, but it sucks to hear that the, the new season finale pissed people off, too. Yeah. Jay Cup. Uh, a musician of pop punk superstardom. Jacob, thank you so much, dude. He says, happy 10 years. Glad to have been a part of the Wham fam for five years. Even hey. more happy to have you guys as friends. I'm always happy to support you guys, and I'm happy that you guys have reached this milestone. Love you guys. Love you, hey, too, Jacob. Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Jacob, man. Uh, dude, it's beautiful, too, seeing all these people in here. Like, all of your names, like, it's it, like... I remember specific things like hearing your band, Jacob, for the first time, like so many things, so many memories of all this 10 years with all you guys, man. It's just so fucking special. Like, and, and, and like so many of you guys, have, like we said, but fucking Corja, I was t- fucking 13, dude. He's That's 21 so years old. I remember, like, I remember Corja, like back in the day, like giving, like he would like send, uh, like messages or, or you know, comments or whatever. I remember Corja, yeah, yeah Corja, what sweet kid, man. Awesome yeah. kid. Yeah. I uh, gotta go uh, pee though. Okay, okay. No, yeah, I, yeah. but you can keep reading the the super chats or the comments. Okay. I I'll, I'll, All right. Yeah, I was just saying we're at nine eighty eight, you guys, for uh, pop culture. Pat, we are at nine eighty eight as of I'm I'm up to the chat at eleven oh four p.m. So we're catching up. We're getting there. We want to get caught up before midnight, so that's what we're doing. But uh, pop culture, Pat, nine eighty eight. Twelve more subs to get pop culture with Pat to a thousand subs. So one more time, one more push. We're going to get the guy there. He's at 988 subs. If you just right click on his name in the chat, pop culture, say something again, Pat, uh, in the chat so they can see it. 12 more people to get him to a thousand subs, which would just make my fucking night on top of the way that you guys have already made my night. Really appreciate that. Um, I remember one of the biggest things that ever happened to us at the time um, was Jay and I never, you know, what we've done here is, it's weird um, because am I blurry? I look blurry. I don't know. I am a little bit blurry. I'll try to fix that. But one of the weird things about our channel is that we've never, ever been promotable, you know, uh, in all of our years. We never have been. And uh, when you're like you, me and, and I wake up every every day and, I, and I'm so happy and I'm so psyched to grow this channel and see how far we can take it and how, how far we can do what we do. Um it's weird to to do that with something that's not promotable. You know, we're dirty. We're not PC. Like we're not anti PC, but we're just like, you know, we're ourselves. And it, it, a lot of people just don't get it. So many people, like even the people that want to get it, like just don't get it. They're like, I don't get it. This shit, you know, it reminds me of Wayne's world when Wayne's, uh, when uh, Tia Carrera is sitting there with Rob Lowe and she's like, these guys are so funny. And she, he turns on the show and he's this big TV guy. He's like, I don't get it. But she thinks this is hilarious. You know, there's just something, there's something there. And I don't know what it is, but we've never, ever been promotable. We've never been something that was easy to promote. That was easy to share. Uh, uh, it's always like that thing you sweep under the rug just because the way we are. And you guys appreciate it for us. Uh, uh, you appreciate us for that. And it's the only reason we we've been able to stay around this long. But I do want to say that, um, you know, it's there's just there's just not there's no words for how thankful we are because like we're not we don't get picked up by these big people. We don't get shared by a lot of people. And and what I'm circling back around to is there was this one time we had like 380 subs or whatever. And I remember when Eric from pretty much it, a big, huge YouTube channel uh, over, you know, I think they're over a million subs now. And we've done a couple videos with him, hung out with him, an amazing dude. But he shared our Texas Chainsaw Massacre video and was like, this is hilarious. This this made me laugh. It was like one of the beginning or one of the shitty sequels or whatever. And we got 83 subs in one night. I was like, fuck, dude, 83 subs in one night. And we were like so fucking pumped about that. And I remember also sitting at my mom's house 
um, uh, they were out. I was house sitting for them or something. I was just at their house. Well, I think I think my internet. I, we didn't have internet for the longest time where I lived because we lived uh, in this house that like had all these acres of land around it, but it, we, we just rented it and they just didn't have internet. So I would drive all the time down the road. Every single video we uploaded, I would get in the car, drive to my sister's house, sit on the porch, and upload it. I'd, I'd, I'd edit edit it using the free Windows Movie Maker, and then drive to her house and sit on her porch and upload it, and then run back home and see just can't wait to see the comments and shit like that so sometimes i would go to my mom's house too where i didn't have internet we ran a youtube channel for years without the internet you know <laughs> using free windows movie maker on pc software to, to run the internet and and working and, and having kids and all that at the same time and it was just never it was always just the joy to do i always loved doing it but it was never easy at those times you know it was always fucking hard and i remember going to my mom's house one time and like fucking the first time we hit 40 subscribers and i was like 40 like that's a round fucking number <laughs> you know what i mean like that's a that's a that's a neat looking number like seeing 40 on there was 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 kind of special it was like oh fuck it's something you know it felt real it was like at least we are there it's, we're existing people are noticing it's it's something it's not going completely into the ether so um you know that was a that was a special time for us. So I, I you know, that's that's why I'd, I'd love to see Pat get to a thousand tonight because I know what a big deal that was to us and how every single subscriber and every single comment matters. Uh, I, I'm scared to death every single time we upload a video that I'm going to turn it on and nobody's going to watch it. Every single time, you know, it's just every single thing you guys do is special to me. You know, I just want you guys to know that. I know that, you know, sometimes it feels like there's a lot of people in the chat and like we don't get to everything but the super chats or I know that, you know, the, the Patreon. I feel bad every single day because I want to put a thousand things on Patreon, you know, because what you guys do is just it's insane to our lives. It really is. So um, I just, you know, it's it's a really, really appreciate it. And I swear to God, I'm trying so fucking hard not to get emotional right now. It's stupid. So uh, I'm going to stop talking about it. But uh, I, I hope you guys know what a, what, a, what a journey this has been. The whole thing has. And and it's just uh, it's it's every single it's just never taken for granted. It's never taken for granted. It's not, you know, um, and I can I wake up every day and I'm waiting for that day that nobody gives a shit. And I have to go back to real life and. You know, I'm just thankful for it. And, and I'm thankful for all you guys who are out there trying to do the same thing. And I understand where you're coming from. And I know why you're doing it. And I know why you love it. And I know why you're so psyched to make videos and to edit them. And every time you, you get somebody that cares or subscribes or talks, how special that feels. And I know what a good feeling that is. And, uh, you know, I just love my life. I love it. It's so fucking special. Like, it's so fucking awesome to do what we do. And we just love you guys so much. I don't know where the fuck that came from, but uh, it, it's, it's fucking amazing. So uh, we love you guys. And uh, thank you for it. And hey, did you touch your wiener while you were in there? I can't hear you. I think I have you muted, though. Wait, unmute. Oh, it says I can't unmute you because your mic isn't connected. Can you hear me? There it is. I think you did it. No. It's, it says I can't unmute you because your mic isn't connected. Okay. Jay popped out, so I guess he's going to fix that and come right back. It wouldn't be a wham stream without some technical difficulties. <laughs> that's another that's that's even another fun memory too is because I remember when uh when we were doing this when covid happened, when covid started, it was so weird because I think we all felt like, "Oh well, fuck, what are we going to do?" Like nobody knew what they were going to do with their jobs, with their lives and everything. And we started doing live streams because we couldn't even get together in the same room because everybody was afraid you're going to get fucking covid, right? Like so so we're like it's probably safest for us now that we figured out live streaming to do it separately. And that summer it was such a fucking wild time because as scary and everything was and as scary as the world was and, and how awful all that was, you guys just fucking started showing up in droves to these live streams. 
and I feel almost bad for it. But the channel was doing better during COVID when so many things were happening in the world and so many things were scary and so much awful stuff was happening. Uh, the the channel was doing better because we were all coming together in this weird sort of way. And it was this summer, and I remember like. You know, my wife was off of work and and like it was just like the, the days were long and like things were weird. But every single night we were just streaming like almost every night, at least like three nights a week we were streaming. And like every single night, those moments were so special. So it's just like to get together and like, God, we were all in this together. And nobody knew what the world was going to do. And we still don't. But that's where the live stream started to take off. And it's just like this, this, this story of this fucking channel just through everything that has ever happened has just grown because you guys just won't let it go. And like, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's been a fucking beautiful thing, man. Um, but <laughs> that's what made me think about it. It's like when we're doing the live stream thing, we used to get so fucking frustrated because we had so many technical issues that were going on. Like it was always like, there's a fucking echo. We haven't figured out because we're not technical guys. We're not smart with shit like that, but we always had so many issues like we're having right now. And uh, uh, it, it was, it, we finally got some of them worked out, but, Oh, I can hear you. Huh? I can hear you. Ah. <laughs> We're what back happened? in the saddle again. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. I guess my big, large cock knocked the mic out. I knew it. When I was standing I up to go to the bathroom. You missed that I had my first emotional moment of the night. I almost fucking cried. You pussy. <laughs> 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 all right i was Stop waiting for <laughs> to get back into the super chats quiet uh quiet. JD, JD, uh another amazing super chat uh, thank you so much for that 50 dollars is a fucking that's a large amount of fucking money and we really appreciate it man uh it says congrats on 10 years found you guys during 2020 and you guys quickly became my favorite love y'all i hear y'all talk about music sometimes what's your favorite bands lighten one for you two tonight light the fuck hey. up dude Light it Guaranteed. up. I, I, I like when you people light incense. <laughs> oh, you're talking about drugs. <laughs> say clear. I already talked about my favorite bands. Uh, but you know, Blink One Eight Two. Listen to Tyler Childers right now. If you like country music, I love the fucking. I love pop punk's my favorite genre, but I also love Bring Benjamin Seether, all that shit. Yeah. Um, like immediately, three bands come to my mind. It's gonna be BB Mac. Oh yeah. Uh, it's also going to be a little bit of uh, Def Leppard. And then finally rounding it out. Uh, and I think the greatest band that was misunderstood for its time is Savage Garden. I love Affirmation, their second album. I think it's wonderfully made and fearfully made as well. And I think it really speaks to people on levels and volumes that they weren't ready for when it first came out. And I feel like it's going to it's a misunderstood album. And I think that later on it's going to be a legendary album affirmation savage garden the first album is all right the second album really takes them from baby steps to now you're a man and i like that god we have such different tastes in music it's, it's, it's okay it's fine i do like wing way too and stuff like that but I, I i you know i like to pepper that in my selections i'd rather cut off my left nipple than ever listen to savage garden again if i could well because it. it's puffy you gotta cut that off <laughs> Got the puffy dips, dude. Shania Davis, so close to Shania Twain. Beautiful name. Thank you guys for the countless laughs. Love you guys. Here's the 10 years and many more. Here's to hey, you, Shania. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very fucking much. Uh, Mike Baglioni, fucking great name once again, says, laughing my ass off. Thanks. You guys, uh, you always say you like my last name. Remember when Blumhouse did a Twitter Halloween Q&A and you took a screenshot of my question that they answered and Jay said, do you like baloney? <laughs> <laughs> Baglioni, I do. I was, dude, it's so... You must be inside my fucking eyelids behind my brain because I was going to say baloney again. <laughs> what you're saying is baloney. Baglioni, I like it. Baglioni, I, I, your name sounds really good. It, it sounds like a, like an Italian mafia guy that's only legend. You know what I mean? It's like Baglioni yeah. never ratted on his friends. Baglioni killed the, the head boss. Baglioni. Baglioni, baloney. Baglioni has been gone for a long time maybe buried beneath the deli section <laughs> <laughs> jerry ramey thanks again buddy he says i'll pay 40 dollars more next stream if i get a shout out for slender man from slender man for jerry ramey you ain't gotta pay dude you done pay nah, man i'll give it to you for free uh for free uh jerry ramey it's so nice for you to join the party maybe it's, it's 11 34 p.m on the east coast we don't know what time it is from where you is jerry ramo 
Uh, but at the same time, me will say, me is very happy that you is alive and clicking and clacking on your keyboard to ask for a shout out from me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jelly Realm, for asking for that. And me hope that you keeping up your diet as some more family shop. Because <laughs> you know what? Some more family shop is a great place to go to meet friends and a great place to go and find out what kind of person you want to be. When you select the sub that you won't. Because <laughs> you can tell a lot about a person. You say, oh, they had the chicken teriyaki. They must be adventurous. <laughs> or they say, no, no, me want the meatball marinara salmon. She'd be like, hmm, they must be spicy in their life. Either way, Jerry Raymond, thank you so much. Me hope you have a good evening. <laughs> Stephanie Kyle, that's the first literary appearance. And I'm surprised it took that long. Stephanie Kyle says, have a beer, guys. It's on me. Hey, Stephanie, why don't you shut the fuck up? Yeah, Mike doesn't like you, Stephanie. I don't understand it. I think All Stephanie right. is a wonderful human being that's graced the earth with her presence. And Mike's just a <laughs> complete asshole. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie came to Scarefest and almost got powerbombed into a concrete bench. And there's video of that, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that. And uh, also, she stole my hoodie. So she's a thief. But uh, Austin, thank you, buddy. I appreciate Austin. Maybe not Stephanie, but I appreciate Austin. She, he says, come on and slam and welcome to the Wham. Ten years. Grateful to find you guys in the community. Come on Halloween. and slam and welcome to the Wham. Come on and slam. I like the slam, that. y'all. I like the throwback. <laughs> So it's grateful to find you guys in a community that loves Halloween, old school wrestling, and eighties and nineties. God mm -hmm. damn yes, man. That's all we know. Yeah, dude. It's That's all we it. fucking know. That's our personality, man. Can't That's change it. God. Can't stop it. Can't stop addicted to the shindig. That mm. horror couple, thank you so much. Says congrats on ten years. We've always wondered what Loomis had to say about the to the cheerleaders in Halloween Four who left him stranded. That's a good question for Loomis. I hope each one of them got ass cancer. From their boyfriends trying to put their penis in their butts. <laughs> and I hope every time they walked down the streets, flames came out their buttholes. Because their <laughs> boyfriends tried to put their penis in the butthole. <laughs> and that's what happened. I hope they all died. Miserable, fiery deaths from the butthole. <laughs> Maybe if you eat that Arby's Diablo tomorrow, you'll get the fiery butthole. Maybe I will. Too. But you know what? I won't be as cruel as them. And I'll die <laughs> doing something I love. Not being a cruel bitch. <laughs> Cordy said hashtag 10 year challenge. I'm afraid to do that. Like I've been I've been looking at myself what in the mirror being like, damn you old. That's that old thing they do. Like every once in a while I was like 10 year challenge. Like you post a picture of yourself 10 years ago. No, picture yourself now. No. The only people who actually partake in it are people who have lost weight recently and want to show it off. <laughs> like, well, nobody who's actually gotten fucking fugly as shit in the past 10 years <laughs> takes part in the 10 year challenge. The 10 year challenge for me would be like super depressed. Semi depressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna feeling work good much. today. Yeah. Uh, oh fuck, dude! Another goddamn bag of fucking uh, super chat money from Anthony Visco. You guys, are, you're too kind to us. Thank you so fucking funny. much, Anthony. Uh, Ninety nine, ninety nine. You couldn't go one penny more, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want fucking. You know what? <laughs> that ninety nine, ninety nine buys you the ten CD collection from I Love the Eighties and the Seventies. <laughs> Hey, guess what? You're going to find out today what it means to be an 80s child, and I love that for you. Thank you so much. $99.99 a month is going to get you 15 CDs, guaranteed. <laughs> you know I'm fucking kidding, Anthony. That's, that's again, that's, fuck, dude, that's a lot it's of amazing. money. Thank you so fucking much for that, dude. He says, yeah. found you guys at a low point in my life. When I heard Jay trashing his, trashing his ex, I knew I found the right channel. <laughs> Nothing but yeah. laughs since. Congrats on 10 years, gentlemen. Can't wait for Halloween ends. Hey, listen, Thank you, you know, the insults will never stop. Uh, look, I got like a foot roll up full of that for that bitch. I fucking <laughs> hate her. I really wish that she would just like, I don't know, like, you know that that scene, uh, w you know, in uh, in the Wizard of Oz when that bitch melts in the fucking puddle. I just want that to happen, like, and I want to be there for it and film it and then put it on TikTok. <laughs> uh, pretty much that day we saw her mugshot uh, after, uh, yeah. so I think that was pretty much the uh, penultimate justice. Yeah, yeah, that bitch looked like a fucking dried piece of leather. <laughs> But no, that's 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 a special time to to, to not maybe not a special time, but uh, we 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 went through it during that period of our lives, and and you know what, you guys were once again there for us uh, yeah. in the same way, like you know, life imitates art or whatever the fuck. But I know that Jay going through that 
I think a lot of people, I know a lot of people that we became close with over the years really, really fucking felt what you were going through at that time. And, and, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, they connected, uh, they connected, connected to it. They, they connected yeah. to it. Yeah. And you know, and it, it, like, and it, it's not, it's not because, you know, it's, it happened to me and, and it was my ex-wife, but it could happen to somebody that their ex-husband could be the same, like small yeah. wiener piece of shit. The yeah, fact is, humans. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Humans can fuck you over, man. And they can be the worst goddamn thing ever to happen to your life, but you gotta be thankful for it because at the same time, you got to have a situation that would otherwise put your ass in the dirt way yeah. earlier than you should have been. I mean, I, I might have fucking had a goddamn aneurysm if I'd stay with that fucking bitch. God damn. It was like listening yeah. to a, a crazy steroid infused Roger Rabbit when she would go on a rant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, the thing is, is that we joke about that time in our lives, but uh, you guys were really, you guys were there for us. Yeah. I remember the night that Jay told me about it, you know, and I, I yeah. fucking cried for him. You know, we, we, we went, through a couple hard years there like just yeah. as people and uh this channel was just like such a fucking boy boyo what do you say boy 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 buoy buoy it was a buoy for both of us right i mean yeah, like, it was, to, yeah it was a buoy yeah or, or lighthouse or whatever you want to yeah. say and, but and yeah <clears throat> it, was, you know, it, it definitely it was something that was needed yeah yeah. God damn right. You guys got us through a, uh, just as much shit. Trust me. Aaron Hudson, thank you so much. Says congrats on 10 years. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate that so thank fucking you, much. Jamie Wright, you son of a fucking bitch. Another Jamie goddamn Wright. gigantic fucking super chat from one God, of you fucking... This guy's like Sting coming from the rafters. Motherfucker. You thought you saw it all at Bash at the Beach. This guy comes <laughs> in Halloween Havoc and causes havoc. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, fucking love you, Jamie, dude. Thank you. You know, you know you didn't have to do that. And I know that you know you didn't have to do that. So it makes it even more so. Thank you, dude. Uh, he says, you guys know you got me through a hard time in my life. Uh, I'm so proud of you guys. I miss you guys. You guys always lend an ear. I'm grateful for you both and your kindness to me. Thanks for the laughs, the tears, and for being so goddamn genuine. You know, Jamie, you're one of the people what, that we what found. What a nice dude. What a nice dude. I, I'm pretty sure that that we found each other during COVID. And, like, I'm pretty sure that was during that time. Right, Jamie? Jamie's a guy that I fucking I had a hole in my fucking leg and went to for fucking advice. Like, that's the kind of relationships we've made with you guys over these years. And, like, I just, I just, it's special, man. And you don't have to do that, but we love you, dude. Thank you. I want to, I, I just want to hold Jamie in my arms and take him up to my giving tree. We'll climb together and, 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 and think of songs together to write. I and I'm only saying that because if, if you watch that, Michael Jackson documentary I was telling Mike about before the stream started called uh, Living with Michael. You'll know about the giving tree, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, he, what, what a great dude. I, I really do. I mean, you know, and you know, all jokes aside, I only joke like that because I get I, I get nervous and shit. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I mean, it's like you don't really you're not used to so much kindness. Yeah, no, so. it's true it's true yeah it's true uh and at this point in the chat at 11 24 p.m which is what we're up to now we're about 20 minutes behind pop culture with pat was at 996 he's four away we're gonna get that dude to a thousand which i'm hey man we're about. gonna get there we're gonna stay here all goddamn night i mean not I'm all night because we got lives uh, but you're gonna get those last four subscribers i'm gonna tell my my chick to fucking make four accounts right now <laughs> we can do that. that she was thinking about ron we jeremy can... earlier so fuck her we she can make that dick. fucking happen <laughs> we can make that fucking happen there's no fucking doubt about it uh uh but all right so we are, are we, at, are we caught up on everything? We're not quite caught up yet, but we're close, my friend. We're at 11 30 PM with the Mitch 14. Once again, thank you, buddy. He says, you boys have been an inspiration to me to get off my ass and start my channel. Hey. Always wanted to, but was afraid of failure. Thanks for the inspiration boys. Love you. I hope to be a guest on the show one day. Hey, all right, man. I like that. You know what? You can't be afraid of failure at all because we embrace that shit. We know we're going to fail every time we turn the camera on. <laughs> so that's how you got to do it, man. Hey, I got to be honest with you. That, like, that gets me through it. Like every fucking time I turn, the, you know, when we do a, a, a video or, you know, when we're together or a live stream or a sketch, I'm like, we're going to suck. We're going to fucking suck. And that's just all there is to it. No one's going to think we're funny and talk about how dumb we are. And this is terrible. And then when I do that, I'm like, pressure's gone. We're just going to yeah. suck. <laughs> just, <laughs> hey, just hey, look at this. There's always going to be somebody else that's done it better or done it in a different way. And don't live up to those guys. Just do your fucking thing and, 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 and fuck it. Like, let it go. Let it go. Yeah. 
Just be what? yourself, and that's all that people want anyway. That's all that people want. Be yourself and don't be a fake bitch. <laughs> that's all they want. <laughs> I, I've, I've literally, you know, I, you know, I have a 12 year old and you know, I was talking to her, uh, you know, she goes and see movies w with me all the time. And it's, it's a really special thing that the bond that her and I have. And I was, we always have these talks on the way there. And I was telling her about it. And I was like, you know, I didn't realize this till it was really late in my life. And I wouldn't change a single thing. You know what I mean? I wouldn't change a single thing because I'm just so happy with my fucking life right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I went through fucking hard times, dude, really fucking hard times. And never thought that I was going to figure it out. Never thought I was going to figure it out. And I was telling my kid, you know, like I, I, nobody ever fucking told me this. You know, like nobody fucking told me. Like I went my entire life without anybody saying, hey, figure out what the fuck you want. And then you can do it if you work really hard. I told such you that a, yesterday. Such a simple thing <laughs> that nobody ever fucking told me, you know, and like I, I, I somehow fucking figured it out. Thanks to this channel. Thanks to you. Thanks to you becoming my friend and our friendship that we had. Thanks to just a million fucking lucky breaks. But like, yeah, man, like it's not going to every single person i feel like it's like i want to be a youtuber i want to start a youtube channel you, you do the natural thing you google how, how to get subs mm -hmm. how, to, how to grow how to whatever and they all say the same shit yeah. um but the fa fact of the matter is is that you and i did this and it took us fucking uh, uh, uh what is it it's 2022 it took us like you know up to it took Ten us years. Six, six years to get traction or any kind of traction yeah to get real traction and thanks to patreon and thanks to, to you all's giving hearts and thanks to you all and just whatever whatever natural fucking special weird recipe happened that recipe happened because of you guys but we had to fucking put our dumbass bullshit out there every single day and sometimes it was trash and a lot of times it fucking sucked and it was what? never fucking top notch not changed at best, yeah, <laughs> at best it was mediocre but we put it out there every fucking day over and over and over and over and over and over again because we love doing it and because it's it's what we were gonna fucking do, and yeah. then like you just you step up and you fucking go to the at bat and you go to the at bat and you go to that bat and you strike out and you strike out and you strike out and you strike out and oh got a fucking double here like, a little bit little bit little bit at a fucking time is it gonna take fucking forever yeah but we're fucking living proof that like you can do things without any talent whatsoever yeah and, if, and we can do it <laughs> you can do it uh yeah, yeah. I mean uh, that, well you know like um I don't have any kids or anything like that so I can't compare but I mean I have uh but nephews you still can. Just, uh, well, I, well yeah i have nephews and nieces uh and you know one of my nephews uh, according to my brother he's like oh he looks up to you he thinks you're great because you're a youtuber and you do this stuff and he wants to do that stuff and you know i i, told, I was like tell him don't fucking do that <laughs> go and <laughs> go and get a fucking degree uh go and do like you know work hard and, and get some like go to goddamn space i don't know i wish i could be a fucking astronaut i don't know do something else because the thing about YouTube, when you, when you do YouTube or when you do any kind of, you're putting yourself out there on the internets and you know, it's your personality or whatever. It's, it's a very vulnerable position to put yourself into for one. That's, that's the number one thing. And you have to learn how to take criticism that's constructive and then also criticism that's not so constructive and that are just mean hearted and mean spirited so you gotta take that in stride and then also you have to realize that it's a grind man and it, it takes a long long fucking bit of your mm. of your time it, it doesn't happen overnight i mean for some people they're extremely lucky and they have it happen boom there it is and you know it's just good for them but generally speaking you got to fucking put the time and the work in, man. You got to, you got to, all I got to say is like, you got to do what you love and then be as like into what you're doing as you can be like, mm -hmm. do what you love and be as into that as you can be. Yeah. Because at no, the end of the day, uh, that's it. I mean, that, that I mean, that's it. Whatever and it I, is. Yeah. Whatever it is. Uh, but if you're going to, especially if you're going to do YouTube, I mean, you really got to fucking love it, man. You got to. Yeah. You got to be on that bitch. You got to say, I'm going to put my dick on that table like DMX and bark like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well that's, well, that's the thing too. Like for me, this is the last chance thing. This is the last chance thing. I mean, that's just the truth. Maybe that's why I get so emotional about it because I, look, I fucking, I went to college for like six weeks and left. Uh, the only thing I knew, the only thing I was told to do was fucking, hey, you need to fucking go to college. Go to college, get a fucking job. That's what yeah. you go to college, get a fucking job, go put yourself in debt, go get a job. And for a lot of people that works for, for fucking smart people, kids, I, I, it's amazing. You watch kids and I see people now and now looking back, looking back on things, I see like, fuck, if I would have realized this in high school, it get good grades and then you can get into a school and you can get a grant to get in school. And then you pick the job you want to do it. And then, yeah. And then you, 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 you could have worked hard. hard in high school. 
<laughs> yeah, like yeah, you you yeah. could. I never knew. I never fucking. I never saw past my fucking nose my entire life until I had kids. Yeah. So by then I was so fucking late in the game. I didn't have. I didn't have an ounce of credit. I, I got my first credit card like a fucking year ago. Okay, yeah. like never had a fucking ounce of credit in my life. It was always like five dollars here for gas. Like I can't tell you the amount of times I skimmed I by got my card selling card. shit at fucking pawn shop. Like, like I, I went through some shit in my life, man. Yeah. Like, and I didn't fuck. I knew I wanted to do good, and I just didn't fucking know how. So this, when YouTube came apart, it was like it wasn't even a choice. It wasn't yeah. even a fucking choice. It was like a hey. You fucking make ten dollars an hour, and you got two fucking kids, and you have no fucking talent, and you wake up every night in the middle of the night fucking shaking, wanting to do something good because you want to fucking fight, you know, you want to do something good. And then this channel happened, and we fucking fought for it, and it happened. So we are a lot of fucking lucky, and came late into the game to it all, but yeah. I'm so fucking thankful for it, and it's just so so thankful to all of you guys. I'm gonna yeah, shut up before a, I fucking cry again. Yeah, it was it was an amazing coincidence that you know we had this channel that we both could come to and and uh you know uh, give our artistic expression uh person like our personalities put on display for everybody in an artistic way i guess i don't know yeah it was a very yeah, much I think... well I, I was i was just gonna say like um uh yeah i'm 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 grateful for it um you know and it, it got me through a lot of rough days uh you know that uh, everybody knows that i lost my mother in july and and this channel has sustained me and, and you guys have been very sweet and very uh supportive and then before that it was the divorce and then but this channel has has definitely been a um a boon that's turned out to be uh, well I, I just un, unexpectedly so endearing to both of us and uh i i couldn't imagine my life without it and and it, like it has nothing to do with subscribers not i i love what the fuck i do i love it i i love doing this i love uh talking about movies i love hanging out with my best friend and discussing the bullshit in movies i love doing sketches and skits and stuff and that you know the fact that this has generated any kind of support or community around it is mind-boggling to me because i love it so much but the fact is um any little kid or whatever saying i want to be a youtuber or whatever i would tell you like hey it's a it's a long deep dark ass road because it's not like one of those boom boom there you go uh here's you know half a million subscribers or, or a million subscribers and or or whatever and now you're pewdiepie level it doesn't mm -hmm. work like that you gotta love what you do and you gotta fucking really be into what you do and uh yeah. i'm I, i'm just i'm really thankful and happy um because dude at the end of the day i didn't need to pay for therapy i had this channel to do it and that that that's the end of the day that's what i'm the most thankful for because i didn't need yeah. to because you, and you know, work out a lot of fucking demons on here and have a good goddamn time doing it. And you guys are so sweet and so supportive. Um, it's awesome. So um, yeah. that that's that's all I got to say. Like, the, the that's only thing the I, end of the train for me. <laughs> the only thing I would add to that, man, is I don't even it, 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 we didn't want to be YouTubers. <laughs> we don't want to be YouTubers. And we're not like we talk about movies for a living. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's, yeah. Like, I give a fuck about being a YouTuber like or like you know, I'm a you know, YouTuber. Uh, it's it's well there wasn't even a youtuber name back in the day like no one yeah. said i want to be a youtuber back in 2012 or 2013 if, if you'd have yeah if you'd ask us when we were kids hey would you like, this is this is it right here like if you'd ask us when we were kids dude we were going up together and watching movies together would you guys want to do the wayne's world cable access show for a living we would have said yes if we, we would have <laughs> bought into that so fucking fast and you know yeah. what that's what we fucking do for we a tried living, to do it. dude. We did. Uh, if you guys remember Wham episode one, we tried to do yeah. Wayne's World. Well, it's in some weird way or fashion. No matter what we're doing, we're always doing that. That's mm. what we do for a living, dude. Like it is our dream. It's not about fucking YouTube or TikTok or whatever the fuck. No, it's just fun. <laughs> we we literally do Wayne's World for a living. Like how well, yeah. stupid is that? How stupid is that? It's that cool you though. Guys I mean, have allowed because us that the day that dream. it stops being fun is the day it's over exactly and it's 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 god damn man we're fucking lucky sons of bitches we're getting close to that time we're getting real close to that fucking time where we're gonna ring it in we got seven you know to open to up your bottle of champagne i'm gonna wait i'm gonna pop it right at the time so i'm no, gonna get it because here. i don't know how to, to fucking do it 
I don't either. I'm not good at it either. It's always scary to do. Yeah. So we'll do it together. I don't want to do it. I was, comes. I was trying to tell April to do it, and she was like, "I don't want to do it." I'm like, "Well, fuck." Just keep just whatever. Whenever, whenever we do it at midnight, just point it away from your face. Whatever you do, so it doesn't pop. Well, you no, the fucking the, eye. There, you know, it's got a cork on it because I got yeah. that real so cheap ass shit. It's not actual a cork. Mine's just, yours isn't a cork. No, it's well, it's a cork, but it's like you just um pop it. You don't. Yeah, have mine's to, a like, screw top it. too. Mine's a screw top okay, too. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I'll answer a couple of these. I'm gonna piss right before we do that. Just just a quick piss. Uh, Corey Grayley says, "Mike, what's your favorite Blink song?" I'm gonna go with "Don't Leave Me" off "Enemy of the State." I just love that song very fucking much. I'm gonna go with go uh, "Pour Some Sugar on Me." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Macadamia says, "I remember uh, an old video. I think Mike was reviewing Insidious while at the hospital during a storm uh, uh, for one of his kids being born." Um, I don't remember that one specifically, what? but it wouldn't surprise me in the least. <laughs> uh, uh, Mike was reviewing I'm Insidious. Sure we review that together, though. There, well, I think maybe it was Insidious Two or something. One of those. I remember driving in the car. I think I reviewed Insidious Three in a car at one point or something. Like I don't know, mm. but like it wouldn't That's surprise me. That's the only at all. way to review that movie. <laughs> running away yeah. from the theater as you review it <laughs> good fucking memories though dude some crazy shit yeah. anthony stamp says is it difficult doing recurring characters like loomis or slender man i'm an aspiring actor and i find it hard to get back in the character and doing recurring characters seems difficult to me i know this is this is a question for you but i just want to say something about it real quick uh about what you do jay not only like you mentioned earlier that like you know it was my idea to, to get you to do loomis or whatever but that's not the point of it the point of it is is that it's very quickly very quickly after the first time you did it jay took that character and just it wasn't like a character okay the first time it was like okay you're gonna do this you're gonna sound like this this is the joke now you just tell jay be loomis this is the scenario and he goes he created a fucking tony stark out of that character he created his own fucking blade or whatever the fuck like it, it just it Loomis pours out of Jay. It's as easy as fucking eating jello watching him do it. He could just fucking do it off the cuff. And it's one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in my fucking life. But then I love you, Mike. Weird. And I and I really suck I'm dick, really dude. thankful for like that that trophy you got me that says this is proof that Jay has a heart. <laughs> the Tony Stark. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. Um uh, as yeah. far as um doing the recurring character, um I'm gonna pee. Why okay, uh don't take too long uh no i don't like the slender man and the and the loomis thing i don't i don't mind doing it um it, it's been a long like those characters are as a part of me as as breathing uh no so i don't have any problems doing them i i feel like when i do when we do a loomis meyer skit and I, I go back into doing the full on Loomis or whatever. Uh, it's it's like putting on an old glove, man. I, I really do enjoy that character. I love that character. I, I, you know, and I love the fact that you're paying any kind of homage to the late great Donald Pleasance. I mean, as the best I can do. And the Slenderman character, I think it's fun for me. Like it, it, it's like, it's so against the norm as far as what we would normally put out as a character. Uh, you know, he, he tries not to cause he's very like, it's a very goofy character. I, I, I love it, man. No. So it's not hard, but I, I mean, I appreciate you even, you know, you're going to acting school or whatever that you put me in that category at all. Cause I don't think that I'm a very good actor at all. I, I think that, um, I have, um, I have a really good friend that I can uh, react off of. And I think that that helps quite a bit. And I couldn't imagine going in and doing a sketch or a scene without Mike uh, being there um, to help me through it. But I, I really do appreciate it. that means a lot, man. Yeah. But as far as like going back to those characters, I love those characters. I love Slender Man and I love Dr. Loomis and, and, and those things have made the channel, uh, really, uh, you know, snap and, uh, and we're grateful for that. But also I got to point out the fact that some of the Loomis stuff, uh, this is when I look at Dr. Loomis, when I look at any of our characters, it's a combination of our creative uh, input to make these characters because it's not always a one, it's not always a one-sided thing. It's not like, oh, I just came up with this character and there's a lot of input and then the ultimate final product is what you get. So like I've come up, 
the Dr. Loomis thing, I've come up with certain ideas about Dr. Loomis. And then Michael will be like, hey, man, if you say this, it'd be really funny. And then I'll incorporate that into what I said. And it, it, it just works. But yeah, it's a very it's a very uh, hands on approach with two people or, or you know, to make that thing a, a reality. But yeah, man. Thank okay. you for even mentioning me in the, in the, in that fucking uh, acting thing. Cause I don't think, I, I think I'm a shitty actor, but I appreciate that shit. No, you're fucking not, dude. You got a natural talent for that shit. I, I, I drop your ass off at Hollywood myself. I wouldn't pay for your room, but I would drop you off. Well, I appreciate that. And I would suck a fucking bum dick to be there. <laughs> hey, oh shit. We're seconds, close, dude. man. We got one minute. 30 right, seconds to 10 fucking years. She's popping the fuck. I can't. I'm not popping it. Shit. I got to pop this yeah, fucker, gonna... dude. Is Katie okay. popping yours? Uh, no, I'm popping my own. I can pop my own God dick. Damn it! <laughs> Where are we at? Fifty seconds. Ten. All right. Ten. Hey, bring Katie Nine, on. Eight, bring Katie on. Seven, come over here. Six, here. Come over here. Five, four, three, two. I'm gonna pop my one. What? <laughs> oh, there it fucking goes. I can't I'll fucking twist it. Just twist it. Oh. I got it. I got. I got some looseness. Don't put it in your face, dude. God damn it! I can't hear you. Gotta do it. <laughs> All right. Open. Don't put it in your face, April. Don't fucking look at me with you. Do it. We don't want to die on ten years. Oh, you got. We're I gonna heard, go at I, least eleven and a half. Okay. Oh, there we go. Top and twist. You got it. Yeah, I got Did it. You get it. Hey, it. hey. No, don't pour in your cup. Drink it out of the bottle with me. Hey. Okay, let's be bums together. Let's do it. Ten years, you motherfucker. I fucking hey, all love right. you. Click it. I love you, dude. I love you, man. Click I love it. you. I love all of you guys. Fucking ten years, goddammit. it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Gotham City will be mine. <laughs> God, it tastes like feet. <laughs> God damn, dude, oh, it's, it's so, so gross. I got the fucking cheap kind. I got, um, <laughs> I got Andre. So do we. We got, uh, no, dude, we got Andre, too. Oh, shit, dude. Six Andre fucked out. A bowl. Here. <laughs> here, come over here. Hey, bring Katie in the in the picture. Come, come to me. She's filming me right now. I don't know why she's, get my fat side. Come in the picture. Hi. <laughs> Not come, don't come hey, in where's the picture. Your... Where's your glass? You didn't get me a glass. Oh, oh let me oh. go get you a glass. <laughs> hey, all right. Which means uh, that I will take his seat because oh that's what God, I do. So fucking gross. Here, you can take my seat too. Here, okay. have this. Here you go, honey. Here. <laughs> I'm on my knees. That's what I'm best at. <laughs> no, you're putting there. It's been a weird ten years, just, kid. <laughs> just sucked your your dick on live TV. Yep. Or uh, you're, you know what I mean. <laughs> it won't be the last time. Hey, okay. okay. Cheers. Happy ten years, guys. Cheers. Hey, what are you guys playing? What are they here? doing? Are you muting? Hey. Happy ten years. <laughs> Let's rub our internet wieners together. Indeed. I also want you guys to know that I bought these champagne glasses just for today. We didn't own these before now. Fuck! I drained yeah, it. So I drained it. It was so hard. <laughs> I drained it so hard. Oh, we're not that classy as people. <laughs> no, no, no. But now ah! we have champagne glasses. Champagne. I hate champagne. Champagne. <laughs> champagne. I do. I can't because you know what? I gave her the working earbud. Oh, I can't. oh. We're here. Well, fuck you. I hate your guts and I hope you die. Okay, well, now I, I just heard what worked. you said. Oh, shit. Champagne. Both... <laughs> hey, guess what? I didn't clean my left ear. <laughs> so you got now you've got hey, his ear COVID. Yeah, it's all Macron. Is he struggling with the champagne? Yeah, it's fucking nasty. Yeah, he is. Are right you now. not? Are He's you not struggling with that champagne? Here's a, hey, this no, I like this shit. You don't hear me? <laughs> no, I'm gonna give her an earbud. Oh, that's got my crust in it. Well, this is fucking weird. Well, it won't be the first time. Can you guys hear now? No, it didn't. Oh yet. no, it's a different thing. So you're not. You're oh. just not gonna be able to hear Jay. <laughs> okay. Hey, we should ring in the next ten years of technical difficulties. <laughs> hey! hey, more of the same. <laughs> More of the fucking same. <laughs> what are you doing? Fuck! What the fuck? What happened? Good. It tastes like feet, dude. I think it's good. <laughs> it's so gross, dude. It's so gross. 
I just love that. I think it's good. No, dude. It Jay like said it. he was like, it tastes like feet, and she was like, oh, I think it's good. It's delicious. You're a go. bitch. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Hot. Sorry. What are you gonna do? God damn. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Love champagne. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> God, so good. Oh yeah. Oh. And you chug loved. it. Chug it. You want him to vomit? Yeah, I'm thinking about Kinda. it. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be the worst thing that ever happened. <laughs> I haven't done it yet on camera yet, but I mean, why not? <laughs> on the on the anniversary. Yeah. Wonder if she's it. got it in my thigh. <laughs> Let's just have it out. <laughs> Let me see that oatmeal roll. <laughs> oatmeal roll. <laughs> God damn, that's so fucking gross, dude. You got the same kind. That's so weird. You got the you got Andre? Yeah, you I got, got Andre, one? dude. <laughs> that six dollar bottle on accident. Well, yeah, we got the six dollar Andre. Jay's was six fifty. That doesn't work. Uh, I, no, I think ours was like six. No, it does. It just oh, it's no. really we still low. got it the same price, but we bought four bottles because that's who we are as people. We're alcoholics. Hey, you know what's funny is I told Mike uh, we I called I called our, our our personal like drive through liquor store and I I asked them I was like hey do you guys have champagne <laughs> and they were like she can't hear you I'm sure what he's saying is super funny Yo. she can't hear you I'm the only one with the earbud okay well the earbud. I'll go. I've had it in my ear for a while oh yeah ew you got okay, herpes I can hear you now well, Katie so what happened was is I called our you know you know Bill's liquor Bill's liquor <laughs> <out. laughs> yeah okay yeah. so I called Bill's and I was like hey do you guys have champagne and they're like yes and I'm like, hey, um, what's your cheapest one off the top of your head? Or do you not know that? And they were like, they said they were like, Andre is $6.99. I'm like, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, no, it's $6.99. I was like, and I wanted to say, you mean cheaper? Because you get like because I looked online, like apparently you can get champagne for like $4.99. Oh yeah, that stuff tastes like feet, though. Like it for does. Real. I just, it does. Yeah. It tastes like old toe. This is better, feet. at least. Yeah. This is better. Sour. We actually drank two bottles of champagne with the neighbors the other night too. So <clears throat> you like that though? You like I champagne? Love it. Mike and I both love champagne. God damn! I'm so gonna good. throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it makes my toes hurt. <laughs> like I don't know. Like, really I, don't, I don't like specific. Yeah, you know, really, I know, because it makes Ugh. me feel like I'm going to have a hangover tomorrow, so and I don't want it. When it hits your lips, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ended up with a migraine the day after we drank it with the neighbors, so mm. enjoy. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be my number one list. It's going to be so good. Mm-hmm. But at least you have Halloween cups for it. Yeah, because I can't afford the fucking... <laughs> Bitch, these were like 10 bucks for four. These oh, are you got it? What'd shit. you get? Dollar General? <laughs> I almost went to the dollar store to get us plastic ones. <laughs> No, they Just had saying. them, like, they had them ridiculously cheap at Total Wine. Oh my God, there's Dexter. Here, you talk to her. Oh, here. Ow. Oh, yeah. baby. Oh. <laughs> Is okay. Jay just leaving? Oh, I think Mike. No, he's leaving. he's Ooh. sitting on the floor. Hey, here's a fun idea. Jay and I are going to go smoke, and you guys are going to carry on the no, stream for like five minutes while go we're gone. Smoke <laughs> oh. By the way, guys, I don't know if you guys know this or not. But Jay and I are out. This is our 10 years. We put in 10. <laughs> We're done. What? Jay and I are done. The channel is now Katie and April. Good it's unfortunate for you love guys. Love you guys. Thanks for everything. Sucks real bad for you guys. Hey. Good night, Dark Continent. Go fuck yourself. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on, worms? Want Nobody wants that. Yeah, it's over now. Did they go away? Jay being oh. as well because Mike left. So I, I gotta go. Tell him, tell him you have to go. Right, did you end the live he stream? He smokes on camera. Not during these, he doesn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, go smoke. Mike's going to smoke. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go. Here, you talk to her. Oh. Just wander away. Also, still... yeah, you guys are good. No, are we live? Yeah, you're are live. Still... Okay. All right. So we did get a swam from Stephanie. And <sighs> let's see. She's yes, Katie and April are taking over. It's been a while. Swam is back. <laughs> hey, it has been a good minute. Tell him, uh, use this time. Use this time to, you just licked my sideburn. <laughs> use this time to tell them 
about how hard it's been living with us for the past few years. Dear baby Jesus. Like, it's been fun. I'll just, I'll go with it's been fun. Um, I have gouges in my countertop. I stabbed <laughs> my husband once. He deserved it. Fake blood on the floor. So much Stains fake blood. From- <laughs> we literally just cleaned off fake blood from the walls in the game room. So, yeah, it's just nonstop. It's a good time. Yeah. It's been a long time. It's weird that it's been 10 years because that makes me feel old as fuck, by the way. That they've been doing it this long. But, um, Vanessa, I am a saint, as is April. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, and Isa's in here. Uh, what's the lady's name in the bathroom that we, oh, fuck, Stephanie, what was her name? It was so stupid. It was like Hunter or some other really white people name. I can't remember though. Richie, I don't know what that means, but ooh. He said he stretched you out a few times. That's uncomfortable. What? I don't know. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> um, Bat Seal said this is the alternate universe wham. It is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, I don't think it was Wilson. Like, I don't know. It was stupid, though. I think it's actually in one of our Instagram posts. So, <laughs> Joe Bob, um, I figured it would last longer than the online poker phase for sure, but maybe not 10 years. So, I am impressed. Hi, Puppins. Hi, Thor. Thor came to say hi. <laughs> Jamie Wright, you deserve, do deserve some payment for taking care of Mike's wound <clears throat> after I stabbed him. And by I stabbed him, I mean he stabbed himself, for sure. Uh, music Man, when did I meet Jay? We've been together for almost four years. In July will be four years, so. Um, Katie, what's the most embarrassing thing that Mike has ever done? Listen, I could make you a top 100 I honestly don't know that I could come up with a single embarrassing thing. Um, Because he's a hot mess. (laughs) Um, Richie work, I'm still confused. So am I. I (laughs) Todd, Mike knows. He's always known I'm funnier than him. It's fine. We missed you too, Garrett. Oh, Garrett. I'm excited about getting wine drunk with you at some point. Um, Give it back. No. Give it back to me. (laughs) (laughs) Mike and Jay are always saying sucking, fucking, and touching. What would would we say? Uh, Probably something less gross. Licking, tickling, and dickling. That's icky. I said less gross. Dickling. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Robert Kelly, the worst thing they ever did in my house was when I woke up the next morning and discovered that my countertops had been gouged out with a knife because Mike believed they were indestructible. Um, There's a lot of scratches in the wood floor. Um, There's a lot of dents and yeah, there's just, there's a lot. There's blood on the walls. (laughs) Yeah. That's good. Are you letting him drink that? (laughs) We can hear you guys whispering. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is he drinking beer right now? Is the dog drinking alcohol? No. Why would you oh. think that? Jay's just mm. crouched in the corner with the dog. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> totally not weird and suspicious <laughs> at all. Doctor Acula, um, I do have a entire room dedicated to this bullshit in my house. So, which is always fun when new people come over, like, especially when it's the kids' friends or, like, their parents, because they walk in and it's the first thing you see is just the wham room. And you just have to cross your fingers that no one's going to bring it up. So, it's good. We love you too, Alexis and Jamie. Jamie For sure. We adore you. Um, I'm going to give the shit back. Daryl! Yeah, I'm ready to... 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it back. Katie's giving you it back. We're giving it back. Give it back to me. Do you want it back? Take the shit. Taking it back I don't want it anymore. But I do love you guys very much. <laughs> we got and the band back together. Daryl, Todd, taking the champagne. I love you. Bye, guys. I love you too. Do you want more champagne? Yes. No. I, yeah. Give me that. Yes. Well, I just take the working one. Why do you pour yours first? I'm pour mine first. It's my special night. <laughs> well, as Derek always says, you would be nowhere without me. That's big facts, yo. It's <laughs> big facts, yo. God, hey. that tastes like shit. I'm still drinking it. <laughs> I'm still drinking it. Hey, uh, you know what? <clears throat> you know what, dude? You know what? It's in my... oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Yeah, Wait a minute. Are you, are you still no, trying no. to drink it? No, no. Wait a minute. I took the wrong goddamn cup. I took an old Michelob Ultra, and I was drinking that shit from the cup. Did it have when I was off camera? It? Fuck, dude. This is the champagne. <laughs> this is what tastes. This tastes like. God, when they fucking stomp over your face and they didn't give you that promotion. <laughs> God damn, dude. That's the wrong. <laughs> I was drinking the wrong cup. Hey, let me let me say real quick though. Let me say real quick though. Um, that this 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 entire ten years, that lady has been by my side and she's put up with all of her shit. And I fucking adore that Jay has always been the coolest friend to my wife. He's always been so good to her, and she yeah. has been good to him. And they are just as good of friends almost as me and Jay are almost not quite. Oh as me and jr and i love you april and i love what you've come into jay's life and done and i i do want to say that over this past 10 years my wife has experienced every bit of hopes and dreams i've had and disappointments i've had and every bit of it and uh uh this is this is she she i tell her every single day about everything that goes on with this channel so i love you I love you so fucking much and would not have been able to do this without your support. Just like Jay, I know you wouldn't be able to do this without April support too. Well, and, uh, you know, we love yeah, you all. Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, uh, Katie's like, um, um, she's like the, the, uh, the sister I never had and she's been awesome. Jay said you were like the sister he's never had and you've been awesome. And she uh, can't hear you, so I'm telling her. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And uh, I'm I'm really appreciative you. of her and uh I love her and I think she's great. And I um I don't know, I, she's she's been great. I I've he never, said your fart stink. Yeah. I never had any he kind of complaints uh, about uh, <laughs> with Katie as far as like how she's taken care of Mike and and she's done some uh, really good things. Cause I mean I, I think I would have an issue. I consider Mike like a little brother to me. And I love Mike in a non-gay way. Totally. I gay. mean, sometimes a gay way, but not always a gay way. All but gay. Uh, I would have an issue if somebody was uh, taking care of him in the wrong way. And uh, I think that she's uh, steered him on the right course and she's put good things in his life and she's a good girl. And uh, Mike's lucky. And and uh, uh, I think that uh, he's got... You know, he's got his soulmate and, you know, not everybody can say that they got one. And I do love April and I'm very happy to have her here. And um, for me, she is my soulmate. Um, so, you know, here, here, but, my yeah, friend. at the end of the day, uh, thank, thank God for the women's in our life. Yeah. Thank fucking God for them. Thank God for all the shit that we put them through that they deal with. April, fucking huge shout. I know she can't hear me right now, but huge shout out to April. All the times that April's brought Jay up here so we can film together, giving him a ride so that we uh, can huge drink. Shout out. Uh, thank you for bringing me up there. That we can be married. Even though she was bitching the entire fucking time <laughs> and saying, I wish you'd fucking die. I wish you'd have a cardiac arrest walking back to my car when I was when you were done filming because I fucking hate you. <laughs> No that, but, thank, yeah. thank, thank you, April, to so many safe rides that we've had into the night to mm. do dark, dark things into the world yeah. that she was our DD for because she's not a degenerate like the yeah, rest before, of us. Before that, we were doing Guar. I said we're April was a No, I said, oh, yeah, you were degenerate. Yeah, you're an absolute degenerate. Yeah, before that, me and Mike were just doing Guar. <laughs> we were like we were doing a we were doing a live concert show of guar it's like who's gonna make it home safe i don't know we're gonna find out 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Actually, as a matter of fact, um, Mike and I did do some stupid shit uh, back in the day. Uh, but uh, yeah, we 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 quickly realized how stupid that was, and and we stopped doing that. So, by the way, um, I don't I I don't feel like there should be one, but just a quick one. Uh, don't drink and drive. Don't be dumb because your life can be over like that. Don't do that shit. If you want to drink, if you want to have a good time, I'm all for it. Let's have a good time. Let's do that. But make sure you have a good, safe ride to get home. Goddamn so, right. And it's not it. as hard as you would think it would be. It's not as hard as you would think it would be. Especially but nowadays. Uber Back exists. in 2012, motherfuckers, there was no Uber. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what, bitch? You got to fucking either drive yourself or you got to get that fucking bicycle out from it <laughs> and drive that shit <laughs> uh okay i'm gonna start going through through the super chat we're gonna catch up on the super chats now uh before we say our goodbyes we still got some time left because you guys have just been so fucking kind it's been awesome i can't i cannot believe the kindness shown from the chat the, the way you guys show up for, and i shouldn't be fucking I, you know i shouldn't be fucking surprised man i shouldn't be every fucking turn you know, when the tornadoes hit kentucky and we said we wanted to do something you guys blew our fucking minds within, and met our within goals like that. within an hour within like, 20 minutes they hit almost a thousand fucking dollars god everything that i'm so proud of in my life that i've done has come directly from the fucking 387 people watching this right now i'm just i'm so fucking thankful for all of you guys man um I'm not sure exactly where we were right now. Did we read D Mitch? Did we reach your fucking thing? Um, uh, I, I don't know if we did. I can't, it's been a night. D Mitch says you boys have been an inspiration to me to get off my ass and start my channel. Oh, no, we read wanted... that one. Okay. We. Oh yeah, yeah. You know we did. Sorry, I got you confused, dude. I got you confused, D Mitch. My bad. My bad. Not um, being racist. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh okay we read mr mac i read that one uh i got i got lost in the fucking timeline here uh okay anthony stamps read that one so we're not we're not so far off uh domingo rivera said what's your favorite score soundtrack any genre i will go favorite soundtrack of all time scream 2 just to make it simple i love that shit whoa this could be your lucky day in hell oh man that's a good one um the best soundtrack I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm gonna joke and say blade. Sex me nimble, sex me quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say blade, 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 blade. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I would say the 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 most uh, favorite soundtrack I've ever heard in my life was. Um, I like that orchestra shit. So it, it's gonna be uh, Tim Burton. It's gonna be uh, Batman. Oh, that's a good one. Or Man of Steel was a good, good one. Too, man of Steel was fucking Hans, Hans Zimmer. Zimmer. God yeah. damn, that man can drop panties with just his orchestra stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, no doubt about it. Hey, big fucking news, by the way. Big fucking news. A little, a little extra poor because one I'm thing not we want to more of that champagne, dude. Because I, I, I was drinking. I thought I was drinking champagne. I was like, this tastes like shit, but it's not as bad. It turned out to be Michelob Ultra. That was old, <laughs> but, you it was old and, but it was old and warm. <laughs> this is the fucking champagne, and it tastes like shit. <laughs> hey, guys, we'll let you know. Pop Culture with Pat has hit 1,000 fucking subscribers tonight. Hey, all right, motherfucker. Pop Culture with Pat. Fucking A. Because that's what it's about, god damn it. That's fucking awesome. He says, I hit 1,000 subscribers. Wow, honestly, speechless right now. So unbelievably grateful to both you, Mike and Jay, and the whole community. You made my night. Congrats again, 10 years away. It made it all that much sweeter for us, Pat. Hey, man, that's that awesome. we got to fucking help you in the fucking process, dude. And, Thank you. And I feel when like this my video teeth is... are numb from the champagne. <laughs> like when this video is over, we know we told you not to watch Pat's videos, just to subscribe to him. But when this is over, go watch him. He's a good yeah, but my, I feel like happy to do But that, I, I have a bigger emergency. My fucking front teeth are numb. <laughs> That's normal. It's okay. It's no, totally dude, normal. I feel like I'm going to lose them. <laughs> it's all right. I'm right. Hey, fall. hey, hey, what? We got to get fucking Thorn here. Oh, God. Long time. Hey, give me a kiss. Hey, dude, you know what he looks like he's doing? He's like, Juicy Fruit is going to move you. <laughs> Thor's like, I've been a part of this for fucking 10 years. Let's go. Um, 
<laughs> Michael Martinez says, thank you guys for making me laugh. God bless. Thank you, Michael. We fucking love you, man. It's so bad. The champagne is so nasty. <laughs> I love it, dude. It's so good. I can drink you it like all fucking night God damn, I dude. love it. Yeah. Your taste must like, have been dead since 1974. It's like beer with sugar in it. No, Cold. dude, if there was orange juice involved, it would be really good. Get that That's mimosa. A mimosa. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Get that mimosa. Make you a mimosa. Uh, Colton Candler says, who would win in a fight, Riggs from Lethal Weapon or Dalton from Roadhouse? Ooh. Ooh. I think Dalton's got it. I'm gonna go Riggs, dude, because he's my. Yeah, of course you will. Of you piece of yeah. shit. Don't weapon. be sad. Fucking... Have a French fry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Why don't you go take your shit back to Daddy Glover's fucking dick? <laughs> the fat man, 69, dude. Hey, this guy. I, I remember, remember that guy way back in the day. Hey, by the way, way I'm back. I'm gonna do this because I don't have any more cups. This is a Pepsi. Yeah, just do it. Just go with it. Fuck it. They can't cancel us. We're too small. Fat Man says, hey, guys, I'm stuck at home with COVID. Getting up and going to the oh, shitter is shit. like watching all the wrong turn movies. It sucks. Thanks for always <laughs> making me laugh and keeping me positive. Oh, uh, damn, dude. Hey, I, I, I feel your pain. Like, God damn, if that was my reality, I'd put my dick in an electrical socket. <laughs> Holy shit. But, Don't hey, you're going to be all right. <laughs> hey, that sucks, dude, that you have COVID. But. May you get over it. Hey, you know what I do over you? <clears throat> you know what you got to do, man? Here's the two movies that are going to make you feel fucking awesome. Oh, that's a good you, idea. Watch, yeah. you watch like Labyrinth. That. You mm. watch fucking Labyrinth today. Uh, I'd watch Shut the fuck Labyrinth. up, David uh, Bowie hater. Because he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to get a reaction. I love gay people. Yeah, but no. They, uh, watch Labyrinth or watch... Uh, I love them so much I sleep with them. <laughs> <laughs> or watch uh monster squad monster squad makes more sense yeah fuck pan's labyrinth that's boring no, i didn't say i said labyrinth watch watch lethal weapon not pan's labyrinth labyrinth oh uh, okay sure fuck well that movie sucks too but whatever you want oh you know, wow because you... he hates gay yeah. people <laughs> <laughs> uh Chase Banks says, congrats on 10 years. Thank you for the honesty and positivity. I'm happy for you both, and here's to future success. Must love. Cheers, Chase Banks. We love you fucking, hey, Chase. Man, thank you. I, thank I, you, I, dude. I, I have a Pepsi Cola. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ryder, I can't Ryder, show it. Ryder says, to me, you're more like men on films. Hate it. <laughs> yeah, I like men on films. Should hey, dude, no, no, this that's thing. from, uh, no, that's from uh, In Living Color. Men on films. Uh, Hated it. With no, Damon Wayne's, know. yeah. Do you remember? He's like, he's like, I like it when they when they hike the football. They so strong. <laughs> <Have> you, <laughs> dude, go back and watch In Living Color with Damon Wayne's and uh, David Allen Greer. To. I will. And now. he was like, "What did you guys think about Lucas? Hated it. First <laughs> off, there's no good strong men's in the opening credits, so I'm out." right away but <laughs> if there was i'd be like hut hut hike Ooh, <laughs> i want him to be behind my center position <laughs> like, dude you gotta watch i will now i will now i will Ryder says i'm still waiting for the venom sketch what did we say we we're gonna do a venom sketch that would be um, uh, oh yeah we, we should we, we did we did like a thousand years ago so I, I think that I was going to do the voice, and then we were going to do something with uh, either you as you or somebody, uh, another character. That sounds fun. We'll we'll think of it, dude. Kevin yeah. Fishgal says, happy 10-year anniversary, guys. Hey, Fishgal's been around for a long fucking time. Love you, Fishgal. Pepsi. Love you, Fishgal. You motherfucker, you. Happy 10-year anniversary to you. Um, Thanks, man. Fucking, yeah. Uh, Frank Morrissey, Morrissey. This is a new name. I haven't seen your name around, my friend. He says, congrats, guys. Keep up the greatness. You keep up the fucking greatness. Hey, Love man. you, dude. Thank you. Gene Armstrong says, congratulations. Congratulations to you, Gene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking yeah. Mr. Thank Macadamian you. showing up again to say, I appreciate you guys for doing what you do and always having the balls to do it. You guys are great. You're always great. And I, I'm i pretty sure the first channel I subscribe to. Hey, hey I appreciate that, first. man. Yeah. And that I'm glad that you think we are a little nuts. Have the big balls to do it. Do you want to get nuts? Because we'll say, get nuts. fuck you. <laughs> if we feel like it. <laughs> hey. Long fucking time guy, Ken Burnett. Love you, dude. He says, love oh. you guys. Happy 10 years of wham. Happy 10 years hey, to you, Ken, Ken. man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you so fucking much. And Sweet then guy. We... Really nice guy. Fucking yeah, man. And Mercury 80 says, Katie and April as the new hostesses of wham 2020. Hey, if they want to take it over, it fuck it. We'll let them do it. 
Someone's got to take it over. Someone has to at some point. Honest Garrett, to God, if they were like, hey, they're going to take it over, I'm like, yeah, all right. Fine, I'll, I'll make breakfast. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you guys like sausages? <laughs> Garrett Veal says the Katie Naples show. The Katie, hey, we should do a spinoff. I mean, you never know uh, what will I mean, I don't, you guys think you're hurting my feelings? It's making me feel more emboldened to retire early. <laughs> <laughs> that still said this is the alternate alternative universe of wham that uh, that was when they were on but oh, yeah yeah yeah. Sa- yeah exactly same thing fine 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 uh i mean I, man- I would say the girls are way more informative anyway so probably yeah fat man 69 dude says you guys have been around for a while remember when i recommended go them on and you guys reviewed it nine years ago man time flies that's what i said dude i remember you fucking oh. right it's the it's the craziest thing about this whole fucking thing dude it's like sitting here and like you know, it's a big deal for us now, but think about it. Is it a big deal for anybody else? Like, does anybody give a shit that it's our 10 years or whatever? And like every single time I think something like that, here you guys go show you like 400 people, 350 people deep at all times during the night showing up for us in fucking droves, making this a special night. And again, Jay and I could have done this stream and it would be like, hey, dude, we've been on YouTube for 10 years. Great. Fucking who gives a shit? Fucking why don't you watch? Yeah, it's like, it's like a plumber saying, I've been at Rotor Rooters for 10 years. <laughs> like, it's but not. Yeah, well, and what we're doing is not special, but it's you guys yeah. who make you show the fuck up. And I remember all you got fat man. I remember you from way back in the fucking day, dude. I remember, I remember all fat you man. Guys. I remember. I remember those guys. Yeah, dude, it's 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 just fucking insane, man. It's insane. Wow. It's such a fucking journey, and it's so beautiful. And goddamn, do I love my fucking life. Stacy James, thank you so much. Says just got off work, but want to say congratulations and thanks for the good time. It's been here for almost man. all ten years. Hey, what a fucking awesome thing! You you must have seen the decline, <laughs> and that's that's <laughs> really great. You go up. I see you go down. <laughs> yeah, you, and now you're only witnessing the kind of up and kind of down Steady. part of the channel. But hey. It's a- Done becoming an adult, Thanks, y'all man. like my cool uncles who I shoot the shit with. Like we said, that movie, uh, The Tinder Bar, you know? You, we're guys like gotta, you guys gotta check it out. We're Ben Affleck to Corzai's kid, you know? Like, Corzai yeah. showed up at 13 years, and, like, we've been doing this shit. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. It's you like gotta check it out, man. Uh, it's on yeah. Amazon Prime, if you have the the, awesome the, uh, the subscription. It's free, Ta- so... Tyler says, what's your favorite reviews, Wham, ladies? Okay, they, they're not here anymore. What's your favorite review we ever did, Kate? What's your favorite review? Baby? I have literally ten years of backlog. I could not. Yeah. Yeah. She says, "I don't know. I never watched them." Hold <laughs> on. What? I have ten fucking years. She doesn't give a fuck. Mental what? backlog. Say. Well, tell me, God <laughs> damn it! I'm waiting <laughs> in the wings, and it's live. It's live right now on the internet. Katie said the same thing. I don't fucking know, bitch. <laughs> Abel's trying to figure out her answer. Oh, right she now. said she said the Buffy movie review. I think she's full of shit. We never even reviewed Buffy. Jay. She's yeah, we, a fucking I, liar. We <laughs> no, we did. We did. We, we reviewed it a lot. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Isabel Bratcool, Isabel, the sweetest lady fucking ever, hails mm. all the way from fucking uh, Sweden. I, I sat in a car with Isabel and we listened to Bayside and we drove around Lexington, Kentucky two years ago and had a grand old fucking time. One of the sweetest people in the world. She holds in her possession. One of the Michael Myers masks that we made our first ever videos with. I love Mm. Isabel so fucking much. Thank you for that. Isabel. You did not have to, as always, she says 1000 cheers for the most superb people on the internet. Just woke up over here and was so happy to find out that the celebration was still on. You fucking know it. Isabel. Isabel. Yeah. We don't fucking stop. By the way, Isabel, I'm just drinking a Pepsi. So you can have this on your way to, uh, your it's diet your job it's a it's it's fine it's a diet pepsi too by the way just so you know it's a fucking diet pepsi don't how many worried. fucking more god damn <laughs> andrew graciosa says you guys are the best your videos and reviews helped inspire me to be a horror filmmaker thank you for 10 years thank you for the inspiration hey man thank you thank, thank you. you for the kind words my friend. can i just thank you so do an all andrew. like ad thank you <laughs> <laughs> The Jager bomb says the crow soundtrack is the best soundtrack of all time. Really? That, it might be. It might be it's hard to fight with the burn. Get over yourself. The cure. Get the fuck over yourself. Maybe the most inspirational music of all time. Difficult Next to, to fight to survive. Kickboxer. Stan Bush. Definitely. Diff- Bloodsport. Stan Bush. 
difficult to argue with. And then we are all caught up as far as this super chat goes. From By the, the way, Batman. No, here, let me let me tell you something. We're not going to be caught up when you're done. No, well, no. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, dude. I, I I read this comment and I was like, hey, man, it's so true. I was listening to, I fight to survive, from Bloodsport, mm -hmm. Stan Bush. And then I read a comment, and I'm like, that's exactly what it is in life and the gym, I suppose. He said, I, when I listen to this song, I have to go and walk out of the gym to defeat Tong Po and bring honor to my Shidoshi. That's the way that music should be. Cheers. And I, I don't know what the it. fuck you said, though, yo, but I liked it. I said a lot of good things. Fat, I believe you. Fat Man 69 says, congrats, guys. You deserved it. It's so good to see you guys succeed and get old. <laughs> Wouldn't miss the stream even if I am sick. Hey, man, I hope you fucking feel better really soon. And we appreciate you being our friend for all this time. Hey, man, thank you. Uh, dude, we're caught up on the Super Chats now. So okay, well, I guess we should end it now because I'm getting really fucking drunk. I'm getting real drunk, too. Yeah, but and it's I, like three and a half fucking hours. And I we know. only were going like three hours. And it's 30 fucking plus minutes. God I damn know. it. But I got something to say. What? God damn it. <laughs> you shut the fuck up and listen to me when I talk to you. <laughs> I'm listening. You, sh you shut up when you're talking to me. Fucking make your lips <laughs> goddamn move. Tell me. Hey, Tell man, me. Hey. <laughs> like Loki. <laughs> <laughs> oh asshole. fuck! Look, Come on! I know, I know, I know. Bring I know. it to my face. Hey, uh, Brian Manconian, Brian Mancion says, "Congrats, goats." He called us goats. I never fucked a man in my life. <laughs> Greatest of all time. He says, "Here's for many, many more years of success." My love for Michael Myers and the Halloween franchise brought me hey. here. Love your fucking Boom. faces. Love you too, Brian. Thank you so much. Hey, that. Brian. Hey. We're trying to get the fuck off here. So stop. <laughs> hey, Mike. Do your spiel. I'm a, fuck you. Don't rush me, dude. I'm going to fucking pass out. This is. <laughs> I hope you fucking do. I, I hope I do, too. <laughs> It'll probably bring this video up like 10,000 views. Hey, YouTuber, <laughs> pass this out on fucking live stream. <laughs> Be great. Hey, man, I just want to say real quick. I just want to say real quick. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to say it other than any other way I've said it. Every single fucking time we do something. We do anything like, you know, there's disappointments, you know, like we did a couple skits over this. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, oh she took your shit. Yeah, I got one. Over here. <laughs> she looked like, she looked like fucking. <laughs> no, she just poured it for herself. She, she looked like she was Debo to... from fucking Friday. I know, That's but I was trying to drink straight. It was an aesthetic thing, okay? I was drinking out of the bottle. She looked like Debo from Friday. That's my bike, punk. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was going to say is, look. You know, by the way, fucking first off, shout out to fucking Pat. Pop culture, Pat. Over a thousand subscribers tonight. Big fucking hey, night, Pat. That's a fucking good, pumped about that's that That's a good shit, goddamn man. day. Thank you, guys. That's Thank a good day, man. That. That's a good that's day. That's amazing. I'm, most, I'm like super fucking pumped about that's that. That's awesome. Secondly, uh, I said everything I can possibly say about this channel. But I, I do want to say it one more time because I don't know how the fuck else to say it. Is that every single fucking time we need you guys. You guys show the fuck up and you're there for us. And like. And, and, and it's fucking amazing. And I don't like, I, I, I just, I have no idea how to fucking put it. I want so badly to fucking find the perfect words to put it into, but between the Patreon, between the super chats, between you guys viewing, between you guys commenting, between you guys giving a shit, this 10 years has been the 10 years of my life with my kids, with my life, with me hoping to have some sort of purpose as far as like, what am I going to do? What purpose do I have on this world? Like, what am I going to fucking all the fucking jobs I've had, everything I've ever fucking done. Um, this is the, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is the fucking mountain for me. And I know it is for you too. And the, and the last thing I want to say is because now I'm just rambling and I understand that I get that. Okay. But what I want to say, Jay, is that dude, this, this, you know, this already, and, and this goes without saying, but it wouldn't fucking happen obviously without you. I'm just happy as fuck, dude, that my life just weirdly ran me in your fucking path because you're a special son of a bitch i mean you're a one of a kind fucking super fucking star and you could do anything you fucking wanted to in this whole world and you were the fucking talent you are the fucking comedy you are the fucking just goddamn super fucking star of this fucking channel and i fucking love you and i'm so glad that my life put me in your direction dude because 
never in a million thousand fucking billion years could I have done anything half this special if I didn't have you in my fucking corner. And I want you to know, dude, that every single day when I work up, wake up and I work really fucking hard on this channel, that I do it because I want to do it for YouTube because I love you. And I'm so thankful that you care about me and that you want to be my friend. And I want to make this successful for you because that matters just as much to me that it's successful for me as it is for you. And I fucking love you, dude. And I'm so happy we did this together. And I'm so fucking psyched to see what you and I do in the next 10 years. Cause we're going to fucking make it work. Cause I love you, man. And I'll do anything for you. I fucking die for you. I hope you know that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no man uh there's so much more i could say i mean uh, Dude, i just spent fucking i, I spent champagne all over my know, old I know, computer i know but you, you i mean you summed it up really beautifully <laughs> i really couldn't come back and and give any kind of oh good my things. god I, I i gotta be honest man um i <laughs> I'm really happy. Uh, I'm 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 beyond happy that we 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 found each other and th that we uh, realized that we can make a channel together and that we've done what we've done over the years and it's been an amazing journey. It's been an awesome journey and I've had a I've had the ball. <laughs> I'm still thinking. Mm. I've had. <laughs> I should have just ended it there. I think that would have been the best part, but. <laughs> Dude, uh, I've, I've had I've I, champagne I, all over my entire fucking yeah, setup. Yeah, I know. I I've had an amazing journey, man, and I, and you know how much you've been to me, and uh, <laughs> I love you as much, man. I I I I have my brother, Cody, but I you've always been a brother to me, and, and it doesn't have to be blood, but you've always been my brother, and I and I love you to death, and and you know that. And you know I've treated you like an, a younger brother, and that's pissed you off in in some ways, because I've tried to be that older brother and and be like, hey, I don't think this is a good idea or whatever. And you're like, oh god, I got an idea. You're you're sending him my way of my future. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm just really happy that uh, the channel's done well. And hey, man, um, end of the day. Uh, I'm just happy that we have a, a platform to perform on, that we have a platform to be stupid on and, and to talk about movies and just hang out. I always feel like what we are is like what you were in between high school classes, like, or, or like homeroom, you know what I mean? In high school yeah. at homeroom, you would, you would see your friends or whatever that you never had classes with and you would just hang out and say stupid shit and have a good time. But yeah, man, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm very thankful for knowing you and, and, um, I love you and I think it's, it's great what we've accomplished and that middle finger is the half size of your dick, that was but it's fine. Uh, anyway, oh, I, I'm, no. I'm really, uh, I'm really, uh, I, I don't know, man. I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful. I like how I said that, and then Mike's camera went completely black. Like Sorry, he turned sorry. away from the truth. And that's fine. And I understand. Like, sometimes when the truth comes at your face, you get scared. And it says EOS webcam utility. And really what it should say is, like, EOS, I need help. Because I can't take this emotion. Oh, no, but I mean, honest to God, uh, it really is. It, it really is a is a wonderful thing. And um, yeah, man, ten years, ten fucking years. That's a big fucking thing, man. Yeah, that's no hey. small thing. That's no small thing. And you know why? You know why we, you and I, work so so good together, dude. The only reason, not many people could fucking spend ten years together doing anything. But the reason no. you and I can do it is because we love each other, and mm -hmm. we we can be assholes to each other, and we can say the meanest shit in the world to each other. And then we love each other so much that we know that we can't live our lives without each other. So no matter what we say or how mad we are at each other, the next day we can call each other and say, hey, man, I'm sorry. Because if I don't say I'm sorry, you know, I, 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 well, I, I yeah. hey, look at me. No, I'll stop. You. I'm not going to look at your stupid look at face. me. Hey, look no. at me. No, I need you. Well, you know what it is? <laughs> I, I think I think that what we do, I, I think that we transcend and and, you know, uh, sometimes water is thicker than blood but 
I, I, I don't like that saying, you know, because I, I'm, you know, you should always love your, your well, relatives, not, but I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like what we are, I, I do. I've always looked at you as a brother. I, I never, I never in my entire life, um, I have ever looked at you less than, you know, I looked at Cody, my real brother, as far as like blood related brother. I never looked at Mike any less than that. And I wanted, I, I, I want, wanted him to do well, and I wanted him to do uh, a good things in his life. And I'm glad that we have a vehicle here that we can make that happen. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, I, I'm just, I, so, I don't know, man. Like you guys, we are, both- we are in a very, very unique position yeah. that this shit happens, and there's no jealousy. There's no like, I'm trying to be better than you, mm-hmm. or or anything like that. We're just trying to do. Something that makes us laugh together and then put that content out and makes you laugh too. So, I yeah. mean, that's, that's the, that's the best part about it. I don't know. And I told, uh, you know, I told Cody this at his fucking wedding, man. Like one of the greatest days of my life was the day I met you too. Uh, because I didn't have a brother, you know? Um, yeah. So you guys mean the fucking world to me. They're the things I laugh at, the things that I find funny, my humor, uh, so much about me. Um, it just comes from you dudes and i i fucking yeah. love you dude and you know what you and cody are both fucking brothers to me i know i'm not your fucking brother but you guys are now you always been our brothers man and you've always uh, been our brother we never we never do i mean i'm just gonna i mean 100 percent, dude we've never not looked at you like a brother like yeah. never i know i know i know that you know and I, I like i said i don't have a brother but i have you guys and, and like i have yeah. Dude, nobody, not not like almost nobody you can find on this earth has had a friend that they can say that they've they've gone through the shit that you and I have gone through together. Oh, dude, I, I you know I'll be We're with so you fucking lucky, thin, man. I, I yeah. mean, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't like, yeah. dude. I mean, I hundred percent. It's like they, I know that people want to put a label on it or whatever. It's, it has nothing to do with labels. It, it like you know, you have a friend, man. You have a friend. You have a you have a really good friend in this life. I think that everybody gets one really good friend yep. and either that's going to stick and you're going to make it stick and you're going to make it work or it doesn't work. Me and Mike yep. have been friends for over 20 fucking years. And you know why? Cause Mike always made me feel good, man. I always felt like good around Mike and I always felt like, I don't know. I felt like everything was going to be safe and it was all good and everything was all right. It's a very calming thing. I'm not trying to be gay. I know. I mean, we can be. It's because I'm good at sucking dick. Yeah, he was. He was extremely well, and it calmed me down a lot. (laughs) But no, you know, but, you know, you know, because I know that people want to put that that label on stuff like that. It's not like that. Me and Mike, we're just really good friends, man. Like, you know, you could be a really good friend with somebody and they can they can complete parts of your life that you never thought you needed completed and and make you calm and, and, and centered and things like that and it doesn't have to be sexual there's no anyway i'm just really thankful and and, and and happy uh that i i found mike and and we've been best friends for so long and that's it that's it yeah hey, and man. i don't like going into that because yes i'm not an emotional person and i think it's all fucking <laughs> i'm not trying to do this for the tiktok so i wanted or, i wanted to squeeze whatever, it out of you yeah i wanted it i want the juice yeah, i know i know you did give me the juice i know i know you i, you, I know you need me. a little fucking extra give me uh, the juice thing in your ass keep going for the day. Yeah. mike thinks about this in the mirror when he jacks off <laughs> Dudes, hey, it could end this. It could end any other way. Hey, man, like I know, I know, I got emotional. All right, look, I know I got emotional, guys. Here's my thing, though. We're celebrating ten years of YouTube tonight. We're celebrating ten years doing this channel tonight. And you know, we talked to we talked we talked to our wives and girlfriends. We talked about you guys. We talked about our friendships with each other. There is a there is just so many things, so many fucking things that had to work for us to get to this point. And yeah. so many people, you it's so easy to look at this and be like, you're not dead meat. You're not making fucking hundred thousand dollars a year. I would not. I mean, yeah, doing we're it. not. You're not. And I wish, not, but, but you not. know what we're doing. The fact of the matter is, is ten years of blood, sweat, and tears. Ten years of fucking panic attacks, hospital trips, fucking divorces, fucking uh, mothers uh, dying, mothers dying, fucking lo- losing the closest people in your life, losing friends, losing everything. Ten years of life 
has happened into this channel. And you fucking people watching this specifically have been a glue in our lives. This entire, through all the shit I just mentioned, have been the fucking glue in this and have kept us fucking going and have given us a fucking light and a purpose and a fucking, it's just, it's goddamn beautiful. I don't know what else to say about that can't, that hasn't been said. And I've had a lot to goddamn drink tonight, but God fucking damn it. That champagne is just kicking our asshole like Luke King. I just need you guys to, I need you to know. I don't want you to know. I need you to know. I need you to know that there's no fucking human beings on this earth more appreciative than what the people fucking watching this right now and the people who have been here tonight. Uh, there's nobody more appreciative than we are. We are fucking so thankful. We know the that we know the fucking world. We know the stakes. We know what it means. And and and, and well, and, and, you know, here's the thing, man. Ten years ago, ten years ago, it's twelve forty eight right now. Ten years ago. Me and Mike, we did a YouTube video, and um, you know it is you know it it it, it was terrible, it's awful, it was not good, and and we kept at it's it and right. and we pushed for it and and we didn't stop, and now we're here, and I think the most special thing about it is is the fact that. And I always say this, dude, the, the, the most special thing, and I know Michael agree, is to hear all your stories um, about how if we've helped you at all or or whatever, because the 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 reality of it is we stayed together that long, um, this long, because we enjoy talking about movies and just hanging out, and that has translated in some ways to helping other people in their uh, particular situations in their life. Uh, I cannot be more proud uh, of Mike and myself and, and what we've done because we really did have to come from shit. And we're not trying to say that as a way to get extra gains. We literally, I mean, there's people that did not give a fuck if we made it and they didn't think we ever would and we had to overcome that uh and i'm overall i'm just i'm really happy with what we've been able to accomplish uh and uh, here's so many more hey you fucking said it, dude. The last super chat of the night belongs to some beautiful sons of bitches who we, we're happy to call our friends, the Merkins. B thank you, boys. You guys do not have to do that. Thank you so fucking much. The Merkins, thank you, man. you guys fucking know them. You guys fucking love them. You guys, you guys drop your pants anytime. Mike this. will suck you from the back. And hey, I love well, it. Yeah, you suck them from the back. I suck them from the front. And then we Whatever. trade. It doesn't matter. After 30 we minutes, we it. switch spots, That's okay? Fine. Love the Merkins. Love you guys. Thank you. You guys don't have to do that. You fucking know that. Bro. Thank you, man. Love you. Thank Haven't you, heard from you in a while. Hit us fucking up. We love your fucking mouths. We love the way you taste. We love the way you you sweetly massage our... You guys You love. guys smell like an old and a good Nike shoe wanna, from Foot Locker. And I yeah. like it. Like, when you get that Nike shoe from Foot Locker and you yeah, put it on wanna, for the first time and you smell it, yeah, like, that's I don't what the Merkins are. Yeah, yeah like, I want to hate fucking, but I also want to, like, afterwards, like sweet yeah. love them like i want to hate fuck them and then sweet love yeah them but when like you buy that love. when you buy that nike shoe from foot locker loves. everything's yeah. gonna be okay yeah they, they they're the top notch they're the quality you know they're the stuff and you guys are the stuff hey we're in this thing now we're done now we're done fucking now hey man hey. we almost went four fucking hours four god fucking damn it. hours in your name in your fucking name all right <laughs> 10 years like odd in your name, Corral. <laughs> Ten fucking years, Jay. Ten, Ten years. years, man. Ten fucking years we did this shit. Ten fucking years, dude. I and know. This is our lives. Ten fucking years. And we're still alive. And we're still alive. We haven't... We're not dead. <laughs> and we're not canceled. Holy Ten shit. Fucking I feel years, like Ted dude. Benson. Ten fucking years. I thought it'd be a goof. <laughs> I thought it'd be a goof. A goof? <laughs> this is my mic stand and I'm taking it. <laughs> we love hey you guys. all so fucking much, man. God damn, we can never explain it. So we'll just shut the fuck up now and say, 
Good night, Dark Continent. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>